before we get the stream started, before I start playing these final five games of all-time domination, I'd like to take a moment of silence to honor and pay respect to all the lives lost, all the families affected by the 9-11 tragedy that took place 19 years ago on this day. It sucks to look back on, but we must never forget. What's going on everybody, it's CP the Duck. Y'all see the title of the stream, y'all already know what we're doing today. We're gonna have a good stream today, we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be big because as you guys see in the title, we are on the final five games of all-time domination. We finished up the Central Division, the Atlantic Division, the Southwest, the Pacific, the Northwest, and all we really have left is the all-time, these three games, and the last two games of the Southeast, so that's what we're going to be working on today. Hope you guys are ready for it. Hope everyone's ready for a big stream today. What's going on, Josh Smoove? What's up, I'm that white boy, Puff, Royal Ryan, Kristen. Hope everyone's having a good night, good day, wherever you are. I know we have some international viewers, so I'm saying good night, but it might not be night for everybody. I really do hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's chilling. Hope everyone's had a good day today, no matter what time it is where you are. Like I said, y'all already know what's going on. We're about to hop into this all-time domination. And we are going to play these final five games. These first two games versus the Heat and the Magic, they're kind of like tune-up games. Like a slight warm-up, so even though we're going to be playing on a tough difficulty, Let's go ahead and get started with the heat on Superstar. Also, I have no idea what's going on with my webcam. Let me see if I can fix that real quick during stream. Like, I don't know, I don't know what's been going on with the webcam, but I'll try to get that fixed real quick. I seriously don't know what the problem is. I really don't know. Y'all can see the green screen in the back. Y'all can't see me super clearly. It's like there's like a, a cover in between me and the screen. I seriously don't know what's going on with that. But before we get started, I'll try to fix it. What's up, PC Mac? What's up, Janice? What's up, Thomas? I'm gonna try to fix this real quick, but no promises. I seriously don't know what that thing is covering my face. When I go to settings, I don't see it on my face, but hopefully you guys aren't too bothered by that. Yeah, I hope you guys aren't too, like, bothered by that because it just looks kind of bad on my screen. Let me go look up. Yeah, I hope you guys don't see that too well. Hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. Because it bothers me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. That's bothering me a little bit, but... Hopefully, we just keep rolling through it. Hopefully we hop into these last few games. And hopefully whatever this is above my face cam... Hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much, because it's bothering me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. What's up, Mason Hendricks? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Mini2 Hype? What's up, gamers? Be like, what? We have 16 viewers in the stream. We have 16 likes as well. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Game number one versus the all-time Miami Heat. Game number one. Let's get right to it, ladies and gentlemen. Probably mostly gentlemen. How's everybody doing, man? Is everybody having a good night? Good day? Depending on where you are. I know that I'm that white boy is one of our Australian viewers, so... Like, I, I mean, it's different times of day for everybody. Ryan says it's all good for me. It looks better now for me, too. I just wanted to get that fixed before we get started. Here we go. Game number one of the stream on my new home floor with my logo at the center. That is pretty nice. And we're wearing the Knicks jerseys. Let's get right to it. Ryan says it's good. Gamer says I'm good. How are you? Packer the player says I'm good, except I can't play 2K. I'm sorry about that, man. But you do get to watch me play 2K. First game on my new home court. I literally made this right before the stream started. So let's get it. 15 people watching. 16 likes on the stream. Thank you guys for smashing that like button early. You guys go ahead and drop a like for me if you haven't already. And there's our first bucket in our new home stadium. The biggest thing about winning all-time, Dom, though, is playing defense. So, 
I'm going to have to lock in on defense. If I go for long periods of time without talking to you guys, I promise I'm not ignoring y'all, but you got to lock in for these games. Mini 2 hype just ate dinner. I ate a pretty good meal earlier, man. I ate a good meal before the stream started. Like I told you guys, I'm ready for this. I'm 100% ready for this stream, man. Ooh, and then we get a poster. Josh, Josh Smooth says, watching Doc play 2K is better than actually playing it. I do enjoy playing for you guys, and I'm glad you guys enjoy watching. I hope you guys are entertained by the streams. Hope you guys enjoy them every time. I hope they don't get too... I don't know what the word is, redundant or anything, because I do just sit down and grind the game a lot, so... That may not be a ton of fun to watch for some of y'all, but it's fun for me to play through, for sure. It's definitely fun for me to play through. Doge says your webcam was glitching. I don't see anything wrong. It looks better now. It looks a lot better now than it did on my monitor. I think it's looking good now. Yo, you guys let me know if it messes up at all. Oh my gosh! Another huge Derrick Rose poster. That's a two back to back in the first quarter. If we can just start playing good defense, we're gonna be all right. This is gonna be a good stream. We are gonna just get through this easily, especially if we keep on playing defense in the paint like this on Shaq. Oh! Yeah, we're locking in on defense early. Oh, but we are terrible on offense. Oh my gosh. Good block though. Very nice block. Royal Ryan says the streams are hella entertaining. That is some good emphasis right there, man. I'm glad that you enjoy them. Rose again to the rim. Mini 2 Hype says probably the easiest person to watch play 2K is Doc. I really do appreciate that, man, because so far I've had a lot of fun playing 2K21. The game, it's had some problems. People have complained about shooting, ankle breakers, and I'm not saying there aren't problems, but it's been fun playing this game so far, to be honest with you. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but for what it is, I've enjoyed it, and you guys have made it really enjoyable too. What's up, John Olson? What's up, Chimp? Welcome back to the stream, both of you guys. I don't want to get too redundant, but you guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. Those likes are very important. Very important. Let's see if we can get up to 20, because we have 17 in less than 10 minutes. That's very solid right there. It doesn't get much better than that, especially early in the stream. What'd Chimp say? Chimp says, I finished up all the Evos, including Rondo and got Van Exel. And now I'm close to Rolando Blackman. That's what's up. And that Rolando Blackman, he's not like the best card out there, but he's solid. I enjoy using him. He's not the greatest, but he's a solid card. He can finish. He can attack mismatches. That Rolando Blackman is solid. What's up, Jose RTG? Welcome back, man. It's nice seeing all you guys from, earl from earlier this week returning. Seeing a lot of familiar faces in the stream early. And we got 20 likes in 10 minutes. That's pretty amazing. Thank you guys for that. Packer says, I got the Paul George Kawhi duo. Now that's a good duo because, in my opinion, Paul George, at least out of the current players, is one of the best rubies in the game. So that Paul George is a very, very good player to pick up. Chimp says, I gotta finish it at this point. I need that mic. And I heard that mic is pretty good, man. I'm going to have to find out for myself, but I saw some gameplay with him, and he seems solid, man. A pink diamond this early in the game, that would be a very good pickup for me, so that's what we're going to focus on today. We're going to get that mic in, and it's going to be good. These games on the way are not going to be easy. This is my first time playing Domination today, so I, I got to warm up a little bit, but I think we're going to be okay. What's up, Michael Sanchez? Welcome to the stream. Packer says Dom's kind of boring. Oh no, you're not wrong, man. Just chilling and getting to talk to you guys while playing Dom makes it a lot easier. And in the later Doms, like Historic, you really gotta lock in. You really gotta lock in to win. What's up, No Chill Knowles? Welcome to the stream. Legendary. The No Chill Knowles. 
Welcome to the stream, no chill. That's my brother right there. What's up, White and Mexi? Welcome to the stream as well. And Odd Squad, everybody's joining at one time. You guys make sure to drop likes if you haven't already. Y'all know those likes are important, they help the channel grow. And we're actually very close to 3.58 thousand subs. If we gain just a few tonight, we're gonna hit 3.58, so let's see if we can do that. What's up, Troyaholic? Welcome back as well. Welcome back, Troyaholic. We're off to a good start in this game. We already have over 100 my team points in the first quarter. And we have a decent lead, so... Not a bad first game. This is pretty much a warm-up game since... We're gonna be playing versus the all-decade teams later. So... We're gonna have to get ready for those tough games. They're gonna be BS. The CPUs are going to make some tough shots, but y'all know as long as I play the way I'm capable of playing, we're going to be okay because we're off to a great start on defense. We haven't even given up 10 points yet. We have 17 points already ourselves, so we're on pace for a good game. We're blocking shots. Gotta grab rebounds though. Oh. Josh Smoove says you're going to go for Diamond JaVale. I didn't want to spoil things, but I am going for Diamond JaVale starting tomorrow, so I guess I just spoiled it. Tomorrow, we are going for Diamond JaVale McGee. Or starting tomorrow, because we're not going to get him in one stream, but those triple threat games do go by fast, so you never know. Maybe we find a formula to win the games insanely fast, and we do get him in one stream. You never know. No Chill Knowles, what are you doing in Atlanta? What's going on in Atlanta, brother? What's up, Mythical Zard? Welcome to the stream as well. And Nightbot, gotta give you a warm welcome. If you're enjoying the stream, make sure to subscribe and turn on noties. That's facts. Make sure to turn on notifications if you haven't already, man. That is very important. Great first quarter, by the way. Great first quarter. It's not a blowout yet, but we won the first quarter. A few of our guys got takeover, and... That's really all you can ask for. Rick Smiths and Derrick Rose have been carrying the weight. But defensively, our entire team has been great. Yeah, it's been a couple guys on offense doing all the scoring, but defensively, everyone's been locked in. We're getting some easy buckets. We have a post mismatch with Rick Smiths. Oh, we had a mismatch. We don't have that mismatch anymore. We actually lost possession altogether, but let's see if we can get it back. Yeah, we did. No chill, no chill says visiting the fam. It's my nephew's birthday. Hey, that's what's up, Knowles. Hope y'all hope y'all had a good day, man. Hope you guys had a good celebration. Josh Move says I've been running, jiving, jo giving goes, giving goes. I don't know why I read that as guy first. Giving goes, got you. It works pretty well. Yeah, especially when you can get a guy with a head of steam going to the rim. Those give and goes do work pretty well because a lot of times the defense just doesn't know how to react. It's a good way to catch the defense off guard for sure. Great defense, man. This is on the toughest difficulty and we got them taking tough shots. Troyaholic says just bought 2K21. Hey, that's what's up. I'm going to be real. 2K21's not perfect. Like I said earlier, it has problems, but... For what it is, I've enjoyed playing it so far, and I'm not just saying that to uh, hype up the game. I'm enjoying playing it so far, for real. What's up, ISO God Zay? Welcome to the stream. Packer says 2K is not letting me play my team, so I'm playing Play Now Online. What's going on with my team? Why isn't it letting you play my team? Because it's letting you play Play Now. What's going on with my team? No Chill Knowles says I'll be back. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you dropping by. Have a good time. I'll see you again soon. I'll see you again real soon. Great start to this game. Very good start. We played really good defense in the first quarter. Our defense has slipped a little bit. And the most important thing about these domination games is getting stops. Because if you get three stops on defense in a row... You get plus 12 my team points. And if you're trying to collect my team points, getting those stops is super important. Even contesting shots is really important because 
Good shot defense gives you three points. Three my team points, if y'all know what I mean by that. So playing defense is probably the most important thing. And you can get your offense by running the fast break. So that's what I try to do in all these games. I'll shoot threes if I'm open. I'll go for offensive rebounds. But at the end of the day, the biggest thing is definitely playing defense, securing rebounds, getting stops. So now if we get one more stop on defense, we get that plus 12. And that plus 12 boost is huge. So our offense, it's important, but it's not as important as our defense. Puff said 2K stay acting up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Packer. I don't know why it's not letting him play. But Packer, hopefully that resolves itself soon. Because, yeah, like I said, I've actually been having some fun this year. Jose says you're the best 2K YouTuber, no cap. I'm working my way up there, man. I'm working my way up there. I wouldn't say we're the best yet, but like, we have a lot of work to do. And I'm willing to do the work, you guys know me. I enjoy playing the game, I enjoy talking to you guys while doing it. I know Royal Ryan feels the same way, man. Me and him are on the same wavelength. We just enjoy making content and playing the game. That's really how it is for both of us, man. Just playing the game and giving you guys some content that y'all enjoy. Ryan says, Doc, just be that team I played. That team that you played against was on the BS. Just like that shop I D-Wade right there, 50% contested. They were on the BS just like that, but we're answering right back. Jose says to us, you'll always be the best. And that means a lot, man. That really does mean a lot. You know I appreciate y'all, man. Every single one of y'all. No cap. Every single subscriber is a beast. Every single supporter is a beast. Rick Smith is a beast, too. If we can take a double-digit lead, that would be huge. Great pass. Oh, shoot it. I was holding down X for the longest. I don't know why we didn't shoot it right there, but we got it back, so it's not a big deal. Lane's open. There we go. There's a nice double-digit lead. Our defense this quarter, it's gotten better in these last couple minutes. We've only given up 21 to the all-time Miami Heat. LeBron James, D. Wade, Shaq, Alonzo Mourning, Chris Baugh. Yeah, this is a great team we're playing against, man. This is a great team we're playing, but we're off to a great defensive start. Notice how many mid-range shots they're jacking up. And notice how good defense we're playing in the paint. Yeah, they're not getting many easy shots in the paint, but Shaq's a beast. Uh, Troyaholic, I'm on Xbox. I'm on Xbox, Troyaholic. Ooh, I don't want to lose it right there. Lane's wide open, man. I want to keep on attacking the paint because... Look at that, we're just getting easy runs to the rim every single time. Puff, I will play Park this year. At some point, I will, because right now, I'm working on the My Team grind. Right now, we gotta make sure we win all these games, because I want Pink Diamond George Mikan. I think picking him up will be a really good achievement, man. So, that's what we're working on right now. And we're making some good progress. That first half was as good of a first half as I could have asked for, because... We have a double digit lead. They're shooting 35%. We're winning the rebounds. We have more assists than they, than they do. So that's a great start to this game. Let's get Rick Smiths. Actually, Rick Smiths is playing well. And he's not too tired. So I'm going to keep him in the game. Troyaholic says, y'all heard about the Xbox release date? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Every single day, it seems like new stuff is leaking. Every single day, new information. And it's just, I always love that, man. A new console's about to come out and all the hype builds up. I love it, man. New news every day. Everything is news. What's up, Villy 2K FIFA 16? Who wins game seven, Raptors or Celtics? If I had to pick right now, I gotta go Raptors, but I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I'm not a hater of either team. It would be cool seeing either team in the conference finals because, I mean, a Heat Celtics rematch for the first time since. What, um, 2012, that'd be cool. The Raptors back in the conference finals again, that'd be cool. Honestly, it'd be cool seeing either team win, man. I just really love watching the basketball unfold, but if I had to pick one right now, I gotta go with the Raptors. I feel like Nick Nurse is a better coach than Brad Stevens. Nick Nurse has proven, like, no matter what the Celtics hit him with, he has something, he has a game plan for it, no matter what. 
Nick Nurse has shown how good of a coach he is in this series because in the first two games, it looked like the series was over. And then in the next game, the Raptors, they almost went down 3 nothing. Next thing you know, it's tied 3-3. The Raptors have won three out of four, so you never know how it's going to go. I got to go the Raptors because they worked their asses off to get this game seven. They're the defending champs. They showed the heart of a champion last game. I don't think they're going to blow it. What's up, Mango Ninja? Welcome to the stream. We have 16 viewers right now. We got 24 likes on the stream. Can we get that up to 25? Can we get 25 likes on the stream? You guys help me out there. You guys give me some help. If we have any new viewers in here, feel free to talk to me in the chat. You guys see the title. Y'all know what we're doing right now. We're going for these final domination wins. We're going for these final all-time domination wins. And we're off to a great start in this game, so we're just trying to keep up the same energy. Uh, Jose, I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming. I am planning on this being a long stream. I know we only have five games left, but I'm planning on doing the spotlight challenges. I'm planning on getting some gameplay with George Mikan, and it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a long stream, if you, especially if you guys are enjoying it. If you guys are enjoying the stream, if we have a lot of people in here, we're gaining some new subs, if we're having a fun time, man, it's going to be hard for me to make this a short stream, so I think this is going to be a long one, but I can't tell you how long yet. What's up, SDX3? What's up, Jiraiya? Welcome to the stream, both of you guys. SDX3 says 25. Hey, we got 26 likes now, man. We're almost at 30 in less than half an hour. Josh Smoove says it's crazy how Brad Stevens has never won Coach of the Year. It is kind of crazy, isn't it? It is kind of crazy. I mean... He's one of the best coaches in the league. He has been for years. And there, the Celtics had some good years, man. The Celtics had some good years. That one year, the first year they had Kyrie, weren't they the number one seed in the East? I know they didn't go to the championship, but they made it to the conference finals. They lost to the Cavaliers in seven. I think that's one year where you could have given coach of the year to Brad Stevens, but I can't remember who won it that year. I hate to say it, I can't remember. 2018, that was Dwayne Casey, right? 2018 was Dwayne Casey because that was the year the Raptors, yeah, Lebronto, Lebronto. Mini 2 Hype says, I'll trade you a silver for Mikan. Sadly, you can't put George Mikan on the auction house. You can't put any of the award players on the auction house. It's sad because depending on what silver it is, I might take that deal, but you can't put award players on the auction house any of them set rewards token rewards domination rewards it's sad but you can't do it what's up max dyer welcome to the stream mango ninja said the last time i was here was like june 2k20 well hey man i'm glad you're back i'm glad you're back let me know if you're enjoying the vibes let me know if you're enjoying the stream i should have asked you guys this question earlier but can you guys hear me just fine does my face cam does the game look just fine does everything sound good? Is the game too loud? You guys let me know because y'all already know I want this to be the most optimal experience possible for y'all. Especially since this is such a big stream. I mean, we're finishing up Domination for now and it's, it's got to be big because there's not going to be any Domination for a long time. Long time. Packer says I'll BRB. Sounds good, Packer. Sounds good to me. Very good third quarter. We've grown our lead a little bit. The lane's open again. We're taking it all the way with Rose. Derrick Rose has 25, and yeah, we're playing a great game. We could be a little bit better on defense, but I still love the way we're playing. If we can play like this every single game, we're going to be okay. We're not going to lose any stars because I will be honest with you guys. My one worry is that I win a game but I don't get three stars. That would be terrible because I would have to replay the game. I'd have to lock in, play a little bit better. That would suck if I have to replay a game. Replaying a game, that would be terrible. Mythical Zard says 30 likes on the stream. Hey, yes sir, that's what I'm talking about. 30 likes already? It hasn't even been 30 minutes, so you guys have showed up big. Oh, he just missed a wide open layup. Oh my gosh. That was a big defensive breakdown by me. Oh, 
they miss an open layup, we get an open layup. Eric Spolstra has got to be mad about that. Oh my gosh. We're up by 16 in our very first game of the stream. That's solid. That's a very good start. SDX3, you should go for Paul Pierce. I'm going to go for Paul Pierce once all this single player stuff is done. I've played three unlimited games. I've won all of them. And I've played like 10 limited games. I've won all of those. I haven't played many games, like only 13 total. But dude, in limited, I have not gotten a ring yet. I played like 10 games of my team limited today. And I did not get a ring. Literally every single person quit in the first quarter except like two people. And it was... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't get a ring. Like, I heard that some people get a ring in like two games. I played 10. I won them all. And I didn't get a ring. It was terrible. What's up, Ashley Zimmerman? Welcome back. What's up, Shaquille Oatmeal? And what's up, YNA NBA? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. And of course, if you're new to my channel, it would be awesome if you subbed. We're only a few subs away from 3.58 thousand. I would love if we hit that tonight. I think we will. I think we will. I believe in Doc Nation, man. I think we're going to hit that milestone tonight. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Ooh, that was a tough layup. Let's get the starting lineup back in. Let's get Giannis in there at the power forward. And we're going to close out this game strong. You guys see we have a really good lead. Yeah, they're not playing very good defense either. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. It says very early for a reason. I wasn't trying to shoot that. Come on. Ryan says, what do you have to do to get a ring? You have to win games. You have to win games. That's literally it. And it's random when you're going to get that ring because some people get it in one game. Some people get it in like... 12 like it, it sucks man it really sucks because it's completely random you never know when you're gonna get that ring <sighs> let's play some transition defense man right there if we can somehow get a stop ah what's up JB Hiff thank you for subscribing to my channel feel free to say something in the chat welcome to Doc Nation oh PJ run to the rim man Sometimes my the players on my team just make no sense. If the lane's wide open, why don't the guys on my team run to the paint? That just doesn't make sense. We're still good. Like, we still have a good lead. But let me go ahead and foul so I can get my new subs in the game. Josh Smoove says Nuggets took the lead. You guys keep me updated on the games tonight. You guys keep me updated because I don't have a scoreboard up right now. I have my game right here, and I have my chat right here. I'm looking at you guys right now. <sighs> we're only up by 13. We got to play a little bit better if we want to pull away and win. So let's see if I can step things up on defense a little bit. Oh, no, that's not going to do it. That is not going to do it right there. I also got to start scoring more points. Like this team we're playing against, they're great defensively. I got to give them a little bit of credit. They can play some good defense. Are they going to be able to stop me? I don't know, but we'll see. What's up, TJ? I'm not making pranks again yet, man. I'm not making pranks again because I don't want to, you know, piss someone off in public. Especially with social distancing and everything. I don't want to get too close to somebody, piss them off. I don't want to do anything like that, but when it's safe to do pranks again, I'll do pranks again. Don't worry, because I have a lot of fun doing those. Ashley Zimmerman says, love your my career. I'm posting another episode next week. I know that's a long time away, kind of, but I want to make it as good as I can. I was going to post an episode yesterday, but the audio was kind of weird, and that's why I didn't post. In my opinion, I want to make my videos as good as possible. Like, I want to make them as high quality as possible, because what's the point of posting garbage? I mean, it wasn't garbage, but the audio in some parts was weird, so I want to just record another part, do a little bit better at editing it, and yeah. I'll have that posted pretty soon. Shaquille Oatmeal says you used to prank. I mean, not really pranks. And it would, they were never really pranks that put people in danger. 
it was just fun, creative little pranks like yelling in the gym, uh, putting chips on people's shoulders, just fun little things like that. I never like tried to, you know, pull anyone's pants down or anything or, you know, slap somebody or anything crazy like that. I never did stuff like that. I would just, you know, put chips on people's shoulders without them noticing just because it's a, like it's a little thing when people say you got a chip on your shoulder. I mean, just little things like that. Just little fun things like that. Never anything hurtful. Just chill stuff, man. Chill, funny, creative stuff. Yeah, I think you get my point. What's up, Triton 1212? Welcome to the stream. We got 20 people watching. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. I know I say it a lot, but we're at 34 likes right now. That's a very good start to the stream. And... This game is a pretty good start to the stream, too, because it's always good to start things off with a win. We played some great defense, and I don't think we're going to... I think we're going to have enough my team points. I'm not 100% sure, but we've played a really good game overall, so let's see if we can close out this game strong, keep the lead for these next however many seconds, keep on blocking shots. Look at this. They can't even score in the paint. This is crazy. Great defense. We should get three stars. No promises, but we should get three stars for this double-digit win versus the all-time Heat. And the all-time Heat, that's a tough team. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Alonzo Mourning, Shaquille O'Neal, Tim Hardaway. This is a good team we played against, and we, held, we handled our business. We handled our business, so we'll take it. We'll take it. JD says Celtics in seven. Trayton says Raptors. Hey, man, I really... I'm not a fan of either team. Y'all know my favorite teams are the Knicks and the Hawks, which I know is bad. But, I mean, I, I'm just loving watching the playoff basketball, man. I'm just loving watching these teams go at each other. And it's been fun watching these playoffs so far. No matter who wins, the Celtics or the Raptors, it's going to be a great series versus the Heat because the Heat have looked great in the playoffs so far. 17-point win in our very first game. That should be three stars. That should definitely be three stars. 100%. There's no way it's not. There we go. We only got 973, but that is still three stars. That is still three stars. We'll take it. Whew. One game down, four games to go. Let me change up the title of the stream to my final four games for Pink Diamond George Mike. And there we go. There we go. Great start to the stream. We'll take it for sure. JD says, I'm really a Lakers fan. I just like Tatum since Duke. I like Duke players too, man. I wouldn't call myself a Duke fan because, I mean, I'm just not a diehard Duke fan. But I do like a bunch of the players that come out of there, man. 42 tokens, by the way. 42 tokens. I'm telling you guys. Playing this domination gets you a ton of tokens. We get 15 games after we, 15 tokens after we win this game. That's plus three if we win the game. So here's our final regular game because once we finish this game, we got to play versus the all-time final teams. These games are going to be tough. These games are not going to be easy, but we're off to a good start. That was a good big win versus the Heat. And it's time to play versus Penny, McGrady, Grant Hill, Shaq, Dwight Howard. This is going to be a tough game, but y'all know I'm ready. Mythical Zard says, what power forward should I pick up for under 10k? I don't know much about power forwards, man. I know Porzingis is good. I think he can play the four. If you need a center, Rick Smith is very good. I was going to say Giannis, but he's like, what, 30-something k? I really don't know my power forwards very well, so if any of you guys in the chat know your power forwards, feel free to give my boy Mythical Zard a recommendation. I said this earlier at the beginning of my first game. I'll say it again. If anybody in the chat is new, y'all talk to me. Hang around. Enjoy the stream. Y'all see the title so y'all know we're only four games away from George Mikan. Once we win this game, all we have left is the three games versus the 60s all-decade team, the 70s all-decade team, and then the 2010s, the 2010s all-decade team. So those games are not going to be easy, but... We won the first game versus the all-time Heat easily. 
Let's see if we can get an easy win versus the Magic because they have Dwight Howard, they have Shaq, they have Tracy McGrady, Penny Hardaway. This is going to be a tough game, but that's a very good start. Not going to be an easy game, but Dwight Howard can't really shoot. Shaq can't really shoot either, so the spacing's not the best. And that's why I'm sure we should win this game, but it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to lock in on defense. Just like that, but apparently that's a foul. Ryan says Tony Kukoc is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Tony Kukoc is pretty good. He can play the four, but he's also a small forward, right? Because I remember last year I used him in my team, and I was like, oh my gosh, he's a six foot ten small forward. So Kukoc, he can play the four. He might be a little bit of a defensive liability at the four. But at the same time, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Great offensively. He can shoot well. I've seen some gameplay with him, and the shot's nice. It really depends on your preferences, but I have heard that Kukoc is good. I've heard he's solid. De oh, they blocked that. Oh. Grant Hill really blocked that shot. That's crazy. It's all good, though. Y'all know we're still locked in on defense. We just can't give up any threes. And there we go. We gave up a three to Tracy McGrady. <sighs> Brian says, you already know I love running him at the four. You seem to like running good shooters who can also play defense and play multiple positions at the four. I've noticed that. I've kind of noticed that. Last year it was Larry Bird. This year it's Kukoc. Yeah, I've noticed that. What's up, Bob Hillary? Welcome to the stream. Not a great start to this game. I thought that was going to be a nice dunk animation, but it got blocked. And we're down 7-4, but we won our last game easily. So let's see if we can make something happen in this game. Lane's wide open. Going to go ahead and take that with Rose. If we can start getting stops, we're going to be all right. They have a big PG. They have a big shooting guard in T-Mac. But I'm not worried about Shaq shooting the jump shot. I'm not worried about Dwight Howard. I just got to make sure my off-ball defense is good. And I can't give that up. That's terrible. That just sucks right there. So let's keep things rolling. Our offense hasn't been terrible. Defense has been. Got to make sure I hit those open threes if I'm going to shoot so many of them. At least we're getting rebounds. At least we're grabbing rebounds. Only down by one, but man, we got to start getting stops. We've given up way too many easy buckets, and that's not good. Last game, we played such good defense. We got to get more stops just like that. Good kick out. There we go. There we go. We missed our last three-pointer, but that was a good one right there. We created a nice wide-open three. 35 likes on the stream, 25 people watching. Thank you to everyone who's dropped by so far. You guys hang around. We're going to get George Mikan tonight. We're going to have to start playing better because... We're off to a bad start in this game. We're not off to the best start in this game. If we get one more stop on defense, we get our plus 12 MT for all those defensive stops. What's up, John Olson? Welcome to the stream as well. Welcome to the stream, Bob Hillary and John Olson. Nuggets up by two. This is a must-win game for them. This is a must-win game for the Nuggets. I mean, it's pretty obvious to say if they don't win this game, the series is over. I don't think it gets more obvious than that. I mean, they're down 3-1. I mean, they just came back down 3-1 in the first round, so it's not impossible. But I don't know. I don't know if they're going to get it done. Gamers be like, what says we need this dub? Like I told you guys, we got off to a rough start in this game. I know I wasn't looking very good in those first couple minutes, but all of a sudden we're getting stops on defense... We're running the fast break. We're getting easy buckets. Look at AC Green running the floor. I told you guys, we were going to be all right. I know we got off to a bad start, but 16-9 to is a very good first quarter. It's a very solid first quarter. Versus the all-time Magic. This is a great team, too. I just got to go ahead and say it how it is. This is a great team we're playing against. Got 
Penny, got McGrady, got Shaq. So many good players on this team. What's up, AI player? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, bro. Everybody who's in here, y'all like it up for me if you haven't already. And we already gained a couple subscribers earlier. I think if we gain a couple more, we're going to be hitting 3.58 thousand tonight. So if anybody in here is new, talk in the chat, subscribe if you enjoy the stream. Like it says in the title, we're going to be getting that George Mikan. So let's keep it rolling. 20 to 9 lead. Last game versus the Heat, we had a double digit lead by halftime. This game, we already have one in the first quarter. That's, very, that's solid, man. Ever since that guy came in here and said I sucked ass, we went on like a 13 nothing run. I guess that's how, I guess that's how talking in the chat for the first time works. I don't know. Because I don't think that guy had ever been in here before. First thing he ever says to me, you suck. Imagine that. Imagine that. He must live a pretty sad life. I know he wanted a reaction, but I mean, that's just not true. We're locked in on defense, man. We got off to such a bad start in this game, but just like that, we could go up by 13 or 14 to end the first quarter. Y'all already know Scott Skiles is not going to be stopping D. Rose. Yeah, they're double teaming D. Rose. Lane's open. Ooh, that was a... Ooh, no, no. That was bad. That was bad. Gamers be like, what? Says, who are the Nuggets playing again? They're playing the Clips. They're playing the Clips for the fifth consecutive time. Royal Ryan says, I timed his ass out. You did the right thing. I was looking over at the screen. I was wondering why his message was sitting there for so long. Shout out to Ryan for taking initiative. That's what we needed. Ever since then, we have been on a good run, Ryan. And you're going to be playing versus these teams soon, too. These all-time teams are no joke, dude. Like, it's not easy talking to the chat while playing the game, but I've been doing a pretty good job of it so far, so I'm going to keep it up. This backup team they have with Scott Skiles at the point guard, it is not going to work. It is not going to work because Scott Skiles, there's no way he's staying in front of Derrick Rose. So, oh, I should have stolen that. We're good, man. Double-digit lead. That's a terrible shot for Scott Skiles. Let's run that fast break. Let's run that fast break. Ooh. Yeah. I know that's what y'all wanted to see. Beautiful alley-oop. Oh, no, but that's not what you want to see. He missed the open layup, but... I swear, sometimes the CPUs are so dumb on defense, you shouldn't even give up that layup right there. Like, the CPU defense is so bad sometimes. My defense, overall, I'd say it's solid, though. I'd say my defense has been solid so far. Oh my gosh! Are they just gonna give me an open lane every single time? This is on the toughest difficulty, man. This is the final domination, for now, on the toughest difficulty. They got to be a little bit better on defense. This is the final game I'm playing before the all-time teams. I know you guys were expecting a good, close, tightly contested ball game, but we've been pulling away early. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the stream. Sorry I've been gone, just focusing on basketball. I have a 1v1 tomorrow. I was practicing for it earlier, so I understand you focusing on basketball. I hope you've been doing all right. Hope you've been staying healthy. Keep on grinding, man. Keep on grinding. That's all I got to say. I remember back when I played basketball in high school. I got an offer to play in college, but I look back on and if I had taken that offer, I probably wouldn't be streaming right now. So, hey man, life changes fast. I swore I'd be playing college basketball at this school in Montgomery, but things changed. Things changed, and I'm happy they changed. What's up, Bornado? How do you get your Mamba Edition bonus? Just load into the game, and it should be there. For a lot of people, though, it's not there. And 2K has to, 2K has to fix that. Because a lot of guys have not gotten their bonuses yet. And, yeah, that just sucks. That just sucks. Royal Ryan, 800 subs. Amen. 
Congrats to my brother, Royal Ryan. 800 subs, that's big time right there. That's big time right there, man. Around this time last year, I had about 800 subs. Or did I? I feel like I might have had 1,000 by then. I'm not sure. No, it's September, so I think I had 1,000. So Ryan is really not that far off from where I am. What's up, Mike? I'm not very tall. I'm six feet. Like, the, the school I got an offer from, it was a D3. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I was an amazing D1 prospect. I was a good shooter. And in my high school, I started at the power forward. Because we, had, we played in a league that just had a bunch of small players, man. So, I was a four. So, I could play defense. I could grab rebounds. I could shoot the three. I can go coast to coast every now and then, too. I could bring the ball up. In college, I would have played the shooting guard because I'm not good enough of a ball handler, man. I'm just going to go ahead and say it how it is. I could just sit here and act like I'm the greatest, like I'm a dribble god. I'm not a dribble god. I'm a good passer. I have good vision. I have good speed driving to the rim, but no. Nah, handles. I dribble low-key like... I don't, I don't even know. I was going to say a second grader, but I'm better than that. See, it's just a weird in-between, man. I'm not very great at it. I just gotta say it how it is. I just gotta say it how it is. It is what it is. Mythical Zard says, Your growth is incredible, my guy. You deserve this. I've been grinding. I've been grinding trying to give you guys content as often as I can. Whether it's a stream, whether it's a video, whether it's a 1v1, no matter what. I always try to give you guys as much content as possible, and it really does mean a lot to me that you guys have enjoyed it. I'm playing terribly this quarter. We had a good lead at the end of the first, but I've been taking bad shots. I've been slacking on defense. We still have 231 my team points, but I gotta change things up in the second half. Ryan says the road to 900 starts tomorrow. I'm super proud of Ryan. Ryan, you told me that I'm a big reason why you started streaming and that I'm a big reason why you didn't quit YouTube. And hearing stuff like that makes me really happy. I'm glad you didn't give up on it because you're having a lot of success. You're on the way to getting monetized. It's just, it's great, man. It's great. And getting monetized is a big deal. It means you're getting compensation. Even though it's not a lot at first, you're getting stuff in return for your content. And every now and then, one of your subscribers will be feeling generous, like YNA NBA, for example. I don't know if he's still in here, but the other day, he donated the most money in channel history. He donated $22, $22 by himself. And you guys might not be like, eh, I mean, that's not a lot. That's what you guys might think, but it really does mean a lot when you get paid back by the people who enjoy your content. I never ask for donations. I never expect donations. But it always means a lot when you guys donate, because it just shows your appreciation for my content. Whether you can donate or, or not, I just I really appreciate every single one of y'all, man. Ryan says, you're a big reason why I'm grinding YouTube, bro. It's fun. It's fun, especially when your people are involved, when your subscribers and your community are involved. That's when it's the most fun. That's when it's the most fun. YNA says, I'm still here. I'm glad you're still here, man. So I said that YNA NBA made a $22 donation. I have not done this in a while, but I gotta quickly promote my channel memberships. Channel memberships only cost $2 per month, and you get a badge like Ryan has, you get early access to new videos, you get exclusive CP the Doc emojis, you get some really cool stuff for becoming a channel member, and it only costs $2 a month, so... Unless you're like YNA NBA, and you're going to make $20 donations a month. Another very good way to help the channel is by becoming a channel member. John Olson says, how many games? Four more, including this one. This should be a, w this should be a win. We have a nine-point lead, and we have the ball, so we can retake that double-digit lead right here. So this should be a win, but no guarantees. Where's No Chill Knowles? He said he'll be back later. He said he'll be back. No Chill Knowles, that's my brother right there. I think he's been subbed ever since like 300. And that's not, that's no cap right there. I'm pretty sure it's 300. 
And Jurassic Pooh's been subbed ever since, like, 200. Like, I have some real OGs supporting the channel. And I really do appreciate every single one of y'all. 20 people watching, though. If any of you guys haven't dropped a like yet, go ahead and drop a like for me. We, we're gonna be hitting 40 soon. We're gonna be hitting 40 likes soon, so y'all help me get there real quick. Y'all help me get there, if you don't mind. Oh yeah. Lane's wide open. Here's the thing. In the second half, when the CPU starts to scramble and try to double team, every now and then they'll leave the paint wide open. If you give it to somebody else. Right there I gave it to Giannis. He didn't even play in the first half. And he's already making a very good impact for my team. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Y and A says Denver won. Are they going to come back down 3-1 again? I don't think so. But you never know. We've never seen two 3-1 comebacks by the same team. We've never seen it before. But maybe Denver's going to be it. Now, for real, though, I think Denver's... I think they're a little bit outmatched, man. The Clippers are so deep. And even though Denver can be explosive on offense sometimes, even though they have guys who are capable of being good defenders, I just don't see them getting past the Clips, man. The Clips are just on another level. I would love to see if Denver won. But at the same time, I would also love to see Lakers-Clippers because I don't really have a preference for who I want to win the championship. Yeah, I'm a Lakers, or no, yeah, I'm a Knicks and a Hawks fan, but at the end of the day, I just love good basketball. I just love good basketball. What's up, And Miller? Welcome to the stream. We've had 20 viewers in here consistently, so thanks to everyone who's watching. If any of you guys aren't subscribed, y'all know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content, because I'm a My Team Grinder. I post and stream every single day. This past week... There was one day I didn't post any content or stream. That was yesterday. I was just taking a rest day, man. But I usually post or stream every day, man. So if you guys enjoy that, if you guys want that, that's cool. And I will post content for y'all as often as I can. I've been grinding lately, and I'm glad you guys have appreciated it, man. Tough loader. JD says, imagine a Nuggets-Clippers conference finals. Nuggets-Clippers? That would be great if both teams could win, but Nuggets-Clippers is kind of impossible. Ryan says, the toxicity is getting out of hand. Imagine being a keyboard warrior. Doc's a good person. What? What happened? Did, I, did someone say something? I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything crazy in the chat. I don't think so, at least. But yeah, Nuggets Clippers Conference Finals, JD. I think that was a little bit of a T board, a uh, keyboard typo. Excuse me. I said T board. What the heck's a T board, man? <sighs> 17 point lead. We won our first game versus the Heat by 17. So this is a good sign that we're up by 17 in the third quarter. So let's keep things going. What's up, Harrison Orr? Welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you in a. I was gonna say in a minute. It has been a minute, man. It really hasn't been long. Welcome to the stream, Harrison Orr. This is game number two of the stream. We're up by 21 versus the Magic. If we win this game, all we have left, all we have left is the three all-decade teams, and we get George Mikan. We're off to such a good start this stream. Like I just said, game one was a blowout, and this game's looking like a blowout too. Ryan says you can't see it because I hit it. If it was someone who said I'm trash, come on, look at the scoreboard. We're playing versus the CPU, who clamps up this year, on the hardest difficulty. We're up by 20. I know I'm not the best 2K player, but there's no way you are either, so chill out. If it was someone who talked trash. Because I know somebody did earlier. It doesn't really offend me, but like, chill out. Josh Smoove says Harrison got the name in blue. He deserves it. He deserves it. He's a busy dude, but he shows up to the streams when he can. He's really chill. He enjoys the videos. Literally enjoys them. He watches every single minute of them. He's, yeah, he deserves it, man. Big shout out Harrison Orr. New moderator. 
Ann Miller says, see ya after the Raptors game if you're still streaming. I will be. I will be. We have Team Takeover. I just noticed that. We have Team Takeover now. We've been that good this quarter. What's Scott Skiles doing? He's taking some terrible shots. And we're pulling away. We have time for a quick little two for one. Ooh, oh, that was terrible. Y and A says I'm going to be a little bit more quiet because I'm watching my favorite team, the Celtics. But I'm still watching. Oh, no, if any of you guys are watching that conference semifinals game, seven, I understand. I understand. I know that's a big game going on. I would be watching it right now if I wasn't streaming, but duty calls. I haven't streamed since Monday, and it's a Friday night, so a lot of guys are free. A lot of you guys don't have school, and I can just play the game and chill too because I don't have school either. I finished up all my schoolwork earlier today, and now it's time to just chill out, play the game. We have a nice 24-point lead at the end of three quarters. All we gotta do is hold on one more quarter, and we have only three games left. Three games left, man. We have been great so far. I don't know. It says the message was retracted. If it says message retracted, that means the person who wrote the message deleted it themselves. If it says message deleted, that means that a moderator deleted it. What's up, Herbs? Welcome to the stream. Sorry I wasn't here earlier. It hasn't even been an hour yet, so it's okay. What's up, Hunker? Harrison says, y'all be sure to hit up the like and subscribe if you haven't. Doc is a legend. Hey, you're a legend, man. But yeah, we are two likes away from 40, so drop a like for me if you haven't already. Those likes are important. They help the channel grow. They help the stream get out there. And... Man, in the first quarter, we only allowed nine points. In the sec in the third quarter, we only allowed eight points. We have been great so far on defense this game. And we were great on defense in the first game, too. What's up, Sean? Oh, terrible defense right there. Hunker says, I ain't scared of no moderator. I'm not scared of them either. They're on my side. What's up, TJ? Welcome to the stream, and thank you guys for 40 likes. That's a lot of likes right there. Hasn't even been an hour. That's impressive, man. Thank y'all for showing up big early. Let's post up right here, man. Oh, Dwight Howard probably... He might have blocked that. He might have gotten a piece of that. But yeah, what's up, TJ? What's up, everybody? Hope everyone's having a good night. 22-point lead on the road. Oh, I should have stolen that. We've played good defense this game, but I've missed so many opportunities to get steals too. Mini 2 Hype says, I asked my mom if I can get a membership. We are going over it on Sunday. Yeah, he said the same thing last week. But yeah, it would be cool if you can become a channel member. I have a great group of channel members, man. Love my channel members. They support the channel endlessly. Troyaholic, welcome back. Welcome back to my stream, Troyaholic. You came back at a good time. We have a 20-point lead. We could be three minutes away from being three games away from George Mike. And we've been playing pretty well so far. Not perfectly. Not perfectly because we could be playing better defense, but it's not like our defense has been trash or anything. And right now, I think we have enough my team points to... Move on to the next game and get three stars. And we still have three minutes left, so even if we don't have enough MT, we should be getting enough pretty soon. 66, 45. Yeah, we're playing pretty well today so far, man. Three stars in our first game. Should be three stars in our second game. Should be a good finish to this stream. TJ says, who's your favorite NBA team? My two favorite teams are the Knicks and the Hawks. I know they're bad, but at least I'm not a bandwagon fan. And the Hawks, they are an interesting young team. They have some good young talent. And they have some guys who are looking like they could be good young talent too. There are some guys on the team I'm not, I'm not really sold on yet, like Cam Reddish. I liked him at Duke, but not really sold on him yet. 
I like DeAndre Hunter. He's going to be a good NBA player, but I don't know if he's going to be like a superstar or anything. We'll see. We'll see. We will have to see. And the Knicks, I don't have too much hope. Maybe they'll trade up in the draft, but like, I don't know. If they trade up for anything other than three, I don't really see the point. Actually, there are some good guys who I think are going under the radar at like four through nine, four through ten. The draft's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting draft because I feel like there are a lot of guys who have some pretty amazing potential who aren't being regarded as like top prospects. So we'll have to see how that goes. I'm looking forward to the draft. I think that once all the rookies are once all the rookies are drafted, and once all the players like you know choose their new teams of free agency or whatever, I think we're gonna get some new domination, and we're gonna get a new collection too in my team because if you go to the what's it called the what's it called the season like challenges or whatever, it says you have to get 594 stars in domination. And right now, there's only 297 available, so we're going to have to see. Hunker says Steph Curry's going to the Knicks. He almost went to the Knicks in the draft all those years ago. If he had just slid down one more pick, he would have gone to the Knicks. Wasn't even the Knicks' fault they missed him. Actually, it kind of was. They could have been a little bit worse in the regular season, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. Harrison Orr said Cam had a great second half of the season. He's very promising. I agree. I agree with that. He did have a very good second half. But, like, we've seen some players have very good second halves of the season, like Josh Jackson, for example, and then he didn't pan out. And if you think about it, Cam Reddish and Josh Jackson, they have some similarities, man. I know Josh Jackson isn't great right now, but I'm hoping he doesn't end up like Josh Jackson because Cam Reddish has very good form. He plays some good defense. He's super athletic. He can finish around the rim. He has really good potential, but we're going to have to see how he pans out. I do think he's going to be good, but we're going to have to see. What's up, James Bynum? Welcome to the stream. Oh, 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 no. 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Welcome to the stream, James Bynum. I'm a Hornets fan, and it's tough out here. I mean, at least y'all got the number three pick. I'm a Knicks fan. I would have died for the number three pick. Not really, but you know what I mean. And having that top three pick, Mango, it guarantees that you're going to get either James Wiseman or Lamelo Ball or Anthony Edwards. We're going to have to see what happens there. I'm thinking it's going to be mellow, but I don't know. We'll have to see. We're going to have to see. What's up, Frankie? Welcome to the stream. We have 21 viewers. That's a lot of people. 21 viewers, man. Hope everyone's having a good night. That was a good second win of the stream. We are now three wins away from mellow, not mellow ball, from George Mikan, from finishing all-time domination, so... Let me change the title of the stream, and we're going to keep on moving forward. If we have anybody in here who's new to the channel, y'all talk to me in the chat. Subscribe if you enjoy my team content. I do try to post every single day, or stream every day. And look at that, we have 60 tokens now. We have 60 tokens. That's a lot. That's actually enough for a diamond player in the token market. I don't know who I want. I mean, Al Horford's the one with the most redemptions. Yeah, not many people have gotten diamond rewards yet. I don't know who I want to get. You guys tell me. Y'all look at these players. Tell me who I should get because I really have no idea. Gail Goodrich, Fat Lever, Earl Monroe, Horford, McDice. I don't know who I want, so you guys decide. Packer, I am going to stream the spotlights after I finish up these last games of domination. So, yeah. We will be streaming the spotlights. I'm going to do that after this. So this is going to be cool. Before we play the last three games, let's do this real quick. You guys are going to see what I'm about to do. Going to get these last two basketballs and something pretty cool is going to happen. What's up, Trippy? Welcome to the stream. 
Before we play our final three games, I'll show you guys right here. These are the last three games we got to play. We're going to go to our collection real quick. We're going to go to rewards, basketballs, and we are going to redeem Artist Happy Gilmore. It's actually just Artist Gilmore, but let's go ahead and flip the card. Mythical Zard says Al Horford. White Maxi says Earl Monroe was really bad last year. Yes, he was, so I'm not going to get him. Packer, I've not put in the locker code yet. There we go. Artis Gilmore. We're going to work on evolving him later. Either like tomorrow or the day after. We'll do it live on stream. I just wanted to get him real quick before we start playing again. I think I'll put him on my bench. Because I like PJ Brown, but Artis Gilmore is an upgrade right there. So we'll put PJ Brown on the bench. Let's also replace Nick Van Exel, even though I like him. We'll get Vin Baker right there. So here's what the team's looking like right now. I have 60 tokens, so I could get Diamond Al Horford too. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because that Al Horford's going to be solid. Of course, he's going to have a nice shot. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a Average Al, as the Boston Radio called him last year. Let's get Average Al. What's up, Cole? Welcome to the stream. 43 likes, 20 viewers. That is very solid, man. Let's get AC Green on the bench. Let's get Average Al in the starting lineup. Let's replace PJ Brown with AC Green. Let's move AC Green to the power forward. And there we go. Two diamonds in the starting lineup. Two diamonds off the bench. Three games left of all-time domination. And we're going to go ahead and get things started right here, right now. 90 stars out of 99, 60s. If we win this game, we get 27 tokens. Let's get it. What's up, running up checks? Welcome to the stream. Hope everything's good with you. Hope you're doing all right. Hope you all are ready for this, man. That's a really good team we're up against. That is a really good team we're playing against right there. So, this is going to have to be a good effort by us, man. We have a good team, but it's going to be tough to stop these guys. The good news is that Bill Russell and Wilt aren't going to be shooting for real. They're not going to be shooting many threes, so I'm not worried too much about them. But, it's on a tough difficulty, and these are the last three games, so I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. Running up check says I can't believe the Clippers choke. I mean, it was one game. I doubt they're going to blow a 3-1 lead, but if the Clippers do end up blowing a 3-1 lead, that'll be the second time in the last, what, five, six years they've blown a 3-1 lead. So, yeah, for the Clippers' sake, hopefully they do not blow a 3-1 lead because, yeah, they did that versus the Rockets all those years back. Oh, no, not a good start. I threw a turnover and got scored on. Not a great start to the game. If I can get Derrick Rose going early, we're going to have a good game. But oh my gosh, look at this wall. Look at that wall they set up in the paint. They were not going to let me score right there. Shot clock's running down. I'll start running plays if I just can't get any open shots. But that was a good drive right there. And we're going to have to shoot a lot of free throws if we're going to win. I'm not too worried about defending these guys because we just played versus Penny. We just played versus Grant Hill, Tracy McGrady. And we played some very good defense on them. So hopefully that doesn't happen too much. Hopefully we can play some good defense on Oscar and, yeah, all those guys. Bill Russell. I think that's Gail, no, Jerry West. Hopefully we play some good defense on those guys. We got 22 people watching, 44 likes on the stream. If anybody's new to the channel, y'all see the title, y'all know what I'm doing. It would be awesome if y'all subbed if y'all enjoy the content, even if you're new. Right now, we're working on these final few games of all-time domination. We just got a couple diamond players in Artis Gilmore and Al Horford, so now we're working towards getting our first pink diamond player. And we're not off to a very good start in doing it. I'm just going to go ahead and say it how it is. This game's not off to the best start, but like I said, if we can start getting 
going on offense, we're going to be okay. But wow, this is just an abysmal start. Good steal, though. That was a good steal. We, we really needed that. Good pass. Bad shot. Good rebound, though. It's 6-6. Six to six. We just got to start playing better, D. What's up, man? Funny. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. Back-to-back -back stops on defense. Back-to-back -back steals. Let's just take it slow. There's no need to go too fast, man. Let's just take it slow. Run some pick and rolls. See if we can get some switches. Oh, no! Al Horford, where are you going? Where was Al Horford going right there? I was trying to give him the ball because he had a mismatch. That screen literally was perfect. I got the switch I wanted. I could have gotten an easy bucket with Al, but we'll take the baseline instead. What's up, Russell Harrison? Welcome to the stream. What's up, board man gets paid? Should I quick sell my shoes? Yes. If they're bronze through gold, yes. 100%. Yes. Because not many guys are going to be buying those bronze shoes. Some people look for those for like three-point shooting, but especially if they're not like three-point shooting boosts, I think you should go ahead and sell them because not many guys look for boosts in like things other than shooting. Sometimes speed, sometimes finishing, I don't know. Great pass. We have a mismatch right here. I wanted to get the ball. What? Oh my god! That's an easy layup. We missed an easy layup at the end of last game. Now we're missing easy layups over Bob Cousy. Al Horford, this is your debut. This is your first game with the team. Not only is this your first game with the team, we need to win this game and we need to get a lot of MT if we want to get three stars. And now we're missing open layups. Come on. It doesn't get much worse than that. I say all the time it doesn't get much better than that, but oh my god. That was horrible. What's up, Coop? What's up, Jurassic Poo? Welcome to the stream, both of you guys. We're playing good defense on these guys, but oh my god. We just missed a wide open layup. What's up, Amir? Welcome to the stream. Amir, Coop, Jurassic Poo. Everybody who's joining the stream, drop a like for me if you haven't already. We are one like away from 50. It's been a rough first quarter, man. I know we're in the lead, but it's been rough. Missing open layups. Giving up easy shots in transition. It's been a rough first quarter, man. It has not been easy, yet the game is still tied. So, if we can just keep on playing defense like that, running the fast break and getting things going, we're going to be okay, but those missed layups are terrible. Russell says, I lost an unlimited game to a dude with only pink diamonds and a career highlights Devin Booker. Oh, you're talking about NBA 2K20. I was thinking, how many pink diamonds could you possibly have right now in 2K21? But that's tough that you lost a game to all those guys because if I saw a game in 2K20 versus a bunch of guys that are pink diamonds and career highlights Booker, my eyes would light up, man. I would say guaranteed win. I would take my full Opal team, I would take my Opal Kareem, and I would destroy that team. Maybe. You never know. Maybe it's a good player. And keep in mind, there were some good pink diamonds at the end of last year, man. Ooh, oh, no, no. So Al Horford misses a layup earlier in the game, and now he wants to miss a dunk? I know it was contested, but oh my gosh. Al Horford is choking in this game. This is supposed to be his big debut. This is supposed to be his big first game with the team. He's missed a wide open layup and a dunk. You gotta be kidding me. We don't even have 100 MT yet. So even if we do win this game, it's not looking like we're gonna get three stars. So I don't know if I should restart or what because that was, a, oh my God. Bad first quarter. Very, very bad first quarter. Even though we're in the lead. Very bad first quarter, man. <sighs> Hopefully we start getting more MT. Hopefully we start hitting shots better, but oh my gosh. I gotta take Al Horford out of the game. Al Horford has just been stinking it up. 
I gotta get him out of the game right now. That was the terrible quarter, but we still have a one point lead. So I think we're gonna pull away. We started playing better on offense. I think we're gonna be okay. But that was just, oh, a terrible first quarter, man. What's up, GMB Jeff? Welcome to the stream, bro. Welcome to the stream, man. We have a good lead, but that first quarter was just awful. Welcome to the stream, GMB Jeff. Drop a like for me, man. We're one away from the big 50, and this is just our third game of the stream. Harrison says, from what I've seen so far, it looks like players are always missing easy dunks and layups. This doesn't always happen, but this is the second straight game where I've just missed a super easy gimme layup. It's been happening a lot. I wouldn't say it happens like every game, but it's happened every game this stream so far. So, yeah, what can I say? GMB Jeff says, love the unis. Hey, I had to wear the unis, man. I saw I had them. And I said, I got to put them on. I had no other choice but to put them on. Herbs says, do you have any recommended sapphires or rubies? Well, a very good sapphire that just came out today is Kawhi Leonard. I've heard about him. For the current collection, Ben Simmons is a very good sapphire. Paul George is a very good ruby. Another very good ruby is... Now, what's his name? Crap, I forgot. If you need a point guard... Man, who is it? I've heard... No, it's Westbrook. He's a sapphire. He's pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know the most about sapphires and rubies, but I know some good ones came out today. I know some of the guys like Simmons, Westbrook, who can attack the rim are pretty good. I don't know a ton about that stuff, because right now I don't really have a budget team, per se. But I haven't spent any money on the game, so that's good, right? Great defense. Oh my gosh. 64% contested. <sighs> What's up, hey friend? Welcome to the stream. We have a good seven point lead, and we're starting to get a little bit more MT, but we just got off to such a bad start in the first quarter. Missing wide open layups. I don't think we're going to get three stars. Like, we're going to have to really grind to get three stars. Because you guys saw in that first quarter. Just how bad Al Horford was playing. We played good defense, but he missed a wide open layup. He missed an easy dunk. And yeah, we were only up by one at the end of the first quarter when we should have been up by like, oh my gosh, 100% smothered layup. You got to be kidding me. The CPU's hitting us with all the BS right now, man. I don't love saying that, but that's what's happening. Packer says I gotta go. I appreciate you dropping by, Packer. I'm hoping we get three stars in this game. But whether we do, whether we don't, I'll see you around. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you again real soon. Oh, I missed the steal. Oh my gosh, how's that a foul? I tell you, man, that probably was a foul. But whenever things aren't going your way, it is easy to get frustrated, so I got to make sure I don't get too mad. We've only given up 20 points, but we missed so many easy scoring opportunities in that first quarter, and that kind of just messed me up a little bit. We have a good lead. If we can get 200 MT by halftime, maybe I'll keep on going, but we just had such a bad first quarter. Great D. They've been hitting tough shots, but that's some great defense. If we can get a fast break score right here, that'd be huge. Let's go. Anthony Morgan, welcome to the stream, man. Y'all listen to Anthony Morgan. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know how many likes we're at right now, but I know it's a lot. So thank y'all for that. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. If any of y'all are new, it would be awesome if y'all sub because we're only a few subscribers away from 3.58 thousand. So drop a sub for me if you haven't already. Especially if you're enjoying the grind. It's been good, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. What's up, Nearest Rivas? I need that Kobe. That Kobe I've heard is really good. I know he's going for like 100,000 MT. 
yeah, I want that Kobe too. And I have a few diamond players in my starting lineup, but that Kobe looks solid. Like, he'd probably start over. What kind of pass was that? It's been a frustrating first half, man. We're playing great defense. I think we can still get three stars. But we've missed so many easy layups. And they've made so many contested shots. It's been frustrating, man. It's been frustrating. Harrison Orr says Gilmore's looking solid. Playing great defense. They've made some shots over him, but still great defense. There's another block right there. But once again, we can't secure the rebound. Nearest says, I saw a buy now Kobe for 94. I mean, that's not much cheaper than 100, though. So, kind of close to 100. Welcome to the stream, though. Rivas. Not sure if you're new or not. A lot of people have been showing up lately and saying, first time in here since June. So I'm not sure if you're new or not, but either way, welcome to the stream. And thank you guys for 50 likes on the stream as well. Oh, I could have blocked that. Could have blocked that too. We're up by double digits, but I just don't like how we played in the first half, man. We're up double digits, but we just had a terrible first quarter. <sighs> we'll see how the rest of this game goes. We started playing some great defense at the end of the quarter, midway through the quarter. They got off to a good start, but we were just so bad in the beginning that I don't know if we're going to get three stars. I really don't. My real name is Andy. This is my mom's old phone. Got you. You can go on YouTube and you can change your name to Andy, and I'll know to call you Andy. Oh, come on. I, uh, maybe I shouldn't have shot that, but I still feel like that should have gone in. <sighs> so we have 250 MT. So we're actually not doing that bad. We're actually not doing that bad. I thought we were, like, really down bad, but I think we can still get three stars. I actually think I can still get three stars. Anthony says I'm switching banks right now, so I gotta switch everything out. I know Anthony's gonna be a member again eventually. Y'all know how Anthony is. Anthony's a Doc Nation. Anthony bleeds Doc Nation, man. I don't know what colors he bleeds, but he bleeds Doc Nation, man, through and through. Huge member of this community. Oh, keep on cutting, AC Green. I don't want to pause the game like this too much, but... Notice how AC Green is right there. He begins running towards the basket, but then he stops, and Bill Russell gets the easy steal. Like, that is me just recognizing that he's running to the basket, throwing the pass, but he just doesn't go for it. And it's really annoying when my CPUs don't do that, because that should have been a wide-open dunk for AC Green. It's all good, though. If we keep on playing defense, we're going to be okay. We're getting a lot of stops, so that's a very good sign. Anthony says, still waiting for that merch. Merch is coming soon, 100%. Merch is coming soon, I promise y'all that. I've been talking about it with somebody, and I've been thinking about designs, and merch is coming soon, that's all I got to say. And I'm looking forward to it. Anthony says, I bleed orange and blue. Yeah, you do. You're an Auburn man. And I respect that. You know I'm a... What? 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 7% contested. Nobody's even there. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game is rigged. I think I'm meant to not get three stars in this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. At least they're missing open shots. At least they're missing too. Like, it's not just me. Thankfully. Oh my god. We've missed, what, three open layups now? This game alone? We missed one at the end of last game too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Harrison Orr said Doc's getting the worst luck. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yes, I am. What's up, Ashley? Welcome back. I won't talk much because of this good content. That's okay. Welcome back, Ashley. Oh my god. We have 300 MT though. So despite all the open layups we've missed, we still have a very good chance of getting three stars. We still have a very good chance. And we're getting a lot of stops on defense. We still have a good chance at three stars, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, do not be surprised if we do not get three stars. That would be the worst thing ever if we don't get three stars, but we have missed so many open layups, so many dunks, that I'm just going to let you guys know we might have to replay this game. I really do hate to say it, because I haven't had to really replay any games, but we might have to replay this one because my guys are selling. I just got to say it how it is. My team is selling. It's been sad, but we still have a double-digit lead. I really hate how many open shots we've missed, man. It, it's just been sad. We've gotten so many good opportunities, and we just missed a bunch of them. I'm just going to go ahead and say it how it is. We've just missed. We're starting to get a lot more MT, though. Josh Smoove says Doc can't take L's. That's true. And even if I do take an L, I'll always bounce back. We're not going to lose this game, but we might not get three stars. I already put that out there for y'all. Y'all already know that. I wouldn't be surprised if we do not get three stars because even though we've played good defense, we've just missed so many easy opportunities that I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get three stars. We have over 300 MT. So if we start playing better defense, we're going to be okay. But oh my gosh, like... The open layups we've missed this game are just sad. It's sad how many open layups we've missed. Great block. Great block. Mini 2 Hype says, I have a question. Do you think D. Rose will make the Hall of Fame by the end of his career? I want to say yes. I mean, he's the youngest MVP in NBA history. He had some very good seasons. He's revived his career. My heart says yes, but I really don't know. We're going to have to see. What's up, Elliot Ward? I'm doing very well. Welcome to the stream, Elliot Ward. Drop a like on the stream for me if you're just hopping in or if you haven't already. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. We have 50 right now. That is very good. Got a lot of people watching. We've gained some new subs. It's been a good stream so far, even though this game's been going terribly. Harrison, you have to get 975 MT, but there's a multiplier. There's a multiplier. So, the multiplier takes into account your field goal percentage, your three-point percentage, your three-throw percentage, your offensive points, and your defensive points. So, we have a good chance at three stars if I can just, you know, make enough shots and play good enough defense. I hate that it's that simple, but it's really that simple. Great defense right there, man. Great block. Harrison, we're going to be okay. We have 350. And for a good shot at 1,000, you want to score like... You want to get like, I want to say, 500 MT. I don't know the exact number, but... We're in a good position. We're in a very good position. That first quarter was terrible, but... We've recovered ever since. We have a very good lead. And we're going to win this game. But like I said, there's no guarantee that we get the MT. And right there... Another contested layup, man. The CPU's been kicking my butt low-key. But I've been kicking their butts, too. Elliot says, in your opinion, who's going to win the NBA championship? I got to go with the Lakers, man. I got to go with the Lakers. I'd love to see them win it for Kobe. And I just feel like no team can beat the Lakers four times in a seven-game series, especially when... Anthony Davis and LeBron are playing well. When Rondo's playing like this, Alex Caruso, Contavious Caldwell Pope. I know they're not necessarily at full strength because they're missing Avery Bradley, but they just look so complete. 
and they've shut down the Rockets three point shots. I know they almost blew the lead last night, but the Lakers have been looking deadly, especially when they're locked in. LeBron didn't even have a great game last night, and they still just destroyed the Rockets. The Rockets looked defeated the entire night, man, until the end. All right, guys. I gotta have a huge fourth quarter, or else we might not get three stars. So I need to have a big fourth quarter. I gotta lock in. Very good start. Very, oh my gosh. Good offensive rebound. Second chance points. So we're at 370 MT. I think we're gonna be safe if we get about 500. Herbs says I'm starting the domination grind tonight. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, Herbs. The domination grind, it can be a little bit boring, but I'd say it's pretty fun. I'd say it's fun. And you guys make it a lot better for me because I enjoy talking to y'all. New subs come in here, new viewers. And a lot of y'all enjoy the content, which I really appreciate. Ashley says I gotta go. Take it easy, Ashley. I'll see you later. Oh, they're double teaming. They're leaving the pen. Oh, no, I did not mean to shoot that, but thankfully I drew the foul. I was trying to pump fake that, but there we go. Two free throws, and we should get 375 MT right now. If we can get 500, we're safe, but no promises. I seriously think we're going to have to replay this game. So you guys expect for me to not get three stars. We're going to get the win. We have a very good lead, but I do not think we're going to get three stars yet. Royal Ryan says, you're getting three stars, bro. I turned it over right there because I was looking at the chat, but we do have a chance to get a stop on defense. So there we go. We got a stop on defense. If we get two more, we get a big MT boost. So maybe turning it over there was not the worst thing in the world, but Al Horford getting blocked is the worst thing in the world. I'm tired of Al Horford getting crapped on this game. He's been crapped on by Elgin Baylor, Bill Russell, everybody. So let me take Al Horford out of the game. Let's get Dave DeBusher back in there. I'm telling you, man, Wilton, Bill Russell, that is a tough duo to stop. Rick Smith's go. Go to the basket. We have a mismatch. No, no, no. I'm going to be real. I don't know if we're going to get three stars. Like I said, I think we're going to have to replay this game. I'm 80% sure we're going to have to replay this game. That's a very high percentage. What's up, Reese Palmer? Welcome to the stream. Oh, D. Rose. It's because Bill Russell has his takeover. Oh my gosh. Now they're making some BS and they might come back. What's up, Ethan? Yeah, the CPU. They're screwing me up right now, man. What's up, Tevin? Welcome to the stream. It would be great if my, you know, my AI players got open. But whenever they double team, they're always sitting in one place. There we go. Good D. It would be great if I could strip that. It would be great if I can get that steal. Great, great defense. Got to get that rebound, though. Rebounding's been an issue for us. Josh says, go Celtics. Reese Palmer says, yeah. I don't really care who wins this game, man. It's two great teams facing off. As a basketball fan, I can't, I can't ask for much better than that, man. Oh, great pass. Oh, not a great pass. Not great pass. Come on, Sean Elliott. It's looking like it's choke time. What's up, Daba? Go Celtics, go Clippers. Hey, so if the Celtics win today, that'll be both your favorite teams getting Ws. 
Big steal. Oh no. Two free throws. That's good. Two free throws is good. We had a big lead. We might blow it. We'll see if we can get the win though, man. We're going to see if we can hold on. Like I told you guys, I'm sure, I'm almost positive we're going to have to replay this game because I do not think we're going to get three stars because we got off to such a bad start. Al Horford was missing wide open layups and dunks. Derrick Rose missing an open layup. <sighs> we just got off to such a bad start in this game. I, I think we're going to have to replay it, but maybe we'll hang on and get the win and three stars. Maybe. You never know. We have 22 people watching. If any of y'all in here are new, drop a like for me if you haven't already. It really does help the stream get out there. And subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. I'm, I'm hoping we can hit 3.58 thousand subs today. That would be great. I would love that. And we're not very far from that. I think we're only like two or three away. So, yeah. Let's see if we can hit 3.58. That means we're on the road to 3,600, which I know isn't much more than I have right now. But when you're a small YouTuber, any channel growth means a lot, man. Y'all know these things. Wait, this might be good. Since we're not up huge, they might start intentionally fouling, which means I'll get more opportunities to score, which means I could get more points. I could get more stops on defense. This could be a good thing that the game is so close. We're going to get points for strength of opponent too. So we might actually get three stars, but no promises. No promises. We have chances to keep on scoring right here, which is a good thing. We can get over 100 MT if we hit all our free throws. So let me hit, let me keep on hitting my free throws. Let me see if I can get a stop or two on defense. And we could actually get three stars, but I don't think we will. Herb says, is there a faster way to get through domination games? No, there's not. I mean, you could do the glitch that was in 2K20, but the thing about domination is that you have to get a certain amount of points to get three stars. So, you have to play almost all the game to get as many points. Why is he wide open? You have to play a lot to get as many points as you can. So, you can't really skip over the game. With Spotlight Sims, you can do that, but with Domination, you cannot. I might let them score right here. I might let them score just so I can get more free throws. I think I'm going to let them score right. Oh, never mind. That was a terrible shot they took. They almost scored anyway. We're going to hold on. We're going to get this win. Let me go ahead and get this dunk too to get that double digit lead back. We might actually get. We might actually get 3 stars, but I do not think we will. I think we're going to have to replay this game. I think there's no way we got 975 MT. Even though we've won every game by double digits, even though we won this game by double digits, there's no way we're getting three stars, in my opinion. There's almost no way. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We did get three stars. Look at that. We did it. 1,098. We got over 100 more than we needed. Okay. That was good. Good double-digit win. Okay, we got three stars. I did not expect that. I did not expect that one bit. What's up, Mock Builds? I was not expecting that. We got almost 1,100 MT. We played so bad in the first quarter and so bad in the fourth quarter. Yet we still got all that MT. Two games left. Let me change the title of the stream to my final two games for George Mikan. So you guys are not misled. My final two games for George Mikan. Here we go. Got 22 people watching in the chat. Got two games left. Let's go ahead and play the 70s. The 70s all decade team. We are two wins away from George Mikan. So. Let's get this win. All we need is six more stars. We're at 93 right now. So let's go. Harrison Orr says, let's go. Mock Builds, how are you doing, man? Hope you're doing all right. 
I miss your YouTube videos, man. I know you're taking a much needed break, but I miss your videos. Herbs says halfway through the first game, 13 point lead. Those domination games and historic domination games, I won all those by like 100. But these all time domination games are a completely different story. We're playing this game on our home court, though. We're playing this game on our home floor. We played versus the Heat here earlier. We got the win. We're playing versus the 70s All-Stars now. Or the all-time 70s, I guess. So, here we go, guys. If we win this game, we only have one game left for George Mikan, our first pink diamond. Let's get it. Let's start out with a stop on defense. Let's go, guys. I'm nervous, but on the surface, I'm calm and ready. Great start. <sighs> Great start. Great defense. Nice rebound. Run the fast break. Easy bucket. That's the start we need. If we can play defense like that every time, this is going to be an easy win. Good defense, Al Horford. Yeah, there we go. Last game, we weren't off to a great start on defense, but this game, that's two good defensive possessions back-to-back. -back. My voice cracked right there. Mm, I don't want to shoot that. I'll shoot this, though. There we go. Look at that pass. Look at that beautiful pass right there. We still have 22 people watching, got 53 likes on the stream. Anybody in here who has not dropped a like yet, drop a like for me. It hasn't even been two hours, and we already have over 50. That is a very good sign that this is going to be a nice, long, successful stream, man. Y'all drop a like for me if you haven't already. And if anybody in here watching is new, y'all know what to do. If y'all enjoy the content, subscribe. I think we're going to hit 3.58 thousand tonight, man. Great pass. JD says, look at Tatum, man. That's Celtics Raptors series. That's as good as it gets right there, man. That is great basketball. If I wasn't streaming right now, I would totally be watching it. I would totally be watching it. And that's the great thing about these past few days that I've taken off from streaming. I've actually been able to post videos, so I've been getting views, new subs, I've been having fun posting content, but I've also had the chance to watch basketball, and that's the one thing I don't love about streaming. I can't really lock in and watch basketball while I'm streaming, so I'm going to need a bunch of you guys to give me score updates and let me know what's going on with the Celtics and the Raptors, because that's been a great series so far, and whichever team wins the series, they're going to have a great series versus the Heat. They will. Not our best start, but far from a terrible start. Last game was a terrible start. This game is just a, it's just an example of not bad, but let's be a little bit better. That's what this game's looking like right now because we're scoring pretty easily. We're halfway through the quarter. We already have 60 MT. If we can just play great defense, we're going to be okay. If we get 500 MT total, I think this is going to be... I think we're going to get this one done, man. Great defense. Gotta force tough shots like that. Troy Holick says the Celtics and Raptors are two tough teams battling it out. Facts. Two tough teams and two... Very well coached teams too. Some people forget about the coaching aspect. The coaching is super important. I think the coaching is the reason why the series is tied 3-3 because both teams have such good coaches who are answering each other blow for blow. What's up FTC Stormy? I just got the full glizzy fit on Fall Guys. Hey, that's good for you man. Like Ryan said earlier, I'm still waiting on Fall Guys to come to Xbox because... I have it on PC, but it is so hard on PC, and my PC is not like super powerful, so it lags a little bit, and it's so hard to play. I've never won because of how hard it is to play, but I have made it to the final round before, so that's a good thing, right? I guess. 
I don't know, but I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say it's pretty good. I don't know, though. Nice move. Nice move. Oh. We're off to a good start in this game. Could be a better start on defense because we have given up some open shots. But we have almost 100 already. That's a great start. 100 in the first quarter is very good. And we haven't been bad on defense. It's just we aren't getting enough stops in a row. We've been good on defense, but not good enough. And one. I saw the future. JD says, go watch House of Highlights on YouTube for the game on stream like Flight. I mean, I have a... Uh, what's it called? I would turn it on right now, but I'm trying to talk to y'all in the chat while also, you know, playing the game and finishing up this all-time domination, man, because this is a grind. I want to finish it tonight. We're getting very close to finishing it tonight, so you, I might as well. I'll watch the game afterwards. Right now, this is what I'm focused on. I know a lot of you guys are watching that game. I'll watch it later, man. I'll watch it. Oh, no, not another open layup. I know that it didn't say wide open, but like, literally, he has a mismatch, he's 7-7, seven, seven. he's right by the rim, and now we're only up by two, that's not good, that is not good, not very good, bucket right here would be great though, we do have 115 points, my team points, so even though we're only up by five, we're still off to a decent start. Harrison says, you're saying Jalen Brown can't make a three in this game, or are you just saying in general? I think he's talking about in that game, because keep in mind, last game, didn't Jalen Brown go like 11 for 30, or 10 for 30? It was something kind of bad. Jalen Brown's a star, but yeah, it took him 30 points to get his point, 30 shots to get his point total, excuse me. 25 people watching, we just got another like, that is now 56 in less than two hours. If any of y'all watching the stream are new to my channel, we're grinding my team right now, man. We're getting close to that George Mike and hang around and watch me get him. We might just be seven quarters away if we can get three stars in this game, which I'm not guaranteeing. I'm not going to guarantee three stars in this game, but I do guarantee I'm going to give my all to win and try to get as many my team points as possible. So offensively, off to a great start. Defensively, got to be a little bit better. Hey, we have 129 my team points already. We just got to be better on defense. If we start playing good defense and getting stops, we will pull away. We will win this thing big, and we will get three stars. Getting three stars, that's the most important thing because if I win the game but only get two stars, I got to replay it, and I'm not trying to replay it. Oh, come on. Good offensive rebound, though. And we're back in transition. Yeah, good defense. We're getting stops pretty well. We're playing some good defense. We just got to be better on offense. Ooh, yeah. I haven't said it yet this stream. I know a lot of you guys love when I say this phrase, but... That's what I'm talking about right there. Frederick says, make a three-pointer, and I'll stop the dislike. You can dislike all you want to. I really don't care. I mean, the fact that you dislike the stream in the first place, I mean, and I don't even know who you are. That kind of speaks to your character. But, yeah, I don't think I did anything to you, but, yeah, I'm sorry you don't like the stream. What's up, Mr. Clutch? Thanks for the content. It's no problem, man. I love giving you guys content. I love grinding out these. I love grinding out these my team games, man. Mango says Tyler Hero so underrated. Facts. I agree. He is very underrated. Great defense. They're taking a lot of tough shots, but we gotta grab rebounds. We gotta grab rebounds, man. Nice cut. Nice slam. There we go. There we go. 
Frederick says, sorry I liked. I don't even know why you disliked in the first place. I mean, some people come in, they don't like my voice, they don't like how I talk, they think I suck at the game. I wonder what your reason for disliking was. Like, I wonder what I possibly could have done to piss you off. Because people who dislike, they dislike for a reason. I wonder what my reason was. Like, did I make you mad or something? Did I say something offensive? Did I insult your one of your favorite players or something? Because I know you're a basketball fan. That's why you're in here. Or at least a 2K player. I don't know. I don't know what I did, though. Another contested shot. Sheesh. If they double team, lanes open. I don't like the fact that Kareem's guarding Al Horford, though. I don't like it at all. Celtics up, let's go. And it was just looking like the Raptors were pulling away, so... Look at the Celtics answering back, man. I'm going to shoot this and hope it goes in. They're playing good defense. We're playing good defense, too, this quarter, but, man, that first quarter, we were just awful on defense. Great D. They've been making those tough... Why did Derrick Rose foul? Derrick Rose, you're not going to stop Kareem. Why would you foul like that? I swear to you, my CPUs are just so dumb sometimes. Let's get Artis Gilmore in there. Let's get our subs in there. And see if we can begin pulling away. Because this game's too close. I don't like how close this game is. Oh, that's terrible. Good rebound, though. Gotta force it in there. Hope for the best. Yeah, let me change up my lineup, man, because my starters are getting kind of tired. And Derrick Rose almost fouled again. Oh, my gosh. Why is Derrick Rose fouling so much? Because that should have been an and one for them. I admit that. Good switch. Nah, they didn't switch. Are you kidding me? Why did he fade away right there? It's not looking very good, guys. Oh! That was a nice little ship turn of events right there. Nice steal. Derrick Rose misses the layup. I don't know how the CPU caught up. More good defense. Another stop. This game is so sloppy, man. Oh, my gosh. This game is so sloppy. Celtics up at halftime. What's the halftime score looking like? Because y'all said earlier the Raptors were up by, I think it was 37-31. So what's it looking like right now? Oh, he flopped. Oh, he flopped, but they still contested that? Oh, my gosh. If we get a stop right here, I think we get a lot of points. Because that's three stops in a row. But wow, that was a bad... Oh, no, 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 no. Oscar Robertson's locking up AC Green in the post. So I need to stop posting up. At least we got that stop on defense. But oh my gosh. We just got locked up in the post back-to-back -back times. <sighs> and we're down at halftime. Or we might be. Unless I make this. Yeah, we're down at halftime. We are down at halftime. What's up, Linder? I did beat the 60s. I beat the 60s. I got enough MT. But, Linder, I really don't know if I'm going to have enough MT in this game because I had a good lead, but all of a sudden they're pulling away. They make such contested shots, and I feel like my team just plays like BS on purpose. Welcome to the stream, though, Linder. You really got to be locked in 100% for these games. I'm not going to blame my chat, but I do try to keep my chat involved and talk to them as much as possible and provide commentary. But it's hard. Oh my gosh! I thought I was right by the rim. But yeah, it's tough to stream these games and like do a lot of talking and stuff because the CPU barely makes any mistakes. I got enough MT versus the 60s. I might not get enough MT this game. I'm losing it, man. I'm throwing turnovers. Playing bad defense. Let me call timeout because I'm just losing it right now. Let me get a sip of water and I'll start playing better. Let me calm down real quick.
not get too out of control. Get my starting lineup back in there. And we're going to see if we can pull it away. We shouldn't be down by five. We shouldn't be down at all because we had a great lead in the second quarter, but that lead is gone. And whenever you're down, it's like jump shots just don't want to go in. So we're going to have to start relying on our defense a little bit if we're going to win this thing. Because it's not looking good right now at all. It's looking like they're pulling away. They have momentum. They love shooting those mid-range shots, but we're playing great D. Yeah, two on the shot clock. Great possession. But look at that. We play great defense an entire possession, and they just get the rebound and lay it in easily. All that great defense was for nothing. We could have gotten a rebound, run the fast break, maybe gotten something there, but it's so tough playing these guys. What's up, Alex? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, should I say. We have 26 people in here. You guys drop a like for me if you haven't already. I need that good luck right now, man, because we're playing really bad. I know these teams are tough to beat, but I'm playing very bad. So I need you guys to bring me some good energy, bring me some good luck, because if I'm going to win this thing, I got to step it up. And they love using screens. Like, you got to lock in so hard on defense versus these guys. It is not easy at all. Great defense. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Great defensive possession for the first 20 seconds, but then I give that up. I'm not going to win this thing by playing defense like that. Come on, DeBusher. <sighs> we were hitting threes last game, but ever since, it hasn't been going down. What's up, YT Parallel? Welcome to the stream. Everybody who's in here, like I said, drop a like for me if you haven't already. I really do think I need that good luck because it's not going my way right now. Right there, Artis Gilmore should be running to the rim, and he should get a wide-open layup. Notice how his momentum's going to the rim, but he stops in place right there and allows Kareem to block him. That just doesn't make sense in my opinion. We won our last game easily, but we're playing this game like trash. We're playing like trash this game. And the crazy thing is that we're actually on pace to get the MT we need to get three stars. Even though we're playing so bad. It doesn't make sense, but it makes dollars. Was that a good joke? <sighs> if we can start getting rebounds, we're going to be okay. But we've been playing great defense and not getting rebounds. It's been bad. It's looking like we're going to lose this one. And I wouldn't be surprised if we did because these teams are tough. These teams are not easy to beat at all. You got to play so well. These CPUs go crazy on defense. I'm going to stay because we got off to such a... Oh, another offensive rebound. Oh, my God. We got off to such a good start that we have a lot of MT. So if I turn things around, we can actually get three stars. So I'm not going to quit yet, but... It's not been easy, man. Another... I got Bill Walton in the air, but he missed. I think we can still come back, but oh my gosh. It's not looking great. Didn't mean to pass to him. I was trying to icon. What's up, Kappa? Welcome to the stream. Man, terrible. Terrible game versus these guys. Good inbound play. I think we can still come back. We have almost 300 MT, and I think that's enough for us to actually get, if we have a good fourth quarter, we actually have enough to get the, no, lob it to Rose. Easy fast break opportunity. Rose was wide open. I tried to throw him a lob, but Eddie Johnson tried to lob it off the glass to himself, and now we're down by 11 instead of 7. That's the BS that's been killing us this game. Like I said, though, I'm not going to quit yet. We haven't lost a game this stream. I think we can still win this one, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> We're only down by nine. I believe we can still win it. 
I got to get those steals. I'm going to have to gamble. And I don't like gambling on defense. I like to be sound on defense, but I'm going to have to try and gamble, force tough shots, risky passes. Another great defensive possession. Yeah, that's a great defensive possession. All right, let's see if we can score in this thing before the quarter ends. I don't see any mismatches. Let's just go to the basket. There we go. We have over 300 MT, but we got to play better and get some stops in the fourth quarter if we're going to come back and win. Ryan says you got this. That I hope so. Like you and Codine say, I hope so. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great defense down the quarter. Great block. We were down by 11. We're only down by 7. We can still win this thing, man. I wholeheartedly believe we can still win this thing, but that was a terrible, terrible third quarter and a very bad end of the second half. Also, thank you guys for 60 likes on the stream. If any of y'all are new, y'all knew what to do. Mango says, go doc, go doc. Hey, I need that. I need that encouragement. I need you guys hyping me up. No promises that we win this game, but I will try my best. I'll try my best. I still think we can win, and I'm still going to try to win. That was great defense on the other end. If we can get an easy shot right here, that'd be great. But the way that they're playing defense is annoying. That's all I got to say. It's annoying. Reese says, I hate the Raptors. I think I've said this before, but I don't really hate any team. I don't know, man. I just love good basketball. And the Raptors play good basketball. And they always show off that heart of a champion that people talk about in the cliches. They always show it. They never, they never quit. That's the reason why they didn't go down 3-0 in this series. And that's the reason why they have a chance to win Game 7. Great defensive possession. Yeah, oh no. I thought that was great, D, but sadly he made it. Good answer back. We can still win it, man. Josh Smoove says, that's what I'm talking about. I needed that, Josh. Oh, no. Oh. You can't play much better defense than that on a layup, but he greened it from outside the paint. That's a momentum killer right there. That's what you call a momentum killer. For normal people, we all know we're built different around here, so we're just going to take it back to the rim and dunk it again. We just got to start getting stops like we just were two minutes ago. We're shooting a better percentage than they are, but they've been making so many tough shots, and sadly... The users, they don't get as much leeway in making tough shots. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right by the rim. 55% contested. Oh, my God. Literally great defense. Literally. It gave me a good contest and everything. Right by the rim. Should have been blocked. I'm telling you, man. These CPUs, they pull out all the stops. They pull out all the stops. I think they try to get me to hate the game. I really do. I really think that's what they're trying to do. They put me down by double digits. Now we're within four. That was a big stop. That should have been a steal. They've been making some BS, man. But the comebacks, I'm telling you. I don't get how they just turned into Super Saiyans in the third quarter. We got 30 people watching the stream. Got 60 likes on the stream. You guys drop a like for me if you haven't already. I need your good luck right now. I need your good energy if we're going to make this comeback. Y'all drop a like for me if you haven't already and witness this comeback. I think we can still do it. Yeah, I think we can pull this off. I really do. I think we can pull off the comeback. Yeah, give me that. Great defense. Let's run this fast break real quick. No! No! Why did Al Horford have to do that? I was just about to pass it off. <sighs> That's also a momentum killer. 
for most people. For me, we're just going to get back and play defense. We're going to play great defense, actually. Yeah, look at this. Are we in their heads? Probably not. I'm going to be real. We're probably not. But I'm feeling good about this. Oh, yeah! No! No! That was a great pump fake! No! No! I pump fake, I get an open layup, but then they play help defense, so it's not open anymore. Now we're down by six again. We're right back to ground zero. We could have made it a two-point game, but... Tough. Very tough. It ain't over, baby, till it's over. How many times did we give up? But we would always work things out. Do, 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 do. All we need is two stops on defense. That's literally all we need. Two stops on D. We can do it. No, 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 no! Oh, I was playing hands-up defense, but for some reason, Derrick Rose just slapped downwards. Oh my gosh! Whenever things are looking good, they either call a foul or make a 60% contested layup. We're scoring every time down the court, but oh my gosh! It's like 2K is setting us up for failure with this one. Oh! Yeah! Another rebound. No! Great defense, but we've had such trouble rebounding. Like I've been saying this entire second half. No! <sighs> if we can take it to OT, that would be good enough for me, because that will be a chance for us to get more MT. But for us to take this to OT, we got to stop this BS happening in regulation first. Because this has been some real BS. We're going to finish this game even if we lose so we can get the MT and everything. But oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Down seven, less than a minute. It's not looking great, but I'm still going to finish the game. Oh no! No! <sighs> it's probably over, but we'll go ahead and get our MT. So many stupid fouls. I'm not saying the fouls were like, you know, uh, what am I trying to say here? They were dumb fouls. But I didn't commit them, though. I don't think it's going to happen, but it ain't over till it's over. I say it all the time. I'm going to throw some double teams at them. Uh, we should have won this thing, man. Josh Move says lots of yeah and no. Whole lot of yeah and no. It was looking really good in the first quarter. Like, we played a great first quarter. But then we started missing everything. And then they started clamping up on defense. And it was just a rough game, man. We played a great first quarter. We played a bad end of the second through end of the third quarters. And the offense stepped up this quarter, but man, it's just been a rough one. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. I was not trying to shoot that. I was trying to fake, set my feet, and then shoot. Tough, man. Tough one. You take an L every now and then, but... I mean, you can't say you take no Ls. It's about how you bounce back after the L. Tough, man. Super tough loss in this one. We're going to get our MT. We're going to run it back. Let's see how much MT we made in the loss. Seven hundred sixty three. No, yeah, it's not going to get it done, man. We played a great fourth quarter. And we played great defense. And they missed a lot of shots. But we just didn't win. It's sad, but all we can do is bounce back. You guys make sure to drop a like on this stream for me if you haven't already. We are eight likes away from the big, majestic, magical, mystical 69. I need some positive energy right now, man. 
We're coming off a tough loss to the 70s All-Stars. It, I hate to admit that, but that's after three double-digit wins to start the stream versus the 60s, versus the Heat, and versus the Magic, all on the toughest difficulty. So that was a tough game to lose, but you live and you learn. You live and you learn. We beat the 60s so easily, we gotta beat the 70s easily too. We played great defense the entire second half, but man, they made some some tough shots. So this is going to be a big game right here, man. Y'all are going to see me get hyped in this game. This is a big one because if I get this win, we're only one win away. So let's get it. Harrison says, let's get this dub, Doc. We believe. I believed last game. We came within four points, but whenever we were within four and, and had a chance to get a stop, my CPUs did something insanely stupid, and I couldn't really explain it. I'm not going to try to explain it. We're just going to see if we can bounce back and get this win. That's all we're going to do. Oh, yeah, good defense. So that's the start we need right there. We get a stop on D. We run the fast break, and we're going to hit both free throws. Josh Smoove says believe harder. I usually don't take back-to-back -back L's, so you don't have to believe too hard, but it is indeed bounce-back bounce, bounce back time. It is indeed bounce-back time. We started off last game with two defensive stops as well, so I'm not worried about our defense. It's the offense that I'm worried about, and it's also them making tough shots I'm worried about, too, because last game they made a lot of tough shots. So, if I can keep on defending those tough shots, getting stops and running, we're going to win this thing. We're going to win this thing pretty easily. Great block. If I had gotten the rebound, that would have been three straight stops, but they make a contested layup. 40% contested, man. <sighs> Just hit that baseline with D-Rose every time. It works more or less every time, but... You got to get the other guys involved too, but sometimes you try to get the other guys involved and they start playing like trash. Oh, oh. At least I got points for stopping the fast break. At least I got points for that. I could have taken that, but he probably would have missed. He was open. That was a good move. There's the baseline with D. Rose Harrison, just like you said. That's what we needed. We got two stops to start the game. If we get a bunch of stops, we're going to win this thing. I mean, I think that's how basketball works, but you also get extra points for getting stops on defense, so we need to get those extra points. That was on me for jumping. <sighs> this is going to be a good one. We just can't let it slip away. Got to get as many easy points as we can, and it's going to be a good game. And, of course, not only do I have to win, I have to make sure I get enough MT as well. So, that's going to be tough. Man Funny says 2K21 is better than 20. I agree. I agree with that, for sure. It's definitely better than 20. I'm enjoying it a lot more right off the bat than I was 20. With 20, there are so many issues, so many problems. And, yeah, there were problems with shooting in this game at first, but... I feel like shooting's not terrible anymore. I mean, it's still kind of bad. But I don't think it's like as terrible as it was day one. The gameplay, you gotta be smart, you gotta focus if you want to beat these CPUs. I've enjoyed it, man. And that's not to mention the Seasons mode. Or not really the Seasons mode, it's more of like a battle pass. A lot of good things about 2K21 I'm enjoying so far, man. But playing these CPUs is not one of them. Oh, that was almost beautiful. I double tapped Y right there, tried to throw the lob. Yeah, we're off to a bad start in this game, man. This is looking even worse than the last one, because in the last one, we had so many points at the end of the first quarter. I think we had like 100-something my team points. And yeah, it's 8-8, eight to eight, but I'm not loving the start we're off to, man.
Great D. But where's the help at? Where's the help at, man? I didn't even do defensive settings, so there should be help. Ah, <sighs> man. I just gotta make sure I don't shoot this game away, man. Right there, the ball was in my hands, but we didn't get the steal. We got the rebound, though. Good rebound, good fast break. Reese Palmer says Tice is underrated. Tice is a... Tice is a solid player. The only thing is that he's not an aggressive scorer for the Celtics, man. And that's why he's a little bit of a liability out there. Even though he has good three-point shooting ability... He's a little bit of a liability out there. Just because even though he can shoot, he's probably not going to. Bad shot. I'm making some mistakes. A lot of them are on me. But man, it's it's been rough going so far, man. At least we're playing good defense in spurts, but... Gotta play some better defense in the second. Oh, yeah. Reese says he's playing aggressive this game, for real. So he's popping threes, getting to the rim. That's good to know he's playing aggressively because even though he's so undersized for the center position, he's able to switch everything on defense. He's able to shoot. And he looks like, what am I trying to say? He looks taller than he actually is on the court. But it's easy to forget that he's 6'8". What? Tough. I mean, we're only down by two, but tough quarter. They made some tough shots. We missed some easy shots, like that layup at the end. We gave up a bunch of offensive rebounds. We did so many things bad in that quarter. And we have the ball with a chance to tie or take the lead, so... Let's see if we can step things up a little bit this quarter, because we need to. We need to, or else they could just pull away and win this thing easily. These games are tough, man. Good. What? You're out by the rim. That was a good block, I guess. Defensively, I like how we've been playing, but they just get and make so many tough shots. That has been tough. Shouldn't have jumped. Good defense, though. Oh, good block. Good block, but then they get it back and lay it in. And that's been happening a lot. I've talked about giving up offensive rebounds, but man. It feels like we've given up so many that have led to scores. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Easy layup is actually not an easy layup. That's crazy. So we miss an open layup. And then they make a dunk like that. Oh my gosh. That's just momentum shifting. Notice what 2K does with momentum. They try to take you completely out of the game. And then I miss that. Oh my god. I'm struggling with the 70s. I don't know what it is. We miss open layups. That's two this game. Oh my gosh, and now we're being raided while I'm playing terribly? Oh no. I appreciate the raid. I do. And Jacob the Steelers fan, I recognize you. I appreciate the raid, but oh my gosh. We won our first three games of the stream by double digits, and now we're playing like garbage versus the 70s. Thank you guys for raiding, man. Thank y'all for raiding so much. And big shout out Jacob the Steelers fan because he's in here a decent amount. Thank y'all for the raid. It would be awesome if y'all dropped a like. And we're only a couple subs away from 3.58 thousand. So it would be awesome if y'all subbed. But man, it's just y'all picked a rough time because I've been playing terribly this game. Big shout out Lino. Big shout out Lino. Thanks to all y'all for subscribing. Y'all picked a tough time to come, though, man, because it's been tough. 
Keep on grinding. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Maybe that's the positive energy I need to pull away because we're playing good defense. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling y'all. When you get to all-time domination, these games get tough. They really do. When you get to all-time dom, they start making every shot. You start missing easier shots. It's not easy, but it happens, man. Thanks to Damien for subscribing. You're awesome. And we're down by six. We're going to be all right. We've made some great comebacks in the past, but it's not looking... Oh, my gosh. It's not looking great right now. Thanks for rating, Lino. Is it Lino or Lino? I'm sorry, man, if I didn't get it right. But, man, yeah. This has been a tough game, but we're all about coming back around here. ACOG says I'm on Historic right now. Historic was easy for me, man, but this is just such... Oh, my gosh. It's just such a step up. You're going to get to all time. You're going to be fine. Just keep on grinding, but oh, my gosh. It's been tough. It's been tough. <sighs> so let me make some subs. We only have 20 points in the first half. But we have played some good defense in spurts. So I'm not going to quit yet because I think if we have a good second half. That was a bad shot. Why would I shoot that? We have a decent chance of coming back. So we're going to try to make this comeback. No promises. A lot of you guys think I should probably go ahead and quit. But... Y'all know I'm not about giving up around here. We're not about giving up on the... Whoa! Whoa, how'd we lose that ball like that? ACOG says and Diamond Marbury's gonna carry me. I'm going for him soon. After we finish up Domination, I'm gonna go for that Triple Threat Marbury and... JaVale McGee. I forget that JaVale McGee's the reward because he's JaVale McGee. But yeah, big shout out Lino, thank you for the raid. ACOG, thank you for hanging around. I appreciate you hanging around. We were playing so bad, but we're only down by four, so maybe we can still come back and win this thing. We have a lot of, ooh, no, no, no. My CPUs, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. ACOG says he's insane. I want to get him and try him out. But I gotta wait till I'm done with this first. Yeah, they knew that was BS, so they missed the free throw. Ball, it don't lie. Marbury's the best player I've used in this game. Also got Winters. I want to get Winters too, but I haven't really played enough triple threat to pick him up yet. Like, I've opened the vault a few times, but not enough. So, if I can get Winters, that would be great too. I'm telling you guys, four-point game. If we were down by 14, I would be a lot more pissed off right now. But we're only down by four. I think we're going to pull this off. But even if we do pull it off, I don't know if we're going to get enough stars. Oh, good block. Great block. We don't even have 200 MT yet at halftime. It's not looking very good, but that was a huge block to end the first half. <sighs> Codeine, I'm sorry. I know you're probably not in here anymore because you said you had to go, but I appreciate you dropping by, man. I appreciate the raid. We're getting very close to 3.58 thousand subs. That was the first time I've been raided in a long time. Like, it's been a long time since I've gotten raided, so I really do appreciate the raid. ACOG says, Raps coming back. Let's go. Hey, man. The Raptors... When, they, when it looks like they're down, when it looks like it's time for them to take a fat L, they always bounce back, man. That's how the Raptors are. Heart of a champion, as cheesy as that may be. That's heart of a champion right there. Reese says you hit it. A. Hey. So that means we're getting relatively close to 3,600. We're all about growth around here, man. Got to keep on growing the channel. I'm very happy we hit 3.58. That's a good milestone, but y'all know I'm not going to be truly satisfied until we get that George Mikan. Not going to be truly satisfied until then. 
because we've had a lot not going our way. The CPU's been on the BS. I've been trying to hang in there as best as I can. But even if we do win this game, I don't know if we're going to get three stars. If we push it to overtime, maybe? But, oh my gosh, look at that. 48% contested floater from the free throw line. Like, come on. That just shouldn't go in. That just shouldn't go in. Big green by DeBusher, though. Big green. Y'all know I'm pretty positive around here, pretty optimistic. So in my heart of hearts, I believe we're going to pull off these games, no matter how bad they get. But they've been getting bad lately. They've been getting bad. Reese says only up by one. How much time is left? Because I know a while ago it was halftime, but I really don't remember how long ago that was. I really don't. Six on the shot clock. Great D. Great D, but they've been getting so many offensive rebounds. Great D. Hey, okay. Maybe that's the momentum shifter we needed. We were down big early, but once again, it's a one possession game. If we win this thing, that'd be great. Of course, if we do win this thing, we might not get the three stars, but I mean, even winning would be a great start because last game, that was a tough L we took, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That was a tough L, and y'all know we don't take L's around here very often, man. So it was tough, it was sad, it was tragic, but man, we've tied this thing up. Ever since that raid, shout out to anybody who's still in here from the raid, if we have anybody. Ever since that raid, we have made a great comeback. We're actually in the lead by two now. So big shout out to everybody who's still in here from the raid, because we've been great ever since the raid. Of course, that was a bad defensive possession right there, but ever since the raid, we have been solid. Ever since the raid, we've been hitting things on offense, and we could hit 300 plus by the end of this quarter, which means if we keep this up, we could end up at three stars. You never know, but all of a sudden, we can take a four-point lead, which might be our biggest of the game, I hate to say, but ever since that raid, things have been looking really good for us, man. Derrick Rose has takeover. We're up by four after trailing double digits again. Oh, we can still come back. I think we can still get three stars. We're going to have to get awfully lucky, and we're going to have to play pretty much perfect from here on out, but we just came back down double digits and have our biggest lead of the game, so I don't think anything's really impossible here. A legal screen, another stop on defense, and we get the ball back with a chance to extend this lead to six or seven. Let's take him baseline. Ah, I wanted the dunk so bad. I wanted that poster so bad. Because Rose, y'all know he's a poster machine. So I thought I was going to get it right there. We're good, though. Oh, green, really? They green those contested floaters? Like, I don't love saying this, but that's just a joke right there. That's just a joke on me. I thought I played great defense that possession, but no. They said, you know what? You really didn't. And they make those contested floaters like it sucks. But we're still up by two. Four. Still up by four. Great defensive possession so far. Shot clock's running down. Great, there we go. That's how you guard that floater. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's how you guard the floater. And that's how you get to the rim. Thank you. That's what we needed. Yeah, we played great defense twice that possession. Once on the floater, once on the offensive rebound. That was just a great possession. Why can't we defend like that every time? Let's keep on playing defense like that. Yeah. Great block, man. Oh, man. 
I'm feeling stressed right now, but this is looking good. We're playing great defense all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, he's going to take another tough shot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, we dodged a bullet right there. We dodged a bullet big time. Great rebound. Eddie Johnson's open. Ah, that would have been big. That would have been huge, but that was still a good shot on the second chance. Biggest lead of the game, man. Ever since that raid, we have been on fire. We've been playing well ever since the raid. Come on, go, go, go. One more bucket. Outrun Maravich. Yeah! 350 at the end of the quarter. We had a huge quarter. If we have a big fourth quarter, we could actually get three stars after trailing by double digits. Oh, we played such good defense that quarter, man. Whew, we're in a good spot right now. We're in a good spot for sure. ACOG says Marcus threes are the only thing that saves the comeback. Still got a quarter left to go, right? Because earlier Harrison Orr said it was almost the fourth quarter. But man, we're in the lead. We have a very good lead. We're up by six. We have a little bit of cushion. But this is domination we're talking about, man. So even if I win the game, I might not get the three stars. So I got to lock in this quarter and make sure I play as good of defense as possible and score as much as I can. I'm not going to hold the ball. I'm not going to just be complacent. I got to be as aggressive as I can. I got to be aggressive. I got to go for steals, contest every single shot. Maybe hope they miss every now and then if I accidentally leave them open. Oh my gosh. Like I got to really, I got to go hard for this man. Yeah, no. Oh my gosh, dude. I force a tough layup and then all of a sudden they just, they make it. Either way, all we got to do is keep on getting stops because we still have over four minutes left. We still have pretty much an entire quarter left to play. But if they play slow, I don't know how many points we're going to score this quarter. My team points, I mean. Great defense. Yeah. Great defense. Lob it to Rose. No. We're back on defense, though, so it's not that big of a deal. If we get another stop, we get a lot of my team points. And at this point in the game, we're going to get more my team points from playing defense. Yes. Yes, man. Let's go. And we're getting the fast break. No, we're not. We're not getting that fast break. But, wait. I could try some cheese right here. I could maybe get... Nah. I don't want to risk that. I do not want to risk that. Oh, no, no, no. If we can get a stop right here, we get a lot of MT. If we get a stop right here, we get a lot of MT. So, a stop right here would be huge for us, man. We haven't been scoring, but I would love a stop on defense right here. Oh, seriously? Why foul? You're in position. Why foul? You're literally right there. Contest the shot. Oh, my God. That would have been our third stop in a row. That would have been a huge MT boost right there, but it's no big deal. It is a big deal. But also, if we can keep on shooting free throws, we're going to be okay, too. Because we also need to get MT from free throws. We're in a good position, man. For what it's worth, we're in a good position. We're 100% from the free throw line. If we stay 100%, that's an extra 100 plus MT at the end of the game. So, if we can keep up the free throws, that's great. That was a good foul, because he was about to dunk. Josh Move says Kevin needs to step it up. From what you guys have been saying in the chat, it sounds like it's been... Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown carrying. That's what it sounds like. And it also sounds like Marcus Smart came to play too. Let's get Gilmore back in there. We'll get Horford back in there soon too. Rose. Rose knows. 
Oh my gosh. We can win this thing. We're probably going to win this thing. But we got to get some stops on defense too. But we also got to keep the game kind of close. So we can shoot some free throws at the end and get some extra points. So there's a lot we have to do. What's up, Janice? There's a lot we have to do. But we're getting stops on defense. We've only given up 44 points. Rose getting to the rim. Yeah. That's what I needed right there. Inbound steal? Yes, yes. Oh, post spin. Ooh, yeah. Getting stops on defense, throwing it down. Yes, this is what we needed, man. I still don't know if we're going to get enough MT to get three stars, but this has been a great game. This has been a great game. We have a lot of guys in the chat talking about the Celtics game, but I know we have Harrison Orr in the background watching. I know we have Royal Ryan chilling and watching. I know you guys are sitting in the back cheering for me right now because y'all believed in this. Y'all believed we were going to win this one, and it's not over yet, but... Yeah, we're playing pretty well right now. If we can keep on going baseline, getting those twos, if we can get a stop or two on defense, oh, we're going to be all right. I think we're going to get three stars. I'm not going to guarantee it, but I think we're going to get three stars. Yes! Look at us locking up Kareem. We're locking up the big dipper in the post. I could have shot that, but instead... Let's just move it around. Yeah! Why are you double teaming? Yes! We've been, ever since that raid, we have been on fire. On defense and offense. Look how many stops we're getting. And we're getting scores every time down the floor. Ooh! Yes! Ever since that raid, we have completely turned things around. This is crazy ever since that raid. Ever since that guy came in here and raided, we've been on fire. Yes! More great defense. Ever since that raid, we've been on another level. We pretty much have team takeover. Ooh! And just like that, 500 MT. I, I think that's enough for three stars. We were down double digits, we got raided, and all of a sudden we outscore them by 28. That's 500 MT. I think that's good enough for 975, which means if my calculations are correct, I think we're only going to have one game left in less than 30 seconds. What's up, Sabi? What's up, Trash Plan? Welcome to the stream. Anybody who's just joining the stream, make sure to drop a like for me because we are only three likes away. From the big 69, another block shot. We can win this thing by 20. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> 20-point win. Lino comes in and raids the stream. And we go on, like, a huge run. I think that's three stars. I think that's three stars. Which means we might be on our last game. Come on, come on. Three stars. Yeah! Let's go, man. Let's go. Come back down double digits. And we outscore them by 28. Yes! Yes, man. Last game. Final game. told you guys, man, we were going to be all right. I told y'all we were going to be all right. <sighs> After this last game, we're going to have enough for another diamond player. Also, this last game is going to be on YouTube. So you guys say hi to YouTube soon. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped right now. I'm super hyped right now. So you guys get ready for this. This last game is going to be on YouTube. So y'all say hi to YouTube in a second. I'm going to turn on the recording. and I'm going to post a video of this tomorrow. But that's also assuming we win first try. So 
yeah, we got to make sure we win first try. So, guys, Northwest is done. Pacific is done. Southwest is done. Atlantic is done. Central, Southeast. One. Final game. Three stars remaining. Oh, my gosh. One game remaining. I'll let you guys know when I start the recording. And you guys can say hi to YouTube. You guys can say hi to YouTube soon. Move the face cam over here. And we'll go ahead and get things started. Ninety-nine stars in current domination. Ninety-nine stars in historic domination. Three stars to go in all-time domination. Southeast is finished. The Central is finished. Atlantic, Southwest, Pacific, and Northwest. We've gotten every star, man. We got one game left to go versus the 2010's All-Stars. This game's not going to be easy, but man, it's going to be good. Whew. One final game of the stream. 2010's All-Stars. Superstar difficulty. If we win this game, we are done with domination. We have all 297 stars. So let's get right to it. We got D. Rhodes as our point guard. We got two diamonds in the starting five. DeBusher and Rick Smiths. Here's a look at the bench. And yeah. Let's get this game started, man. Superstar difficulty. We have to win the game and earn 1,025 MT. Look at that team, man. This is not going to be an easy game. But y'all know me. We're going to be all right. We're going to get through it. We're going to get that pink diamond mic in, and it's going to be glorious. So let's get right to it. Move this back over here. That's a killer lineup they got, man. Curry, Harden, KD, LeBron, and Dwight. This is not going to be an easy game. But I know y'all believe in me. We just made an amazing comeback to win our last game, so I think that we can do some great things in this game, too. Harrison, Reese, Man Funny, Josh. Y'all get hype for me, man. Final game of domination. Final game of domination right here, man. We're playing a great team. We're playing a great team. But I'm a great player. So let's get it. Y'all talk to me in the chat. Let's win this final game, man. Let's win this final game. We won the tip. If we can get a bucket right off the bat, that'd be huge. We're going to have to get a lot of stops on defense. Nice switch. Oh, no, no, no. They start the game off with a miss. Let's run the fast break, get as many easy buckets as we can. Rick Smith is being guarded by LeBron. I feel like we can attack that mismatch. I feel like we can attack that. Or DeBusher can cut back door because he's being guarded by Curry. Yeah, the Busher's being guarded by Curry. That's an easy two. No! No! Oh! The Busher missed an easy layup. And then they make a two. That's crazy. Also, let me pause this real quick because I need to change the title to my last game for George Mikan. What's up, Dom? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, Dom. I gotta change the title. My final game for Pink Diamond George Mikan. There we go. Slow start to the game. But if we can just start scoring, we're going to be okay. Oh! Derek Rose starts things off with a slam. Welcome to the stream, Dom. You made it just in time for our final game, if we get the win. Yeah, good defense. Better offense. Another baseline. Ooh, no. Jacob, the Steelers fan, says, can you raid someone? Maybe. I'm trying to win this game right now. I don't know why you're bringing up a raid. I'm trying to win this game. 
This is going to be the toughest game I play. I got to get over 1,000 MT. I'm not thinking about raiding someone right now. I'm just thinking about winning this game at all costs. That's what I'm thinking about right now. And we are not off to a good start either. So I might low-key restart. But I might, I might also, I don't know. We're not off to a good start though. Ooh, LeBron recovered so fast. Right by the rim. Come on, Al. That shouldn't be so contested, man. Bad start to this game. Terrible start to this game. Down 9-2. to two. LeBron has takeover. We can't get anything easy. That should have been a dunk. Terrible start to this game. Terrible start to this game. And they're looking like a, a stringed orchestra out there with the way they're playing. Two of their guys have takeover. Yeah, it's not looking very good, but it's not over yet. Terrible start. I mean, 13-2 is not that bad. I don't think 13-2 is that crazy. I think we can make a comeback down 13-2, but... We got to play a little bit better. We got to start getting stops. And the reason why they're getting so many easy buckets is because they're running the fast break. So let me play a little bit better and we should be okay. We have to get over a thousand MT, but like, I think we still can. We just got to be better on offense because the reason why we're playing so bad overall is because we're turning it over so much and they're getting so many easy shots. What's up, Oblixie? Welcome back. Welcome back, Oblixie. Oblixie, Dom, everybody in the stream is just joining. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. We're off to such a bad start in this game that I might quit. No, we're not going to quit. If we can make a comeback happen, we're going to make it happen. And we're not out of this game. We're just off to a terrible start. Terrible is an understatement. Ooh, big slam. Big slam. We only have 37 MT in the first quarter, though, which means we have to get like 400 plus the rest of the game, which is doable, but that's terrible defense by Rose. And now Curry has takeover. We're down 18 to 6. Oh, my God. Like, I've been down big, but this is something else. This is terrible. Putrid. Oh my gosh, we're off to a terrible start. Last game, we were down double digits. We got raided, and then everything turned around, but this just isn't looking very good at all. So, let me make some subs. We're going to see if we can make this comeback. What's up, I make content. Welcome to the stream. We're off to a terrible start in this game, but I believe we can still come back because we came back last game. So everybody in the stream, don't roast me too hard. Don't panic. I think we can still come back. Welcome to the stream, though. I make content. I make content, too. And if you enjoy it, it would be awesome if you subbed. We hit 3.58 thousand earlier in the stream, but it's not looking very good right now. So I need you guys to give me some positive energy. 20-10 in the first quarter, that is bad. That is insanely bad. Like, we've been bad on defense. We've been bad on offense. Oh, my gosh. Like, low-key, I should quit because we have, we're, we're in such a deficit of MT. And they're, they have all the momentum, so I might quit soon, low-key. It's all about how you start. And we've gotten off to a terrible start. But, like, if we were down by 20, that's when I quit. We're not getting killed yet, so I'm not going to quit yet. We can, we still have time to make something amazing happen, but I got to be on one on defense. And that is, oh my god. Oh my god. That is terrible defense. I'm talking about making something happen, but that's not how you do it. We don't even have 50 MT yet, so we have a huge... Uphill, uphill climb to make. 
We have a huge uphill climb. Oh my god. We have a huge uphill climb. Curry's on fire. LeBron was on fire in the first quarter. We have a huge uphill climb to make, bro. I make content says you're so nice. Usually everyone's toxic. Right now, it would be easy for me to be toxic because I'm getting killed. But why be toxic when you can stay chill, man, and stay composed? Why, why be too toxic, man? We're going to have to start chipping away. Great pass. Good fake. Oh my gosh, another wide open missed layup. Oh my gosh. We've been, I know that we've been bad this game, but we've also missed a bunch of wide open layups. And that's been killing us. Oh, oh. Missed jump shots, missed layups, missed everything. Oh, and contested layups. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my God. All of our wins, double-digit wins in our first four games. All of a sudden, oh, my God. <sighs> Tough. There we go. But we got to get rebounds too. There we go. It's been a long time since we've played good defense and secured a rebound. So that was a big possession right there. If we can get 200 MT by halftime, that would be big. I know that's asking a lot, but that would be big. I make content, says the next Troy Dan. I can only hope. I can only hope. Another stop on defense. Another fast break. Another score right here would be huge. If we can get a bucket right here, that would be huge. Nice roll. Nice layup, just like that. 15-point lead down to 11. I had to foul right there. I wasn't back on defense. <sighs> we can still do this. I believe we can still do this. I have hope now that Giannis is in the game, so... I can force him into shots like that. Down by 11. Lane's wide open. Oh, DeBusher, dunk that. And right there, contested jump shot. I have an open lane. I know that's Giannis, but come on. Let's get something right here, man. Big shot. Missed it again. I'm going to have to make some subs too because this lineup, not only is it not working, but it's tired. Oh, that was risky. Let's lob it up. Nice. Oh, windmill alley-oop finish. We can still do this, man. I've said that a lot, but we can still pull this off. Give me that. Yeah. Good defense. Rose coming down the middle. Nine point game just like that. It ain't over till it's over, so let me stay locked in. Harrison says we believe. That's all I need right now, man. I need you guys to believe because it was looking terrible early. We were down by 17. Just like that. We're only down by nine. We can make it a seven. Oh, that was good defense by the CPU. That was good defense. All I need is for you guys to believe because we were just down huge and now we're only down by nine. So we can still pull this off. All I need is for you guys to believe. That's, yeah, I, that's tough. I can't do anything about that. But I can do this. Ooh. So our offense is picking up. We're not turning it over. They're not getting those easy transition buckets. And now we're getting some stops on defense. Gilmore's open. Yes. Seven point game just like that. Ten points off the lead. Just like that. We need one more stop. At least. If we can get two stops to end the second half, that'd be huge. 
Another stop on defense. Oh, another rebound. Another fast break. Could we get one more score? Could we get one more score? They're double teaming. AC Green. Yes. Yeah. Five point game after trailing big. Yes. I was thinking about quitting in the first quarter, but we now have new life. Great defense to end the first half. Yeah. That's how you end a half, baby. That's how you end a half, baby. We were down big. But just like that, we're within five points. And we're not done yet. Curry was getting open, hitting his threes. And Rose has been doing his thing, but we're going to have to play better in this second half if we're going to win. Down by 17. We're within five points. We stopped turning it over, and that's what made the difference because they were running the fast break. They were getting a lot of easy buckets. And now the difference is that we're only down by five. The difference is that we're just playing a lot better and not turning it over. Turnovers make a huge difference, man. Great defense. Great defense. Tough shot. And it's fast break time again. It's fast break time again. Got a mismatch with AC Green. AC! No! Oh, you're being guarded by Steph. Oh, no. Great defense. De oh. So we miss a layup over Steph Curry. And then he makes that 100% contested crap. Come on. Still only down by five, but that's momentum shifting stuff right there, man. That is momentum shifting stuff at its finest. Now KD's open again. Okay, we can get the closest we've been since the first quarter right here. Rose! How is Rose getting chased down by James Harden? How? I know James Harden's not a liability on defense anymore, but come on! Like, you gotta be kidding me with the chase down blocks they're getting and the animations they're getting. It's been crazy. They're double teaming. There's gonna be a guy open. Let me feed it back. Okay, Gilmore has Steph Curry on him. Gilmore, better score on Steph Curry. Come on, Artis. Come on, Artis. Let's go. We're only down by three. Only down by three, man. Down 17, and we're within three. Why is Curry open? Why was Curry open right there? You gotta be kidding me. Great pass. Ooh, no! No! Oh, that was a perfect pass. Momentum shifting right there, man. That was momentum shifting. That was a beautiful pass, and... Missed the dunk. They put D. Wade back in, though. They put D. Rose back in. So I don't have to worry about Curry running around and shooting threes as much. But now we're back down by eight. They're leaving the lane open again. We're getting to the lane so easily with Rose, but... Oh my gosh. Like, we gotta get back on defense because we've played terrible defense back-to-back -back possessions. They need timeout, though. They know that we found our footing. We're not turning it over like we were in the first two minutes of the game. And I still believe. I was thinking about quitting in the first quarter. I was thinking about quitting, but I think we still have a shot at the three stars. Okay, we can bring it back within four right here. D. Rose, baseline again. That is such cheese going baseline with D. Rose. But right now, whether it's cheese, whether it's legit, I need everything I can get. We need everything right now. More good defense. How's he greening that? I'm literally right in his face. I'm literally right there. How's he greening shots like that? It makes no sense. It literally makes no sense how they green shots like that, man. 
They're double teaming D Rose. The Busher bricks the three. <sighs> Come on. Great defense. Great defense. Come on. We just need something right here. Baseline again. Rose. Only down by four. Let's keep it up, man. More good defense. How are you? Come on. We're getting easy shots every time down. They're getting that contested BS every time down. Great D. If they had made that, I probably would have started crying. Oh, that was nice. <sighs> Big free throws, D-Rose. Huge free throws. Down by sev 17. Down by 17. We're within four right now. Man, we got to get closer than four. Terrible defense. Terrible defense. Why is he even open? <sighs> They're going to bring the double team soon. There's the double team. Who's the open man? It was Al Horford. It was Al Horford for a second. Al Horford has a little bit of a mismatch. They're double teaming. Come on, big shot. Yeah, let's go. This is the closest we've been. What's up, Sotvik? Welcome to the stream. This is the closest we've been since the first quarter. Down by 17, within three. A stop right here would be amazing, man. This comeback's been real. I never stopped believing. A stop right here would be huge. We're cool with that. Yeah, we're cool with that. The Busher has takeover, and we're only down by three going into the fourth quarter. We've cut 14 points off their lead. You guys drop some likes for me, man. I need some positive energy right now. Y'all drop some likes for me if you haven't already. Fourth quarter clutch time, man. Clutch time, man. I'm nervous right now. But on the surface, I'm calm and ready. What's up, HBY? I remember you, but it's been a while. We have the ball to begin the fourth quarter. We can bring it within one right here. Gilmore. Yes! Let's go, Artis Gilmore. Only down by one. Only down by one. They are not turning it over very much. We're having to just keep on keeping on, man. Oh my god, are you serious? A contested three? You gotta be kidding me. That's crazy. The contested shots they've been making are just ludicrous. Still a two-point game. Still a two-point game. Y'all know I'm cool with Giannis shooting, but it's James Harden who I can't let shoot. We have a chance to tie things up right here. This is our big... Oh, no. That was our big shot right there to tie it up, but there's still four minutes remaining, and Harden chokes, running out of bounds. All right, guys. We have a chance to tie things up right here. This is our big shot to tie things up. They're going to double-team Rose. Horford's wide open. Got to keep on moving the ball because they're playing such good defense. Come on, Horford. Big shot. Come on. No! Horford's choking, too. Tough shot. No way. Great defense. That is three stops in a row. Now we can tie it once again. For the third straight time, we have a chance to tie. I'm going to post up right here. I don't know. I don't know. They're double teaming Rose again. Oh my gosh. Look how they're moving on defense. They're leaving the lane open. No. Oh my God, dude. They're scrambling like amazingly on defense. I knew they were going to pass. Great recovery. Are you kidding me? I was literally right there. 
I was literally right there. Come on, Rose. Need it. Need it. 30 for Rose. Only down by three. We had a chance to tie so many times, but we weren't able to. Harden's hiding behind screens. Great defense. Come on, man. We need a big shot right here. We need a big bucket to fall. Gilmore. Gilmore. One point game. One more stop and we can take the lead. One more stop. And that 17 point deficit from the first half is gone. One more stop on defense and we can take the lead. Harrison says you gotta never let Al Horford play again. Facts. He has been bad. He has been so bad. They're saying Steph Curry is a player of the game. The game's not over yet. Okay, guys, one stop on defense. One. One stop on defense. I'm focused. No, no, no. He choked it. He choked it. Great D. Oh, another contested layup. Oh, my gosh. Another contested shot. Huge dunk, though. Huge dunk. We needed that. Man, we played great defense. We forced a tough layup, but we, he made it. One more stop. Again, one more stop is all we need. Oh, no, no. I saw that coming from a mile away. More bad defense by Harden. Another easy layup. Oh, my gosh. Once again. One stop. Once again, for like the 30th time. One stop is all we need. One stop on defense. Harden's posting up. Okay, nine on the shot clock. They're running that screen again. Yeah, no! Oh my god! What? What? Woo! Wow! Oh my gosh. I went straight up, but they called a foul. Oh my gosh. I swear, whenever it looks like things are about to turn my way, they screw me over. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a block. We better get an easy two right here, though. Because the game just screwed me so hard. Once again, for the 30th time I'm saying it. One stop on defense. One stop on D. Because we're scoring every time. Tough shot. He misses. Come on. Fast break time, man. Fast break time. Let's play it safe. Let's get out of the paint. There's less than a minute left. They're double teaming. Who's the open man? Gilmore has a mismatch. I'm going to go at it, though. Yes! Yes! Yeah! First lead of the game coming through in the clutch. Oh, my gosh. Tough shot by LeBron. He misses it. He chokes it. LeBron chokes the jump shot. And look at this. Look at this. They got a foul. We're going to the free throw line. They are going to the line. We are going to the line. Chokes the first. Oh, God. Makes the second. No three. No three. I'm going to be real with you guys. I might not have enough MT right now to get three stars. But if we go to overtime, I might actually get enough. I know you guys don't love how that sounds. But we might have enough. You get Artis Gilmore by finishing the Eastern Conference all-time domination. No three. They can have a two. No three. If they get a two, we can go to OT. Oh, the block! The block! 
And we get the win! The comeback win! Oh! 62 to 60. But there's no way we got enough MT. I, I don't think we got enough MT. I think that we are going to have to play again. There's no way we got enough MT. Nope, not even close. It was a great comeback, but nope. We didn't even come close. <sighs> if we hadn't gotten off to such a terrible start, we would have been okay. But we won the game, and I told you guys, never quitting, that's the mindset. If we didn't have literally like 12 MT in the first quarter, we would have been okay. But I'm feeling determined because that was a great win. Down 17, comeback win. We didn't have enough MT. But like, it's not, I don't care, man. That's, that's great. That was a great win. So we're going to have to play them again, but now we have the intel. I think I need to move Artis Gilmore into the starting lineup. I think I need to move Al Horvath to the bench and put Giannis back in the starting lineup because that's what was working for us. This is the lineup that helped us come back. So there we go. Going to apply contract to Smiths. We got the win, and we're going to go for it again. We're going to go for it again. That was a great comeback, a great morale booster. It got Sotvik hyped. It got everyone hyped. All we got to do is go for it one more time. Y'all thought I was going to quit that game. Nope. Got the win. We have the intel, bro. We got the intel, bro. I think we have everything we need to win this game and get the MT. We were getting stops like crazy in the second half, making it look easy. We had a great game, and we're playing at home. In the rematch, we are playing on our home floor. Not only do we have to win this game, we have to win this game big. We have to destroy this team if we're going to get all that MT. If we're going to get three stars. If we're going to get George Mikan. So you guys get ready for this. You guys get ready for a big game. This is the biggest game I've played in 2K21, man. The second biggest game is the game y'all just watched. Starting things off strong, man. Starting things off basic with a reverse two-handed jam. Starting things off basic. We got to lock in on defense this entire game, bro. But it's going to be hard if Harden's Euro-stepping and making contested layups like that. Lane's open again. How? Derrick Rose doesn't dunk the ball? He just get gets chased down like that? With nobody even close to him? Look at this. Animation from right here. That's crazy. I hate when that happens. And now they're going to hit a three. Oh, they'd miss it. Easy bucket. Let's go. We got to lock in this game, man. We got to lock in big time this game. I'm locked in so hard. I got to destroy them. Like, I can't just win in a close game. It has to be like a blowout. But they're so tough to beat. I don't know if I'll be able to, man. But I'll try. Oh, how? What? He just lost the ball in midair. I'm telling you, man. It's, this is so tough. What's up, Joel? What's up, Joel? Welcome to the stream. We're coming off a great win, but we didn't get enough MT, so we got to play them again. It sucks, but I can live with it because we did get... St I hate the animation. That's the second time that's happened this game. We literally have a wide-open layup, but for the second time, it's just the chase-down animation. I'm so tired of that, man. I'm insanely tired of that, but we are off to a better start. And literally last game, we got off to literally the worst possible start ever. 
So if we just get off to a better start, which we already have, we're gonna win, and we're gonna be okay. Last game, we were literally down by 17. We were literally down by 17, and we found a way to win. So if we don't go down by 17, if we don't turn it over like we did last game, we will win, but this is some terrible defense. I know I don't do settings for real, but why is Rose pretending Curry can't shoot? <sighs> We've also missed two wide open layups. Still a better start than the last game, though, but we got to get stops in a row if we're going to get the all that MT we need. Yeah, good defense. <sighs> Celtics versus Heat. That's a rematch of the 2012 Conference Finals right there. Great D. Better O. We're off to a better start, but we're still, like, not playing well. We still got to be better. We made such a great comeback last game. Sense of urgency was so high. I got to bring that same energy this game, man. Great pass. Oh, that should have been great finish. No. And of course, yeah, there we go. <sighs> Let's go, Compo. We're off to a bad start. But it's still a better start than last game. So... I think we st I think we're still in a good spot right now. I really do. I think we're in a good spot. We just got to start getting more stops and we got to score every time down. I think we're in a good spot right now. I, I don't like the spot we're in, but we're not in a bad spot. Even though I don't like it, it doesn't mean it's a bad spot. That was a good offensive rebound. We can attack this. Miss no, 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 no. Go to the rim. Go to the rim. Please. Yes. Okay. We we're in the lead. Last game, we were down by like 30 at the end of the first quarter. So I'm cool with the play. I'm cool with how we are right now. Last game, we were down by like 117 at the end of the first quarter. So I think we're in a better position now. Like, we actually have 100 at the end of the first quarter. So, last game we had like 30. So we're off to a very good start, especially compared to last game. We have 106 at the end of the first quarter. Last game we literally had 30. So we're going to be okay, man. I think we can still make this comeback. We're not even make the comeback since we're in the lead. I think we can still win. That's what I meant to say. Starting line has been doing well. Got 18 people in the stream. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves tonight, man. If you're a Celtics fan, I hope you're happy. If you're a Raptors fan, I'm sorry. I didn't really have a favorite in that series. I did think the Raptors were going to win game seven, though. Still a great series. Defending champs are out just like that. It was still a great series, man. No matter what. Oh my gosh. Okay, D Wade's on Giannis. Come on, Giannis. Easy bucket. Yeah. Easy layup slash dunk turns into two for them. Momentum shifting stuff the CPU does, bro. <sighs> Last game, we were down 17, though, so, like, yeah, I, I, yeah I'm i just going to keep on bringing that up whenever we're down. We were down 17 versus the best team in the game, so, like, I think we can still come back in this game where we're playing pretty well. We just got to be better.
We have the lead, but having the lead's not good enough. We got to have like a 10-point lead right now. That's a terrible shot. I'm right in his face. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Why does that go in? There we go. If we were getting stops, we would be in such a good spot right now. We would be in an unbelievably good spot if we were getting stops on defense. But sadly, I don't know if my team knows what stops on defense are. Like, I'm not sure if my guys know how valuable those are. Oh my gosh, this is tough. But they are playing some bad defense and giving us a lot of easy shots. So literally, they are giving us this one. All we got to do is play some defense. Nice spin. Yeah. How about we go defense to offense more often? Just like that. Just like that. Literally. Exact same thing we just did. Every time. But nah, they're getting so many rebounds. Oh my gosh. We're getting past Harden every single time. Harden's playing some terrible defense. But we're playing terrible defense as a team. So like, I really can't talk. Great. Oh my gosh. Right when I think we're playing good defense, we give that up. Like, I thought that was great defense, but nope, foul call. And I thought that was a wide open dunk, but Harden blocked it. They literally, oh my god, this is pissing me off. Not really, but kind of. The odds are so stacked against me, it's crazy. The odds are insanely stacked up. What's up, Boxburger? Welcome to the stream. <sighs> I've never been so stressed in a game that is so close. I, I just know that we got to get more MT, and we're not doing that because we're not playing D. That's in there, too. Like, I... <sighs> my God. I've never been so stressed in a game that versus the CPU is this close. Because I always know we're going to come back, but like I just don't know if we're going to get enough MT. I don't think we will, to be honest with you. But we're going to have to see. I'm going to play Rick Smith's rest of the first half. And we're going to try to put a dent in this lead a little bit. I know it's like not a big lead, but... Oh! Woo! Oh, I've seen alley-oop jump shots before, but oh my gosh. I've never seen a double-teamed alley-oop jump shot in the face of Artis Gilmore and Derrick Rose. I've seen some crazy things in 2K21. That is, that's got to be up there near the top. That's got to be near the top. Because that doesn't happen. What's up, Dub Garcia? Welcome back. Or welcome. I'm pretty sure it's welcome back because I think I've seen you in here before. Welcome back. I'm telling you, man, in this game, the odds are against you. Last game, we were down by 17. We won. This game, I'm not proud of how I'm playing. I'm not proud. We were playing so bad. We barely have any MT. They're all hiding behind screens. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm not stressed about being down by three. I'm stressed about having like no MT. That's what I'm stressed about. Like we have 162 and it's almost the end of the first half. That might be worse than we did last game because apparently they can't miss on anything. Give me that. Let's go. That's big. That was a fast score and a good defensive stop. Like, we need more of that, but they've been hitting such BS that they're continuing to pull up. And LeBron dribbled it through Horford's legs. I know I'm doing a lot of complaining, but I'm pissed. What's up, Prime Sports Gaming? Welcome to the stream. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. We're at 74. Who's going to be like number 75? 
Prime says, sorry I'm late. It's all good. Okay. We're back in front by three. We have 200 at halftime. But, like, this was just such a terrible first half. Oh, why is Dwight ha Okay, that's fair. If he had made that, I would have cried. What's up, Mike T? What's up, Prime Sports Gaming? Welcome to the stream, both of you guys. And thank you guys for 76 likes. That is really big. I don't know if we're going to get it this game, guys. I don't know if we're going to get three stars this game. We're very close. Like, last game we won, but we didn't get the stars. And this game, we actually have the lead at halftime, but we're just not doing much offensively, and it's sad. Tough shot. But they never miss those. They never miss those, man. I've already said this, but the odds in this game are so stacked against you, it's crazy. I shouldn't have shot that, but come on. Just like that, they're back in the lead. Nah, we're not scoring on LeBron with Horford. I think I think that's a, a GG. Oh my gosh! Those little blocks from behind are getting me so bad. Yeah, I, I gotta... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. All of a sudden, they're Super Saiyans on defense. Right there, I, I had a dunk animation, but LeBron messed it up. It's like whenever they sense the chance they could lose, they just turn things up. Last game, we got... I wouldn't say we got lucky, but we came back. And now they're pulling away. Like, what am I supposed to do about all this? They've been hitting tough shots. Uh, there's not much I can do except try and come back. There's not much I can do except try and come back. Mythical Zard says you got this dub, Doc. I appreciate it, Zard. We won the last game after being down by 17, but this game... My goal is more so to get the MT, but they're scoring on such BS. I really hate to say that, but yeah, it's been tough, man. 2K has really been making me not want to play their game. 2K has been making me not want to play, which I really do hate to say because y'all know I stream for y'all, I make content for y'all, but 2K is really getting me bad. I swear... And one. There we go. I was about to say, if Kevin Durant had chased me down, I probably would have cried right there. I think if the last game had gone to OT, I would have gotten the points, but I don't know. We'll see how this game unfolds, man. It was just looking kind of bad, but now we're tied again. 2K's weird, man. 2K's very weird. Great D. Per usual. Great possession, but the way they play is so tough to stop. Oh my god. I was literally right there the whole time. I mean, I understand that though, because that's Giannis, but... <sighs> it's crazy. Good thing Horford didn't miss that, or else I would have really quit. Why is Kawhi open? Seriously, why is he open? We literally can't get any stops. We literally just can't get a stop, and that's what's killing us. We're back on defense, but we just can't manage to get a stop. That's destroying us this game. Like right there, where's my defense at? They're getting runs to the rim every single time. I'm surprised they're not double teaming Rose. Wrong pass. Meant to pass to Icon B. Their rim protection's insane. And I thought that was good defense, too. I don't think we're going to get it this game, even if we do win. I'm not sure. Last game was just amazing, but this one. We just, I don't know. It's just been a weird one, man. 
We've gotten a lot of scores, but we haven't gotten a lot of points. Maybe if we take it to OT, but getting those my team points is so tough. We got 22 people in here, man. Hope everyone's enjoying the stream. If anybody's new, talk to me in the chat. Hang around. I'm focused on this game, but I'm telling you, man, the CPU is screwing me over. But we're still tied. Y'all talk to me. Hang around. If y'all enjoy the content, it would be awesome if you subbed. Even though this game is kind of stressing me out. I'm still going to talk to y'all. Still going to reply to y'all. Especially if I see somebody new. We're playing well, but it's just been a tough go. It's been a tough go in this one. Come on, Rose. Let's go. Needed that. Dom, running cheese plays isn't the problem. Getting stops on defense is the problem. I don't think I have to resort to cheese plays. I just got to... Get stops on defense like this. There we go. Multiple defensive stops. Rose gets to the rim. We're on a very good run to end the quarter in terms of getting MT. There we go. Another steal. Yeah. There we go. This is what I needed. This is a little push I needed. Just like that, we're up to over 300 MT in such a short amount of time, too. Dom, the offense isn't a problem. We have 61 in three quarters. I usually score that in a game. The offense isn't the problem. It's the defense. We've been getting a lot of stops these last couple minutes, though. So we actually might have a chance. Like, I'm not saying it's a great chance, but I seriously think we have a shot at winning this. So, like, I think we can still do this. To the 22 people watching, y'all wish me luck. I need y'all to drop likes for me if you haven't already, because I need positive energy right now. We have a good lead, but the lead doesn't matter. What matters is getting the MT we need to get three stars. That's what matters, so... Getting the win's one thing, but getting the MT's another. We have over 300, so we're in a decent spot, but we need to have a huge fourth quarter. Offense and defense, we, have, we need to have a huge quarter. That's not a good start. We're getting shots every time down the court, but the defense is the thing. Like, notice how I've outscored them every single quarter. Every single quarter I've outscored them, but they've st still scored so many points. Like, the way my defense is playing is so bad, but thankfully they didn't score right there. <sighs> ACOG says, how much do you need? I think 1,025. And we've gotten over a thousand every game this stream that we've won, except for the last game. So we need a lot of MT, but you gotta keep in mind, there's the multiplier that you get for playing on Superstar. Sabi says he needs to earn 500. Approximately 500, yes. Approximately. You also gotta make free throws for the bonus, you also gotta shoot well from the field. Which we have been doing, but the defense is just... It is so hard to stop this team. We have the lead, but I don't think we're playing a three-star game. Like, I don't think we're playing well enough to get three stars. What's up, Junji? Welcome to the stream. Like, I, I don't think it's... I don't think we're playing well enough on D. That's a great... That's great, though. That's great defense, but... They have not made this easy on me, man. My hair might turn gray, but we're going to get this win. I mean, that's definite, but, like, the defense has just been so bad for us that, like, I don't know if we're going to actually get enough MT to get it done. That's great D, though. There we go. That's what we needed right there. If we can get, like, 100... If we can get, like, 100 more MT, like, we're in the ballpark of possibly getting three stars... But, like, we definitely get three stars if we, st we start locking up on defense. And now LeBron has takeover. So, like, it's not looking great, man. But if this game goes to OT, we could maybe get enough MT. So I might actually let this game go to OT. You guys are probably like, what? No, you just suck. But actually, if we're trying to get MT, 
that might be the best method. I'm not going to try to lose on purpose. I'm still going to try to get as many points as I can in regulation. I'm just saying that we might need to throw a little bit if we're going to win this thing and get the MT. Like, this is going to be an interesting ending, man. You never know. We might not even get to go to OT. But they're making some BS in my face every time. <sighs> I'm telling you, man, the defense has been so tough. The defense has been by far the toughest thing. Like, it would be the saddest thing if we win this game twice, but don't get the MT right there in his face. But the second they have a sliver of room, they let it go. Mr. Boxberger said, don't let off too much. Of course I won't let off too much, but it's insane how fast guys like James Harden recover on defense. What's up, Cassius? Welcome to the stream. Great defense. Yeah, great defense. Welcome to the stream, Cassius. Everybody who's in here, drop a like for me if you haven't already. And if anybody watching this happens to be new, y'all know what to Oh my gosh! How many open layups have I missed this stream? Way too many to count. I had to give up the dunk right there because I didn't want to give up the three. But, yeah, we're not in a great spot right now. Oh my gosh, that was a pass to Gilmore. It's not looking great. OT's the move. Uh, yeah, it's not looking great, man. I mean, it's looking like we're about to lose in regulation. Once again, we have a mismatch. Very nice. OT's a major move. I'll do my best for OT. I will. But we gotta, like, you know... Not be behind first, but they've been hitting some insane shots. Harden's isolating. Great D, great D. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's not a great contest. Okay. Got to hit both or else it's over. I'm not going to be hitting a three, I don't think. I'm not going to foul either. I'm not going to foul either. Unless it's by accident, I'm not going to foul. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Is OT the move? We got to win an OT. But maybe OT is the move. OT could get us enough MT to get three stars. I told you guys I wasn't going to foul. That was clutch. EA, welcome to the stream. Thank you for dropping a like. We, we, we got to get this thing to OT. Yeah! Yeah! We're going to OT, baby. Just like we planned it. If you guys are joining the stream, you guys can go back. You guys can see that OT was the plan. Because I definitely do not have enough MT right now to get three stars. I definitely don't have enough. So we needed overtime. Like, if we win overtime... I think we're going to get three stars. We win the tip. We have the first opportunity to score. Come on, Rose. Rose! Yeah! Okay, we got to hold on. Curry has takeover, so I cannot let him go crazy. I cannot let Curry get loose, man. So I got to actually like really, really lock in on defense right now. Because Curry's going to try and get... <gasps> I tipped that pass. I tipped that pass, but he still caught it. Oh. 
I'm telling you, man, these CPUs get on some BS sometimes. But they all- oh! There's no use of going to OT if we don't win, so oh my gosh, we gotta lock in. How's that a foul? Why did Derrick Rose foul on that contested BS, and why did it go in? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Yes. <sighs> okay, one stop. They subbed Steph Curry out. Steph Curry had takeover and they subbed him out. The CPU's insanely smart. But sometimes they're insanely stupid. They sub Steph Curry out. We gotta get a stop, man. <gasps> what? 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 The shots they make are just insane. They make some insane BS. Get the rebound! Why did it take us 30 minutes to get a rebound? Why did it take us 30 minutes to get a rebound? Why did it take us 30 minutes to get a rebound? What's up, G-Woo? What's up, Kristen? Everybody in the stream, y'all gotta make sure to drop a like for me, man. I really need the positive energy. We have 465 MT. Like, we might have enough to get three stars, actually. Like, we might seriously have enough. Actually, like, 100%, we might have enough. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, let's go. Yeah! Woo! Oh, God. Why isn't Harden losing the ball when I do that? Why isn't he? Why is CP3 wide open? Okay. Yeah! Woo, man! Let, let's, let's get it. <gasps> no! I was going to say, let's dribble it back out. Yeah! Chris Paul throws it away. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, one, we're down by one. Let's take a baseline. Go ahead. Yeah! Give me that! One point lead in OT. One point lead in overtime. One stop! One stop and we shoot free throws. One stop and we start shooting free throws. Terrible shot. Yes! 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 Yeah! Okay. No inbound turnover. No inbound turnover. Yes, yes, yes. We better not choke. 45 for Rose. Yes, 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 yes. No timeouts for them. They wasted their timeout. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Fuck! Yeah! But did we get enough MT is the question. Did we get enough MT with our overtime strategy? Oh! 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 Yeah! 
Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Yes! 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 <sighs> yes! 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 Oh my god. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. That was the greatest game of all time. Let me change the title of the stream real quick, man. Because we don't have one game left anymore. So let me change the title of the stream real quick. Oh my god. That was the greatest game I've ever played in my life of 2k and it was versus the CPU that is somehow better than comp players <sighs> I'm so happy right now 99 stars all in the books 297 total let's open up the George. Yeah, my first pink diamond. No opals yet, but we're gonna get there. Yeah. Man, I'm so happy right now. Y'all don't understand. Those two games versus the all-time 2010s team or whatever. Those two games versus the 2010s were the greatest games I've ever played. Those are the greatest games I've ever played. Down 17, come back in game one. Down four with 20 seconds left, come back in OT in game two. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god. Where's he at? Rewards? Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 92 and 91 is impressive. The badges actually aren't that bad either. Uh, 92 and 91 is great for a player this early in the game. We're going to try him out. We're not done yet. Zach, thanks for the GGs. Thanks for the Ws, everybody. Thanks for the congratulations, Josh. Harrison says big W. Ah. Uh, Herbs, Elgin Baylor is up next. Actually, he's not up next. Up next, we're going to go for JaVale McGee, Brian Winters, Stephon Marbury, all those guys. And before the end of the season, of course, we're going to go for Paul Pierce. But I've only played two games, got two wins. Codine, Zard, JD, thanks for the Ws. Harrison, that was... Though that was the greatest game I've played in my life. That was the greatest game of all time. Let's replace Giannis in the starting lineup with George Mikan. Let's get Giannis in there for Vin Baker. Yeah, we'll get him in there for Vin Baker. Let's get Giannis back in the lineup because he had a great game. Pink Diamond Mikan's our newest addition to the lineup. Yeah, great stats, good badges, drop stepper Hall of Fame, so he's going to be a post machine. And everybody say what's up to YouTube, because I recorded both of those games, so y'all say what's up to YouTube. It's crazy. So there we go. And of course, we're also going to start evolving Archibald. So let me actually move him in the starting five and give him a contract. Since we are about to start evolving him. There we go, man. There we go. What's up, YouTube? Everybody say what's up to YouTube real quick. You guys say what's up to YouTube real quick. Dom, Ryan, Zard, Codeine. Everyone say what's up to YouTube because I'm posting this tomorrow. Posting this tomorrow. So my boy Codeine in the chat, he's up to level 22. 
I need to start catching up to him in level because you guys see I'm only level 19. So we are going to jump into season agendas. And we are going to play... Where is it? We're going to play through the spotlight challenges pretty much. I don't know where it is. But we're going to play through the spotlight challenges. We're going to win every single one. We're going to go crazy with George Mikan. And it's going to be great. Spotlight challenge number one. Let me turn off my capture device real quick. Because it is still recording. So let me turn that off real quick. Give me some W's in the chat, guys. I'm on top of the world right now. I'm very happy. I'm so happy. Codeine literally left his stream just to watch me get these wins. So once we finish up all of these... Once I finish up all of these, we're going to be up to level 20 at least. So let's play these spotlight challenges on pro difficulty because those games on Hall of Fame were the most stressful games of my entire life. But we came up clutch in every single game. Zach says W, I guess. Nah, Zach's gay for that. I guess. Nah, you guessed wrong. That was great. We did it. We pulled it off. Those were some amazing games right there, man. Watch out for Starks. He doesn't miss. I would say my defense is solid, but I don't know if it is after those all-time domination games. A little bit of a change of pace, man. A change of pace from playing versus the all-time CPU. Let's get some gameplay with Mikan. Let's see if he's a beast. I'll make a video about whether or not he's worth it later. And I will be honest. If he's not worth it, I'm going to say he's not worth it. So, let's, let's just play, man. Let's have some fun. Look at all my fans wearing white shirts. This is going to be fun. Slush Buckets says slap a three-ball shoe on Mikan. And he's close to 90. That's a very good idea right there. That's a good idea. That Mikan's a beast. We just got him. We're going to run with him some this game. He has A-plus defense in the paint. A-minus block shots. Defensively, he's going to be a demon. Let's not lose this game because all we have to do is get the win. All we got to do is win this thing. The, ha the handles are slow, but what do you expect? I shouldn't have dribbled with him. Michael Sanchez, welcome back. You missed the games of a lifetime, man. I really do hate to say it. Nice block. Oh, another nice block. Oh, another nice block. Oh, that would have been four blocks. Slush Bucket says, as of right now, he's worth it. Facts, I agree. ACOG says, you got to clutch this. Oh, I'm not worried about this game. We're playing on pro difficulty. Yeah, I'm not worried about this game. This game's going to be A-OK. -okay. I, I could be less worried about this game. All we got to do is win this one. Our home fans are definitely bringing the energy, though. Look at our home fans. They're all dressed up for this. Everyone's wearing white shirts. There aren't many Knicks. 100% smothered. Are you serious? But yeah, don't worry, Michael. I'm going to post the games on YouTube tomorrow. Those were some great games, man. I hate that you missed them. Slush Bucket says he snatch blocked like five balls today and unlimited for me. Uses mid range and corner three, abuse the post spin and the drop step because he has that Hall of Fame drop stepper and post spin technician. So he's going to be a post machine. And I know he may be worth it as of now, but it's going to be a good video. Should get some clicks, which is always a good thing. Oh, they're double teaming him in the post. That's always a good sign. I also have to evolve Artis Gilmore. ACOG says you got this. I appreciate it. Boxberger says Patrick Ewing's a very underrated player. Keep in mind, I'm a Knicks fan. I'd argue he's the most underrated player ever. I'd make that argument because you got to keep in mind the big men he played in the same era as and who he was able to compete with, who he was able to take to school, score on. I think the big red Jordans are good for him. Got you. I don't really put shoes on players, but 
If I can really get him up to a 93 ball, I might have to do that. Slush, I've never seen you in my streams before. Welcome. Especially if you're new. It was amazing grind. You guys witnessed the end of it. It was legendary. That was an amazing comeback in the first game to win. And in the second game, it was another great comeback. A super intense overtime. And yeah. That was just a great game. I appreciate it, Zach. Michael says can't forget Walt. Walt is underrated. I mean, I think he's the greatest ever for the I mean, not maybe not the greatest ever for the Knicks, but now he is very underrated for sure. Boxberger says Wilkins is the most underrated. Some would argue he's overrated. I think some people would make that argument, but I agree that he's underrated though. Wow, they're not missing. I think I forgot to Yeah, low key. Even though I just won all those games versus the all-time 2010s team, I might low-key lose to the Knicks because I'm not playing any defense. I might low-key lose to the Knicks, and I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we don't. I mean, we're not going to, but, like, you never know. Drop step. Lay up. Look at that. Also, you guys, make sure to drop a like on the stream for me if you haven't already. We're at 81 right now, which, hey, that's Kobe's number. That's his number right there, so we're cool with that. But can we get 100? Can this stream get 100 likes? That would be great. Y'all keep on talking to me, man. I'm super happy right now. Boxberger says this is coming from a Hawks fan. I mean, I'm a Hawks fan, too. My two favorite teams are the Hawks and the Knicks. It's not easy. It's not easy, but I manage. How many games did you lose in all-time Dom? In all-time, I only lost one. I only lost one. In historic, I lost two. I lost more games in historic. In all-time Dom, I won every game except one, but I did miss three stars a ton. Like, there are a lot of games I should have lost before I won the last game I played. Before I won the last game I played, I was down 17 versus the 2010s, but I came back and won by two. And yeah, the game before that, I think I lost, what was it? The game before that, I won versus the 2010s, but the game before the game I won against the 2010s, I lost that one. So I only lost one in all-time Dom, but I did miss a lot. I missed three stars a lot, is what I mean. Mr. Boxberger says, tough turnouts right now for Hawks fans. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a Hawks and a Knicks fan, so it double sucks for me. Slush Bucket says, I had a real rough time. It was not easy, man. And the thing about all time is that you got to lock in so hard on defense. Like, it's crazy how hard you have to lock in defensively to win an all-time dumb. Like, a lot of the times, I was barely able to talk to my chat because... I was, I was just so locked in playing the games. Like, <sighs> it's just been bad. It's been bad, man. But we got it done. And that's all that matters. I'm super stressed still, even though we got the win. Glizzy. It's, yeah. This has been a good stream, but man, it's been. I've. Yeah, it's been an emotional roller coaster, man. Don't you think the Kings are the most underrated squad? I mean, I'd argue the Suns are, because the Suns actually went 8-0. I mean, the Kings, they were so good with Dave Yeager as their coach. But once they hired Luke Walton, they started playing completely differently. They were not playing as fast tempo as they did with Dave Yeager, and it showed. Like, they were not as fun to watch. Buddy Heald wasn't getting open as much. I'd say they were the most underrated team, but I don't think they are anymore. Slush Buckets 2K says, I just recorded all the replays where the game would just blatantly cheat me. Hey man, I have all my I have all mine on stream. And I tell you, bro, it happens all the time. Ball ball going through people, players going through players, literally watching players' arms go in a Mr. Fantastic mode. Dude, no, I've seen. Like I've seen, I've tasted and seen, as I've heard in a song before. 
Like, it's insane how bad it gets. And there's so much more you didn't name. For example, I don't know if you've noticed this. Let's say a center is guarding a center on the inbound, and a point guard's guarding a point guard. I know what you're thinking. Doc, where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? I'll tell you where I'm going with this. For no reason, the center and the point guard will switch. Your center and point guard. And you probably won't even notice. But there will be a mismatch right off the inbound. They'll immediately throw it to the paint, and they'll immediately score. And they make such BS shots, bro. They make insanely contested shots. So much BS happens in this game. And you have to put up with it if you're going to win domination, man. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. In fact, it is insanely challenging. But we got it done, so I can't complain. Slush Bucket says, literally the CPU's arms would stretch out to get the steal, would have their arms grow. Now, I've seen that before. I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, I read, it, I read it correctly the first time, even though you had the typo. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know 100% exactly what you're talking about. I shouldn't know exactly what you're talking about, but I do. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, ACOG, Giannis is good, but I prefer... I mean, to be fair, the guys I prefer are token rewards. That cost a lot of MT. So, yeah. I do think Giannis is worth it. EGR. My voice cracked right there. Welcome to the stream, EGR. I'm sorry. I've been doing a lot of yelling. I've been super, super locked in. Having a lot of fun. And getting super stressed. EGR says the Raps got robbed. Celtics are overrated. And Kyle Lowry is the most underrated player in the league. Kyle Lowry is the most underrated player in the league, EGR. You're right. My voice cracked again. My voice needs to stop cracking, man. My voice needs to stop cracking. Oh my gosh. I know I did a lot of yelling, but come on. Why is my voice cracking like it is, man? There's no reason why it should be. Anyways, I think Kyle Lowry's a Hall of Famer. That's what I was trying to say before my voice cracked 30 times. I think Kyle Lowry's a Hall of Famer. EGR says, everyone like the stream? Good luck, Doc. Hopefully the CPU doesn't screw you too much. The CPU's already screwed me a ton, EGR, but guess what? I screwed the CPU back, and I got George Mikan. And right now, we're playing on pro difficulty. So I'm not too worried about these games, but this is 2K, so there's always something. I appreciate you dropping by, EGR. You guys listen to him. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. 83 likes on the stream is amazing. Very good. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Or hope you enjoyed it. Sorry. Zach says, all right, I'm out. Don't forget to go to church. Um, that's on Sunday for me, and today's Friday, but I appreciate it. Boxberger says, King's play style is a mirror image of the Rockets. It was a mirror image of the Rockets, but then they hired Luke Walton, and he just doesn't coach them the same way. They were a mirror image of the Rockets, but then they changed up the coaching. What's up, FTC Stormy? I can't even get a break from Fall Guys. It's getting a little bit annoying. It's probably so addicting, man. I wish it was on Xbox, but it's probably not going to be on Xbox for months. Like, that's the way that PS4 console exclusives are. I don't think it's going to be on Xbox for months. Slush says, I'm sorry, but the Celtics are a better team. I don't know. Like, it was just so it's such a close series, and... Y'all know I like to argue like the middle ground. I like to argue for both sides. You gotta keep in mind, whichever team lost that series, everyone was gonna say they got robbed, no matter who lost the series. Because if the Celtics lost the series, they would have talked about those calls that happened in game six. And I know some calls may have gone against the Celtics, but like, whoever, whichever team lost, they were gonna say it was fixed. Michael Sanchez says, I wish Wilt was still alive. Rest in peace, Stilt. Guy was great. 
EGR said, hopefully we bring back Surge. Surge was so big for the Raptors in the playoffs, man. Like, underrated player. Very underrated player. So B says, Surge is nice. He should have played more. Facts. I love him. Yeah, I love him too, Harrison. He's a great player. He's a very good player. Celtics have been a better team in the playoffs, but you got to give credit to how the Raps played in the regular season. I mean, you got to give them credit to how they played in the playoffs too, though. The Raptors went down 2 nothing. They were literally about to go down 3 nothing. The series was about to be over in four games. They were about to get swept. But all of a sudden, they hit a miracle shot. Nick Nurse makes some huge adjustments to the Celtics and what they're throwing at them. And Brad Stevens adjusts back. Nick Nurse adjusts back. And it ends up going to a game seven. And you can say what you want to. I think those might have been the two best remaining teams in the East because I don't know if the Heat will have enough to beat the Celtics. I know the Heat looked good against the Bucks and everything. I know the Heat swept the Pacers, but I just don't know if they have the firepower. And I'm not saying Jason Tatum is better than Giannis. But Giannis doesn't hit step back contested shots. Shots fading away off the dribble. He doesn't hit those shots like Tatum does. Tatum's a completely different beast than Giannis. He's not a better player, no. But he's a completely different beast. The Heat are going to have their hands full. Yeah, you can put Jimmy Butler on him. But then you got to worry about Jalen Brown. You got to put someone on Dragic. You got to put someone on Hero and Robinson and add a buy. Like, I don't know, man. It's going to be a super interesting series. The Heat are not going to go out sad. They're going to... They're going to play like some beasts, man, but <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, we're going to have to see. Because if you look at the way this past series was with two seconds left in game three, everyone would be like, oh, Celtics are about to sweep the Raptors. Better team. But when a team, when two teams go to seven games, you, you never know how... Like, in my opinion, the better team might lose. I know you say the better team always wins, but that's a situation where the better team could lose, in my opinion. Like, let's look back on history and Game 7s and just games between super close teams. Let's go back to 2015, after the Spurs just won their championship. They made it to a Game 7 versus the Clippers. And I believe that Spurs team was better than the Clippers. I thought that Spurs team could have gone back to the championship, but Chris Paul hits an insane shot, and they have a little buzzer malfunction at the end of the game, and the Clippers end up winning the series and winning game seven by two. So the Clippers are looking great. They just beat the defending champions, but then they blow a 3-1 lead in the second round versus the Rockets. And let's be real, the Clippers were definitely the better team. So that's back-to-back -back instances where I don't really know if the better team won. And then the Rockets, of course, got destroyed by Golden State. But I wholeheartedly believe if the Rockets had played, I mean, if the Clippers had played Golden State, I think the Clippers would have won. So, like, you never know how the NBA goes. Sometimes the better team doesn't always win. I seriously don't know. What's up, Dom D? Welcome to the stream. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. You know what to do. 83 likes is great. 84 would be even better. So drop a like for me, bro. Hope everything's good with you, Dom. Oh, look at that. Ryan, are you still in here? I greened that free throw, even though I, from that angle, I couldn't even see the meter. We were talking about this earlier, me and Ryan. Sorry, just had to bring that up. See, here's the thing, EGR. You know I'm the biggest Mello fan there is, but Mello was never looking as athletic as Tatum did. Maybe back in Denver a bit, but the way Tatum plays the game is crazy. And he's gotten good on defense, too. Keep that in mind. I love Melo, but I'd argue that Tatum now is a better defender than Melo ever was. Melo's smart. He's like a smart, sneaky defender. But, like, Tatum is just, his athleticism is crazy. What's up, Bavik? Welcome to the stream. Bavik and Dom D. Thank you all for dropping by. We could get 100 likes on the stream. We could get 100, man. You never know. Thank y'all for 85. Ryan says you greened that. What the F? I'm telling you, man. It was complete luck. I don't know how they greened it. And Ryan, you're right. They gotta take that glitch out of the game. 
You know what else they gotta take out of the game? The skirt glitch. Why is that still in 2K? Why the heck is that still in 2K? That skirt crap where your shorts just fly up. I don't understand it, man. Why is this stuff still in the game? I don't know, but for what it is, I'm enjoying playing 2K20. For what it, 21, sorry. I called it 20 by accident. Or was it an accident? I don't know. I don't know. Slush buckets, the glitch where you go to the free throw line and you, it stays at this angle where it's at right now. Like you don't even get to see the meter. Bavik says you have one of the best teams right now because you have Pink Diamond. You're not wrong. It is a very good team, but I could use more Diamond players like Hakeem the Dream, Larry Bird, Jason Kidd. I could definitely use some players like that and some more Diamond rewards. I actually have enough for another Diamond reward. I actually have enough for another Diamond reward, so remind me to pick him up after this game because I would love that new Diamond reward very much. Great pass. This is such a step back after playing versus these teams in all-time domination. This is such a relief. Like, no cap. I'm loving this so much. Playing versus those teams was so hard, but this is, like, insanely easy. Oh, my gosh. I love how insanely easy this game is. Have you tried Unlimited yet? I just got to Pink Diamond League. So I'm 2-0. and oh. I haven't played much because I've been so focusing so much on this grind of Domination. I'm so glad Domination's finally over, man. I'm. It was a great grind. A great set of streams. And we're not done yet. Like, this stream is still going. This stream is 100% still going. And I have a feeling by the end of this stream, we're going to have 100 likes. I mean, we have 87 right now. And I'm not getting off until... We at, le we at least finished these spotlights, so we have a lot of work left to do. We have a lot of work left to do. Y'all know I'm a Knicks fan, so I hate to be up by 100 versus my favorite team right now, but as long as we get the win, I'm happy. EGR says, would you take Tatum or Booker if you had to pick one to lead your team? I gotta go Booker. I don't know. I feel like Tatum's a super versatile player, and I feel like Booker can be a little bit of a liability on defense, but like, as a leader of the team, I don't know. Devin Booker's demeanor, I don't know, I might have to go with him. I might have to go with him. Dom D says I got work tomorrow. Just wanted to drop by and say what's up. Hey Dom, I appreciate it. I hate that you couldn't make it to the, the last games of Domination, because those were the those are some of the greatest games I've ever seen, like, and played in my life. So I hate that you couldn't make it to those, but I'm glad you're here right now. What's up, Nigel E? What's up, Caden Dalton? Caden, I'm doing very well. I'm on top of the world right now. We just beat all-time domination in the, in, the, in the greatest way possible. In the greatest way possible. Nigel, Caden, drop a like on the stream for me. We're on the way to 100 again. We've been getting 100 on every single stream, man. It's been crazy. That Doc Magic might be back. That Doc Magic might just be back. We hit 3.58 thousand. We are less than 20 away from the big 3.6K. We finished all-time Dom. We have our first Pink Diamond player. And we are going to be back at it again live tomorrow. Going for that triple threat 300 wins. EGR says, hold up, is this your last game? Oh, no, I have him already. I already have George Mikan. I already got him, man. This is his debut right here. And eventually, I'll make a video on whether or not he's worth the big grind. That should get a lot of views. That should be a good one. There's George Mikan finishing that layup. Yeah. It's been good, man. I want to say my swagger's back, my madge is back. Lately, you guys have been donating a ton. We've been getting a lot of new subs. And I've just been enjoying making content almost every single day. The only day I didn't post a video or, like, stream was yesterday. Like, I've been having fun doing this, man. A lot of fun. Oh. <sighs> 
<sighs> Man, it's been a good stream. I wouldn't say I'm really lost for words, but I just don't have a ton to say. I mean, that domination run was legendary. I'm very happy right now. If anybody in the chat, if anybody in the stream is new, talk to me. If y'all are new, hang around, see if you enjoy my streams and sub. We hit 3.58, which means soon we're hitting 3.6. We are well on our way, growing this channel very well. Yeah, good defense. Up next, we're going to go for Elgin Baylor. While we go for um, JaVale McGee. Is JaVale McGee worth it? I've heard he's not, but yeah. Slush says I'm burnt out a week straight of 2K. Hey, man. For me, it's been a week straight of 2K, a week straight of making content and streaming, a week straight of school, working out. It's been tough, man. It's been tough, for real. Like, making all this content and stuff is not easy. Tomorrow, I'm going live again at night. I'm playing a 1v1 for my channel earlier in the day. I got some homework to do. It's it's tough, man. It's a lot, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I enjoy doing it. I haven't played the game all day for 7 days like you, but I've still been playing a lot. Ask everyone in this stream. EGR, got an early workout tomorrow. I'll catch you later. Hey, I appreciate you dropping by as always, man. You guys already know EGR runs the best my team page on Instagram. All you gotta do is just type in NBA 2K21 my team, no spaces, and follow him. You're gonna get alerts, you're gonna get notifications, new cards, new drops, new rewards, everything. So this is my plug for EGR right now. Go follow his go follow his Instagram, man. NBA 2K21 my team. Is that easy? And look at that. Right after I tell you guys to follow EGR. Nightbot tells you guys to follow me, so I guess you can follow me while you're at it. George Rodriguez says, you're a My Team veteran. If you remember Sapphire, Robert Horry with Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Um, George Rodriguez, I remember Silver Gerald Green from NBA 2K13 My Team. I also remember Bronze Tim Hardaway Jr., the best shooter in that game. Man, I'm a... I'm a my team vet for real. I mean, I was only in eighth grade when I started playing back in 2K13, but now I'm 21, so I've gotten kind of old, you could say. You could say I've gotten kind of old. I don't know if 21 is insanely old, but it's up there. It's in the stratosphere. So, yeah. Old CP the Doc. Very old CP the Doc. Welcome to the stream, though, George. Ah, <sighs> good win in George Mikan's debut. This was also Nate Archibald's debut, and he has 48 points, so that's great, right? 48 points, six dimes. Yeah, maybe we can get 50, you never know. Harrison says, I hate compa comparing two players who play two completely different positions. Same here, same here. Like, it's so hard to compare and rank like LeBron and Jordan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the same time. Like, you can argue that maybe Kareem is better than both of them, but you don't see that because Jordan's the one locking up on the perimeter and shooting fadeaways and jumping from the free throw line, while Kareem is just shooting sky hooks, playing lockdown defense in the paint, blocking shots. That's what Reem is doing, but what Jordan and LeBron do is just completely different. So I agree with you completely, 100%. It is so hard to rate players from different positions. Like, I believe that Kareem might be the GOAT. I don't think he is. I'm just saying he deserves more recognition in the conversation than he gets. And the reason why is because he doesn't pass the ball like LeBron. He doesn't dribble it up like LeBron. He doesn't sky up for alley-oops like LeBron. He just locks down on defense and scores in the post on anybody. Like, it is what it is. You're right. It is so hard to compare players, man. Like, I think I saw someone earlier in the chat say, 
What if Devin Booker and Tatum switched? I mean, if they switched, wait, three Lakers players? Fair enough, three Lakers players. Also, we have 81 tokens. We have 81 tokens, so let's go and buy a new diamond reward. I don't know who to get. What position do we need? In our starting lineup, we have Blackman, DeBusher. We could use a new small forward. I'll move DeBusher to the bench. He'll probably replace Eddie Johnson. So I'll move Elliot to our third string forward, and we will get, I don't know who, um, not Earl Monroe. Gail Goodrich would be interesting. What's up, Lathe? What's up, Lathe? I saw you earlier in, in my boy Ryan's stream. Welcome. Purvis Short. I don't know. Offense looks good. Mark Aguirre, solid defensively. Who do I get? You guys pick. You guys take your pick. Also, thank you guys for 90 likes on the stream. We are only 10 away from the big 100. Harrison, I wish I could remove Al Horford, but for what it is, he did play decently in some moments, but not very often. He had some moments, but not enough of them. Lathe says, and one. No! That's how it's supposed to sound. Yeah, I don't know who to get with these tokens, man. We got Al Horford earlier. Mr. Boxberger says Mark Aguirre. And when you look at the stats, he looks pretty nice. The offense is great. Ten badges. Ooh. But not for real. The defense is important, too. The defense is very important for me. I like that perimeter defense rating and interior defense rating. Does he have clamps? I'm surprised. He doesn't have gold clamps. I'd say do some research first. I'm going to keep Mark Aguirre in mind because I like how his stats look, but... Yeah, I'm going to do some research. It's really not that deep. Let me change up my lineup real quick, and we'll get things started. Let me make a Lakers lineup real quick, and then we'll get started on this game. I'm pretty sure we have three Lakers players. I could be wrong. I know we have George Mikan. I'll put him at the... Oh, we have Davis, but he's a free agent. I'll put him at the center just in case. Do we have any Lakers centers? We have Mikan. We'll put him there. Get Anthony Davis in at the five. All we need is one more Laker. We have Rick Fox. We have Rick Fox. So I don't really need Anthony Davis. I'll just replace him with Artis Gilmore to grab some rebounds. And we'll get Luke Walton in there off the bench. I know there are some challenges that come with uh, Rick Fox, so I might actually try to get those done. There we go. Luke Walton. Three Lakers. 11 games on regular Dom. How long that's going to take me? Codeine, that's going to take about five and a half hours if you win every game. Get Archibald in there. It's going to be a grind, but you're going to get through it, man. You're going to be all right. I don't want to use my best players, so let's use Larry Hughes. Since we got to score some points with him, too. And then we'll go all bronze off the bench. Because this is for challenges. And it's on pro difficulty. And I can literally play my starters the entire game. So, there we go. Fly contract to Mikan. And then we're going to... Oh, no backup point guard? Um, there we go. Now we have a backup point guard. Before I answer your question, Mr. Boxberger and Harrison, let me just check out this real quick. I think you have to score... Let's check, let's check it out. Rick Fox. Score 30 points. Get three assists in triple threat. Score nine in triple threat. Okay, so we'll go for the 30 points in, in multiple games. Let's go to challenges, spotlight, game number two versus the Celtics. Let's get it. Trash plan, I have almost 400 cards, I think. Maybe more than 400, I don't know, but about 400. Harrison, Mikan was really good in that game. I liked Mikan in that game a lot, I'm not going to lie. Boxberger says, MJ, Kareem, Kobe, Magic, LeBron, and Wilt. 
I mean, mine is, I don't like doing top fives, man. I don't like comparing players from different positions, but my top three are definitely LeBron, Kareem, and Jordan. And then, in my opinion, number four is Magic. I want to say number five is, it's, it's tough, man, because there's so many players you can put in there. You can argue Bill Russell deserves to be in there, Larry Bird. I want to go Larry Bird, man. I want to go Shaq. There's so many guys I want to put in there at five, but top five is such a tough discussion to have because there's so many players you can put up there. Top ten's easier, but still has its difficulties. All right, let's get it. Let's try and score all these points with Rick Fox. It's not going to be easy, but this is on a low difficulty. What's up, Jimster? Welcome to the stream. It was a good day, and it was capped off by getting George Mikan. That was pretty amazing, getting George Mikan. What's up, TJ? Welcome back. What's up, Duca? Duca, Jimster, and TJ. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Y'all missed the main event, man. Y'all missed the big main event. I do have George Mikan in the lineup, but you missed the two greatest games of the century that I played to get him. So I feel bad for y'all, but at the same time, I'm just glad y'all are here. So welcome to the stream, y'all. Let's see if we can get up to 100 likes, man. Let's see if we can get there. We're at 91 right now. That means we're less than 10 away. It's been a great stream, and thank you guys for helping show that it's been great by hitting that like button. It's been really good. Boxberger says you can argue Duncan top five. Yeah, I agree. You can maybe argue top five. You might lose that argument like one out of five or six times, but no, he's still a great player. And I know what you mean when you say that. I mean, he's the greatest power forward ever. So if we were saying the five greatest players of all time were at like, you know, one guy every position, he would be top five if it was like that. But yeah, it's not really like that. Also, why does Paul Pierce not have a headband, and why does Carmelo not have a headband? That's kind of bothered me, I'm not going to lie. Jimster says, if this gets 130 likes, you got to stream a My Career Run. You know what, maybe I will, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I can agree to that. I think I'm going to do the My Career in videos like I have been doing, because i got to post videos during the week for you guys, man. There are some days when I'm not going to be able to stream, and I gotta have something for you guys on those days. So, I don't know about a My Career stream, but I am gonna give you guys a new My Career video very soon. For now though, you guys got to see some insane domination gameplay. Down to the wire, amazing, like, that was just a great game. I loved it, loved getting the win. All those great things, all those great things, man. Right there, I was trying to cherry pick with Paul Pierce, or with Rick Fox. I'm not going to lie. They know I'm trying to feed it to Rick Fox every time. That's why I'm throwing all these turnovers, because I'm literally throwing it straight to them. I hated Duncan, but you can't ignore what he did. But Duncan, Duncan's like the most unhateable player of all time. I don't know how you can hate Tim Duncan. What'd he do to you? Did he piss in your milk or something? Because, okay, I don't know where I was going with that. You know what I mean. I don't think Duncan's a very hateable player. I think he's a pretty funny player. But he's also one of the greatest ever, so it's a weird little counterbalance, you know. Duncan 2-1 and one against LeBron in the finals. I mean, does anyone, really, does anyone really count the first finals against LeBron? There was no way he was winning that series. Boxberger says, I hate the Spurs. Yeah, I don't really hate any team for whatever reason. I mean, there are teams I should hate, like the Nets, since I'm a Knicks fan. But I'm kind of intrigued by the Nets. I'm not a Nets fan. I'm just saying I'm intrigued. The Nets are interesting. Michael says, my mom's a Duncan fan. Yeah, don't tell your mom what um, Mr. Boxberger just said. Make sure not to let her know. I thought I heard something. Yeah, 
I think I have what? Eight with Rift Fox already? That's pretty solid. Codeine says, yo mom's single. Oh my gosh. Codeine, I'm glad you had a big first stream back, man. I'm sorry I didn't get to reply to that. I saw it, but I was replying to someone else. I'm glad you don't get offended by me not seeing your stuff immediately, but I'm glad you had a first good, a good first stream back. I can't talk. I've been talking for so long. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean. Harrison says, I don't hate any team either. It's fun being interested in every team while still having your favorite team. Facts. Facts. No, I completely agree. Like, yeah, I have my favorite teams, but at the end of the day, man, I just love watching basketball. Like, that's just me. Like, there are some teams I'd rather win some games and some teams I'd rather lose, but at the end of the day, as long as there's basketball, I'm going to be happy. And that's why I'm so happy that the games in the bubble have been so good. Because that's been legitimately entertaining basketball. And it's just been so fun to watch. A lot of guys thought the players would come in rusty. But the players have been clearly working out. They've been clearly working on their games. And it's led to some breakout performances like TJ Warren. He's the biggest one, I think. Devin Booker is also huge. Lillard. These guys are still working on their games. They didn't just take time off like Chris Middleton did. They spent time and worked on their games, and you can tell. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love that basketball's back. And yesterday, every sports league played, man. NFL, MLB, uh, WNBA played too, but like, yeah. Trash Plan says, I don't hate anyone or anything. I think dislike's a better word. I agree, because let's be honest, if you saw Tim Duncan in person, you'd you'd be like, oh, Tim Duncan. You'd be freaking out like I did at the end of that domination game. If I saw Tim Duncan, I'd be like, wow, it's Timmy D, it's the big fundamental. I've seen David Robinson in person, but I haven't met him. I have met Ben Simmons. I've met Dominique Wilkins. J.R. Smith gave me a hug one time in Cleveland. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I had a few run-ins, had some experiences. I've met ML Carr. He used to play for the Celtics. He was a bench warmer though, but he still played for the Celtics. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I had some cool experiences with players. Harrison says Doc's calling out Chris Middleton. Yeah, he said in an interview that he hadn't touched a basketball in three months and you're supposed to be the second best player on a championship caliber team. That's just not going to slide. What's up, Sports 24-7? I really hate that I'm saying this to everybody who's coming in, but you're late to the main event. I got Mikan, and in the games I won versus the 2010s all-decade teams, those might have been the two greatest my team games I've ever played on the channel. Like, ever. No cap. No exaggeration. Ever. Like, those were the greatest games of all time. But Sports 24-7, I'm glad you're here. Codeine says, I hate the magic. Are you serious? I hate the magic. You're not playing them again, are you? Oh, F the magic. Oh, that's not good. So Codeine's back playing the magic. Boxberger says, ML Carr got three rings. Yeah, he did. You know why? You know how he got three rings? Because Larry Bird also got three rings. And so did Kevin McHale. And so did Robert Parrish. Yeah. I don't think there's any coincidence there. Jimster says, I just shared your channel on my Twitter. Hey, man, it would be dope if we got some new viewers in here, but no matter what, I really do appreciate you doing that. Whether we get anybody new or not, the fact that you take the time to do that, I really do appreciate it because I am trying to grow the channel every single day. So little things like that, they do go a long way, for real. Whether you're sharing with 100 people or sharing with 12, like, that's big. YNA NBA says I gotta go. Hey, have a good night or have a good day, YNA NBA. Because you live in Australia, right? I could be wrong about that. I think you've mentioned before you're an Australian. You're an Aussie. 
I said that so weird. Y and A, I'll see you around. Fun fact about Y and A NBA. Y and A NBA made the biggest donation in channel history last week. $22 flat. And I got every penny of it, man. Well, not really because of how YouTube is, but I got it. But every penny? Yeah, no, I'm not going to go crazy about that. TJ says you tired? A little bit tired. It's been almost 24 hours since I've slept, so I am getting kind of tired, but I'm feeling fine. I mean, keep in mind, TJ, I exerted so much energy in those games of domination. Like, I'm super tired. I'm feeling fine. After this, I'm going to get a really good long sleep, but we're just going to keep on playing for now because I'm having fun talking to y'all. We're almost at 100 likes on the stream. It's been good, so we're going to keep it rolling for now. What's up, Dante? Um, does the Nets playbook have quick through STS? I don't think it does. I feel like the name of the new play is like Quick Hammer 45 or something. I don't know. And I think it's in the Mavericks playbook. But it's more or less the same thing. Jimster says you be drinking energy drinks or coffee. No, I don't. I drink water during the stream. And no, this stream is not sponsored by them. So, that drink I took right there was completely voluntary. 100% voluntary. I did not have to be pushed to do that by anybody. TJ says, keep up the good work. Hey, I got you, man. Y'all already know I'm going to keep up the good work. Like, y'all know me too well. I'm going to keep that shit up. Harrison says, sheesh, Gilmore. Gilmore's been good. Artist Gilmore's been good. 10 points, 9 rebounds in the first half. 34-13 lead. I'm telling you, we've been pretty good. We've been very good. Uh, yeah, I'm tired, man. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm not. But it's been a great stream. And I think the classification of a great stream... It comes down to whether or not you accomplish the goal of the stream. And the goal of my stream, of course, was to get George Mikan. And as you can see by what I changed the title to, we achieved our goal. And if you achieve your goal, I mean, I think that stream was successful. So, successful stream, whether we end it now or end it in an hour or so. We'll see. We'll see. Let's cherry pick with, oh no, I was going to cherry pick right there. Sadly, we couldn't. Also, shout out to whoever just liked the stream. Like number 93, I noticed you. So feel free to talk to me in the chat. Seven likes away from one hundo. Boxberger says, yeah, his opal took up the lane with that afro. Yeah, his opal was solid. He also had a good diamond card earlier in the year. A good diamond reward card. Nice pass, nice finish. Jimster, I am season level... I'm only 19, but once I finish these spotlight challenges, I will be 20. Jimster said that was me. I appreciate it, Jimster. You're the man. Okay, one half left in our second spotlight challenge. First game, easy win versus the Knicks. This game should be an easy win versus the Celtics. Once we finish a few of these games, we should have level 20. I don't know what the level 20 reward is, so someone feel free to tell me. But yeah, I seriously can't remember. And I would love to know, so y'all feel free to tell me. What's up, Bad Karma? Welcome to the streams. Whenever I least expect it, bad karma always pops in. Not that bad karma, I'm talking about bad karma. The dude who is subscribed to my channel. Who you got winning the East? Winning the East, that's tough. I want I gotta go Heat, man. They looked good versus the Bucks, but like, I don't know. The Celtics are a different beast than the Bucks. And guys like Jason Tatum, even though they're not good as good as Giannis... 
they're a different beast than Giannis. And Brad Stevens is a great coach. Eric Spolster is a great coach. A lot of great players on both teams, but I don't know which team is going to be the one to take it. I don't love predicting this stuff because I get it wrong a lot of the time. But I have a feeling the Heat go to the finals for the first time since 2014. What's up, Leif? Welcome back. Michael says, do you remember that incident with Charles Oakley? Of course I do, man. As a Knicks fan, some of these incidents, they never go away. I mean, I remember a lot of things about the Knicks over this past decade. I mean, one of my personal favorites was definitely when Carmelo was waiting outside the bus for Kevin Garnett. Then the next year, J.R. Smith and Bargnani each almost lost the game for the Knicks by taking shots when they had the lead with the shot clock turned off when the other team had to foul them to shoot free throws. These memories, they live on. J.R. Smith untying free throws, it lives on. Mello's fadeaway buzzer beaters after getting booed, they live on. A lot of this stuff that has to do with the Knicks, it lives on, man. I may, like, not remember it as well as I used to, but at the end of the day, I'll never forget it, man. You never forget that kind of stuff. Um, Dante, I did hear about the incident with Daniel House. That's some weird stuff, man. Don't want to talk too much about it because that's just weird. Boxberger says you can't kick a legend out the franchise. Yeah, and didn't they do? They did something similar with Spike Lee this past year, and every team was like, "We'll take you, Spike." Ryan says I'm about to I'm about to KO. Congrats on 3.58 and George Mike and hey, it was a great stream. Ryan, I'm glad you could be here. You got hype. You witnessed the biggest game I've ever played. It was great, man. I'm glad you could show up. If you go live tomorrow in like the afternoon, sometime I'll be there. But I think you said you were busy. So whether you do, whether you don't, I do want to be at your next stream. And I know you'll be at mine. Like I already know that. You show up to every stream. I don't think you ever miss. Ryan, have a good night, man. It was a great stream. Like, like I just said, I'm glad you could be in the building. And... Take it easy. Michael says, I ain't a Knicks fan, but the playoffs at MSG hit different. Facts. Yes, they do. They do hit different, man. It's been a long time since I've experienced that, though. I know. Sad. It has not been easy. Codeine says, me and Ryan built different. Oh, so I'm not built different? <sighs> Josh Move says, I'm just here lurking and trying to sleep. No luck. Yeah, we've all been there before, man. We've all been there before. Jimster says, what are your aspirations for next-gen 2K21? I'm going to be honest, they're super high. I mean, I remember when I first picked up and played next-gen NBA 2K14, I was completely blown away by the, by the graphics. And I had so much fun playing my team and my career and shooting threes and getting to the rim and upgrading to a 99 right off the bat. My GM was really cool. The experience just blew me away. I loved it. And NBA 2K14 Next Gen changed the game forever. And I'm going to be real here. I know this is it might be asking for a lot, but I'm expecting 2K21 Next Gen to change the game. I'm expecting it to be a great new generation of 2K basketball, or video game basketball. But I've also heard that NBA Live is ready for a big comeback, since, remember, they canceled NBA Live 20, and they said, we're going to devote all of our resources to the next gen, so maybe I start playing NBA 2K and NBA Live on stream? Maybe I make series for both games? I don't know. But I'm expecting the games to be great, because... They're supposed to be great. They're putting so much money, time, and resources into next gen. It better be great. It better be great. Codeine says Doc's a whole different animal. Facts. TJ said you're built. These streams are not easy, man. In less than 15 minutes, it's going to be five hours long. Which is crazy. Josh Move says I got the Xbox One on my birthday in 2014. Me too. March 19th, 2014. It was the talk of the town. I was hype. Best gift I've ever gotten. You know, 
I have an old picture of me from 2014 with a Knicks shirt on, holding my Xbox, with my brother, my younger brother, smiling next to me, holding NBA 2K14. All-time great picture. Amazing gift. Same here. Like, jo yeah. Amazing gift, man. Me and Josh are on that same boat. Jimster says I want to get the Xbox Series X and start my gaming channel on Twitch. I've heard that if you want to do something like that, if you're trying to get on Twitch, I've heard that the Xbox Series X is the right move because it's going to be super powerful for streaming, for gaming. That's what I've heard. I've heard that if you get the Series X, you can expect it to be a great console for that. Great for gaming, great for streaming. Not as not as built for TV like the Xbox One was. The Xbox Series X is going to be a gaming console, and I love that. Harrison Orr says I'm rolling out. Appreciate the stream. I also appreciate you making me a moderator, man. I had to. You were showing up big. I had no choice. You have a good night, brother, man. I'll see you around later. I'll see you again soon. I already know it. Josh Move says it came with 2K14 too. I'm telling you. I'm expecting 2K21 to change the game. If it doesn't, that would be sad. Because they're putting so much time, energy, and resources into it that you would think they can make it amazing. They can make that shit amazing. And for 2K's sake, I hope they do. I mean, I don't want 2K to suck. But they've been on a weird track right recently. These last few years. They've been on a weird little... It's been a weird little... What was it called? I can't even remember what the word is. I'm that tired. But, yeah. It hasn't necessarily been a fall from grace, but... The games, they just don't hit the same like they used to, man. They just don't hit like they used to. 2K14 literally had three game modes. And is one of my favorite 2Ks I've ever played. 2K19 and 20 were two of the most expansive 2Ks ever. Including 2K18 as well. And those games just weren't fun. I remember back when I played Creating a Legend. That was my favorite game mode ever. And I remember playing the Association. I remember a lot of different things about the old 2K games. But as they've added more, it just feels like the quality of those modes has gone down. Which is really sad. Codeine says, I swear to God, if Bill Walton gets one more defensive three seconds... In real life, if you get two of them in one game, you get ejected. So it's a good thing they don't do that in this game. Because I've actually gotten a bunch of defensive three seconds too. So I'm in the exact same boat as you. Like, I've been exactly where you are. Where one of my players, for whatever reason, they just love to set up a tent inside the painted area. It makes no sense, but they do it. They do it. Boxberger says, Bill Walton be smoking that... We duh. Yeah, he does. Or was. Maybe still is. You never know. Either way, Bill Walton is the GOAT. Bill, 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 Bill. Yeah, great song. I know you guys are glad I brought it back right there. Brought it back for the one time. Oh no, bad defense. Bad shooter. Hey, 20 points for Rick Fox. All we need is 10 more. TJ says, what's your best 2K game? By best, do you mean favorite? Because my favorite is low-key 2K13 on the Xbox 360. Low-key, maybe it's just nostalgia. Because I don't think it's the best one I've played, but it's definitely my favorite. Michael Sanchez says, life was good when the Heat won in 2016. Life was good when the Cavaliers won in 2016, man. Yeah, life was good in 2013 when the Heat won, but it was better when the Cavs won. But then Kevin Durant went to Golden State and won a couple championships there. I think the way I said that's kind of an understatement. He kind of completely changed the framework of the league forever. Uh, whatever. Kevin Durant. NBA champion. Two-time NBA champion now. But no, when the Heat won, those were some good days, man. 
Those were some great days. I miss I miss those days. I miss the heat with LeBron. I miss the Cavaliers. I really do miss the Cavaliers, man. 2016, life was good. Facts, it was very good. It was very good. When I first heard about the Kevin Durant news, I was in Miami with my family. I was in Miami chilling, playing basketball. It was fun. It was fun. Visiting my brother there, it was great. And then I heard about KD. What's up, Trip? Is it on Hall of Fame or Superstar? I've only done current so far. So, Trip, this might not make sense to you, but the current domination's on Hall of Fame. But the, the next two dominations, even though it says the highest difficulty is Superstar, it is definitely on a tougher difficulty. It is definitely on a tougher difficulty. It just gives you less of a multiplier, and it gives the CPU better sliders. So the sliders are way off, and it is way harder. I beat it. I beat it, but it was not easy. Current is apparently on Hall of Fame, but it's really not. And Historic and All Time are on a complete different level, man. Still, we swept through it, got the wins, and got a win in this game, too. Two games in a row, we got the wins. Actually, five games in a row going back to our final few games. Trip says, gotcha. Thanks. I got you, Trip. If you're new to the channel, hang around. It would be awesome if you subscribed, especially if you enjoy the content. I stream 2K all the time. I post videos whenever I'm not streaming. I'm a college student just trying to have fun with YouTube, man. So if you're enjoying the content, hang around. It would be awesome if you subbed. I am tired, by the way. I'm very tired. Two games down. I think we'll play three more. Yeah, we'll play these final three. Use at least five Lakers players. That is a lot. Do I even have five Lakers players? I really don't know if I do. I really don't know if I have five Lakers, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll have to find out real quick. Let's replace Baisley with someone from the Lakers. There we go. Got Quinn Cook and Contavious Caldwell Pope. Trip, thank you for subscribing. You already know I'm going to keep up the grind. You already know. I appreciate it, man. Welcome to Doc Nation. Let's get Kobe in there. And, yeah, let's give Artis a contract, and we're going to keep on moving. Mr. Boxberger says, how is college? I'm a junior in high school. I mean, it's been fun so far, man. I mean, I've been in college for over three years. Had some fun experiences, had some good times. It's, it's fun, man, but you got, don't let yourself get too loose. Enjoy the moments, but at the same time, don't screw yourself over, if you know what I mean. Here we go. Let's play another one, man. George Mikan versus Turkaloo. That's the big matchup in this one. I mean, it's on all-star difficulty, so. I'm not worried about it. Here we go. Game number three of these spotlights. If I don't finish them today, I can just finish it tomorrow. TJ's a senior. That's pretty awesome. TJ's a senior. Boxberger's a junior. That's big time. Josh Move says CP might have to break open the piggy bank. To do what? What are you going to do when you break open the piggy bank? Just wondering. Just curious. We have been getting some big donos lately. We have gotten some new members lately too. You guys have been showing up big. What's going to happen with his wallet? Or piggy bank, excuse me. Also, we only need seven more points with Rick Fox. So, I think I'll be able to get those on fast breaks. I'm not really worried about getting those. I'm sure we'll win this game fairly easily. I mean, it's on All-Star. And we've been playing on Hall of Fame and Superstar for the last week. At the same time, though, the game's literally been out for only a week. So, yeah. We've been doing it for a week. 
like I said. Michael says, do y'all remember when LeBron got robbed of Defensive Player of the Year? Yeah, back in 2013. I do remember. Josh Moves says, I originally meant that because I thought you didn't have five Lakers. I mean, I think the next one's going to end up being like seven Lakers or something. I wouldn't be surprised. So you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Pretend I never talked about Donos because that's not even what you're referring to. So pretend I never said that. Blow by. Mr. Boxberger said Wendy got robbed. Yeah, 2013 was the year. I remember that. I mean, I don't know if he 100% got robbed. Because I don't remember it being a conversation back then. I don't remember people saying he got robbed. But I do th I do believe he should have won that year. He came in second, so maybe he should have won. The guy who comes the guy who comes in second, you can always make an argument that he deserved to win, but yeah, I don't know about that one. Mark Gasol got defensive player. He wasn't even an all-star nor defensive team. There was one year where Robert Covington, he came in fourth place for Defensive Player of the Year, but he wasn't on either of the All-NBA teams for defense. And that was weird. So how are you top five Defensive Player of the Year, but you're not in the, you're not on the All-Defensive first team or second team? Like, voting just makes no sense. Voting makes absolutely no sense. <sighs> Marcus Gasol, he was an all-star one of those years, though. I don't know if it was 2013, Boxberger, but he was an all-star in Memphis. Not like every year, but he was an all-star. And one of the best centers in the league. It's just that I don't know if he should have gotten it over LeBron. I think we can kind of agree on that one there. Not 100% sure he should have gotten it there. Braun got robbed of unanimous MVP. He was one vote away. Yeah. One person voted for Mello. Believe it or not, it was me. No, I'm kidding, but... Yeah, one person voted Mello. And Mello should have gotten more than one vote. Just saying. Troy Hollick says, Oh, dang. Still live. I went to sleep. Woke up. Just to see if you were still on. The answer is yes, I'm still on. We beat Historic Domination ever since. We've just been chilling, playing on pro difficulty, grinding our way through these spotlight challenges. This is spotlight game number three, and maybe if I'm feeling good enough, I'll play the rest of them tonight too. It's only 12.29 a.m. It's a Friday. Well, it's a Saturday now, but it was a Friday night, and... Usually stay up on Friday nights. Y'all know me. The streams have been doing well and trying to give you guys as much content as possible. Great D. Yeah, great D. Almost goaltended that low key. Allen Iverson got robbed of unanimous MVP. I don't remember that one as well. I don't. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Didn't Tyson Chandler win Defensive Player of the Year in 2012? Yes, he did. He did in 2012. Mr. Boxberger says Dwight Howard. I thought Dwight Howard won three in a row from like 2009 to 11. I could be wrong. Maybe it was like 8 to 10. But he won three in a row. I remember that vividly. He won three in a row. But I don't think it was 2012 when he won Defensive Player of the Year. You know who is a very good defender who, like, nobody talks about and people argue just isn't very good on defense? Tony Allen. Haven't heard his name in a long time. I mean, the NBA has changed so much that a guy like him who can't really shoot or dribble or pass and just brings energy on defense sometimes doesn't really work. Josh Smooth says those were the good next days. Yeah, they were. I, I miss those next days, man. I'm not going to cap. I miss those days a lot. But maybe one day. Oh, God, I'm tired. 
<sighs> Maybe one day this will be back. I think this is gonna be my last game of the stream. I know my body. I know I'm gonna have to get some sleep. You guys are awesome, but I'll play the last two games on my own time. And yeah, tomorrow we will start going for 300 wins and triple threat. But man, I'm tired. I'm very tired. So we're gonna end the stream after this game. Until then, though, I'm going to bring the same energy. Troyaholic says, congrats on 3.58. You were right. We were going to hit it tonight. Yes, sir, we did. We did hit it tonight, man. We passed it, and 3,600's on the way. What's up, Jurassic Poo? Welcome back. So, Jurassic Poo, I made my custom court today in my team. And I tried to put your name on it. I tried to put Jurassic Poo. And apparently it was inappropriate language. Josh Smoove. It's funny you say that because I am making a video of my final two games. If you're talking about Domination, I'm definitely making a video. If you're talking about the spotlights, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Bad Karma says watching Doc and Austin Powers. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now for real, that's a killer combo right there. Like, you just said one of my quotes, that's what I'm talking about. I'll hit you with another quote. It doesn't get much better than that. Jurassic Poo says, yeah, because of the ass in Jurassic. For sure, yes. The ass in Jurassic Poo. I was trying to put Jurassic Poo on the court, but... Like I said, it just wouldn't let me, and I hate to say that because I remember in NBA 2K19 where you had on your court subscribe to CP the Doc. I didn't even ask you to do that. That was just an amazingly kind gesture by you, and to this day, I appreciate it. Maybe that's the reason. Rick Fox just missed an open layup. As I was saying, maybe that's the reason why my channel started growing so much because of those games on your home court. Where you said, subscribe to CP the Doc. Jurassic Poo, 2KB tripping. Everyone curses except for religious people. I mean, I know religious people who cuss. I mean, I'm one of them. Yeah, that's a fun fact about me. I mean, I don't cuss much. I don't cuss very much. Every now and then, I will let one slip. But like, I don't cuss very often. Lathe, I do have Fall Guys, but I don't enjoy playing it on PC. I'm on Xbox right now. You can see by my icons on the screen. I do not have Fall Guys. I'm, I'm waiting for it to come to Xbox, man, but I feel like it should have gotten here by now. I wish it had, but it's not going to be here for months because y'all know how PlayStation exclusives are. What's up, Alfredo? Welcome to the stream, Alfredo. Hope you're doing alright, bro. Drop a like for me if you haven't already. We are five away from a hundred. That is big. And if we don't hit a hundred during this stream, we will definitely hit it after the stream. Because a lot of guys tune in after the stream. They'll check out the games and they'll enjoy the games too. Josh Smoove says only when a hater joins the stream, he'll cuss him out. I mean, even then, I don't usually cuss them out. Half the time, I'll just pretend I didn't even see what they said, and I'll just say hi to them. But if they're super persistent, maybe I'll say something. I know I have done that before. I've definitely done that before, but it's been a long time. Lathe says it isn't free anymore on PS4. Well, that's smart by the Fall Guys developers, man. That is very smart. I mean is probably the most popular game in the world right now. I can't think of anything that's more popular. I mean, the Avengers game is great. 2K21 is a it's a new experience for what it is. I know the gameplay is the same, but for what it is, I feel like with my team, there's a lot of new stuff and I've enjoyed it. What other games are out there, man? Warzone's still big. I mean, Codeine streamed that earlier. Like, it gets interesting. But, yeah, Fall Guys... It's too bad it's not on Xbox, man. It's really too bad because I wanted to play it. And on PC, I just wasn't very good. My friend told me it's a lot easier on controller. So, yeah, I wish I could.
play it on Xbox, but sadly, I don't think that's in the cards for any time soon. Michael Sanchez says, Doc, I remember the first time I subbed. You were rebuilding the Bobcats. Hey, man. I love the Charlotte Bobcats. I love the Knicks and the Hawks. Those are my two favorite NBA teams. But that's because the Charlotte Bobcats don't exist anymore. Possibly the worst team to ever play. I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't think it's... Po I don't think that's even a question. I mean, they won seven games. And it's weird because they actually had some decent players. Or some guys who would develop into decent players. Kemba back then, he wasn't a bust, but like... He wasn't the all-star starter he is now. Jurassic Poo says, I've been playing Tony Hawk 1 and 2. Hey, that's what's up. Those are some dope games. Josh Move says, the 12-win team, Charlotte Bobcats. 7-win team. 7 and 59. Maybe they were on pace to win 12, but I don't think so. That was a lockout shortened season, so they won 7 games, lost 59. And believe it or not, surprisingly, they missed the playoffs. I know, right? That's crazy. But yeah, believe it or not, they actually missed the playoffs. And you know the worst thing about it all? They didn't even get the number one pick. They got the number two pick. And they drafted Michael Kidd Gilchrist. So yeah, rough times, man. Alfredo says, what type of music do you like? If you look at my playlist on Apple Music... You're going to think it's so weird because, like, everything's on there. There's a lot of different things on there. My favorite artist is Kanye, but, man, I'm telling you, I like a lot of different stuff. And, of course, since I like Kanye, of course I'm a big fan of other guys, especially J. Cole, Jay-Z, Drake, guys like that. But since I live in Alabama, country music's also pretty big. Country music's also a pretty big deal, so don't make fun of me, but sometimes you can't help but listen to that country music. Especially when you're in a good mood and the song's upbeat. Sometimes you'll be sad. There's a country song for that. I know, okay? I understand it might be lame to y'all. I mean, let's be honest. I kind of agree. But, yeah. Josh says MKG's getting a little bit of PT in Dallas. I like MKG. I'm a fan of MKG. Like, it was cool seeing him make a little bit of a contribution in the playoffs for the Mavericks, but... Yeah, MKG was a failed, exper failed experiment in Charlotte, man. <sighs> Boxberger says Jordan might be the goat of playing basketball. But being the GM and being owner, he's the worst. Facts. Oh, yeah, he's definitely the worst. I don't know about the worst, but he's in the conversation for sure. Kanye made some good music before he went crazy. Dude is talented. I mean, I loved his Christian album, to be honest with you. It was super short. I don't even know if it was 30 minutes long, but I loved some of those songs. I don't know if you guys know them, but I know a bunch of them. We have everything we need. Ooh, ooh. That was a great song. On God was a great song. Water was a great song. Every hour was solid, but... He wasn't really in it for real. That was like a choir. Like, yeah, I like his music. And he did go kind of crazy, but, I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like if my mom passed away and I went through the stuff he was going through, I feel like maybe I'd go kind of crazy, too. It's not easy living without someone you love, man. I've realized that these last few weeks. It ain't easy, man. So you can call someone crazy. I understand the public perceptions that he went crazy, but... I try to be more understanding, man, at the end of the day. Everyone that's gone to the Charlotte Bobcats besides Kemba was a failed experiment. I mean, I mean, you're right. You're pretty much right. I mean, there are some guys who I feel were decent. I mean, Cody Zeller, yeah, he was like drafted, what, fourth or fifth? And he was never a superstar, but, like, at the end of the day, they played well when he was on the court, and he put up double-doubles almost every night and was a decent passer and good defender. And the draft class was so weak that he wasn't necessarily a bust. He was actually a successful player. Like, 
there are a lot of teams that probably wish they drafted him instead. But other than that, you think about Kid Gilchrist, Malik Monk. Who are some other guys? I mean, the jury is still out on guys like Bridges. I mean, Miles Plumley played there for a little while. I remember Tyler Zeller played there for a little while. I mean, it's easy for me to say it's an exaggeration that everyone was a failed project, but I can't necessarily think of many successful ones other than like Devontae Graham, Rozier if you want to count him, maybe Miles Bridges. Like, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Cody loves Kanye. I'm happy you love Kanye, man. Alfredo says my parents love country. I'm into hip hop. I mean, same here, man, but like I said, like I said, that music is great and all, but in Alabama and Georgia, Florida, it's kind of hard to go around without getting a country song in your head somehow. If Royal Ryan was in here, he would say the same thing because Royal Ryan, he lives in Georgia, I live in Alabama. We literally live in the neighboring states. Remember Tony Parker in Charlotte? I do. I, I really want a Tony Parker Hornets jersey, man. Because Tony Parker is my, probably my favorite point guard ever. Second favorite point guard. Second favorite behind Derrick Rose. Second favorite PG. You know who else was a great as a Hornet? Or not what was great, but like was good as a Hornet, but isn't very remembered for it. Jeremy Lin was very good for the Hornets. He was a great six man for them, but I don't know if many guys remember that, sadly. Jeremy Lin was solid, man. I remember he had a big playoffs, too. So did Courtney Lee. They were both pretty good with the Hornets. They had a 3-2 lead on the Heat, but then the Heat won the series in seven. D. Wade had that big game six where he trash-talked that guy in the purple shirt. And then the Heat lost in seven to the Raptors. The Raptors went to the conference finals. The Raptors, it was 2-2 versus the Cavs, but they lost the final two games. The Cavs went to the finals. They went down 3-1. They came back, and everything was history. Jeremy's been everywhere. Facts. And I feel like Jeremy Lin's career could have gone so much differently. I mean, I feel like he should be in the NBA right now because... People forget, when he got traded to Toronto, he was actually playing really well for the Hawks. Like, his stats per 36, his efficiency is plus minus, the average pace and stuff. Like, he plays fast. This is going to sound dumb, but if you replaced James Harden on the Rockets with Jeremy Lin from like 2013, Jeremy Lin would actually not be that bad. Because he was a very good 1v1 guy. He loved running the pick and roll. Very good vision orchestrating the pick and roll. And if you guys don't believe me, go back and look at videos, man. Because Jeremy Lin, if he played Harden's role right now, he would average like 20 points. Would his stats be inflated? Yes. Would the Rockets be as good? No. Would the Rockets be interesting? And would Jeremy Lin still be in the NBA? Yes. But also, you got to keep in mind, Jeremy Lin, he did suffer some injuries along the way. Like, he had a really bad one in Brooklyn, I remember. And that was just sad because I'm a big Lynn fan. I really do miss him being in the league, but at the same time, he said he's happy over in China playing basketball there. So if he's happy, hey, can't be too mad about that. Even though he should be in the league. He should be in the league. That injury on the Nets messed him up. He was balling before then. I think people forget, like, after Lynn's sanity... Jeremy Lin has still had some very good flashes. I remember in Houston, James Harden scored a career high, I think it was 54 points versus the Thunder. And in that same game, Jeremy Lin had like 36. Like, I think people forget like how much of a bucket Jeremy Lin was. He played well for the Lakers, not amazingly. And of course, him and Kobe, not the best fit, but like, he played well for the Lakers. He was good in Houston, not great, and he wasn't very good in the playoffs, but like, Jeremy Lin, he's had a solid career, man. He doesn't get the respect he deserves. I mean, I kind of understand why, because he's not like as respected as some guys around the league, but I'm a big fan of him. Of course, I'm Asian too, so 
that's part of the reason why. But no, he's just a good player, always fun to watch. I like guys who play under control and push the pace sometimes when they need to. He had a nice jump shot, great vision. A bit of a defensive liability, but like, come on, what do you expect? He's a 6'2 PG. Josh Move says he had multiple game winners on the Rockets and the Nets. Rockets and the Lakers, excuse me. I remember the very big one he had versus the Clippers on the Lakers where he waved off Kobe. That was a good one. But of course, his best game winner ever is definitely the one versus the Raptors back when he played for the Knicks. I'm telling you, man, those were good times. I look back on those times as a Knicks fan, and I wish I can get them back. Little did I know how fleeting those times would be. Little did I know back in 2013, when I was in 8th grade, going to a service event, coming back home, watching the Knicks play the Pacers. Little did I know that would be the last time I saw the Knicks in the playoffs for over 7 years. I thought the Knicks were on the come up, man. I thought the Knicks were bound to make the playoffs the next year in 2014, but they missed it. It was tragic, and yeah, I'm still sad about it, man, to this day. Alfredo says, I can't wait for John Wall to come back. Facts, me too. I'm a huge John Wall fan. One of my favorite point guards ever. Favorite point guards ever. Number one's definitely D. Rose. I mean, come on. D. Rose, man. Around the time I started watching basketball, he was on another level. Tony Parker's up there. I'm telling you, man. Jeremy Lin's up there, too. John Wall's up there, too, for sure, because his athleticism, his defense, the way he pushes the pace, it's just insanely fun to watch. I don't think insanely's a overstatement. Lath says three likes. Two likes now. We're at 98 likes, so... If any of you guys watching the stream haven't liked it yet, now's the time. We're only two likes away from 100. Then again, I have not liked the stream yet with my own account, so I could do that later. This stream is going to hit 100 eventually, for sure. But you guys make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. I remember when John Wall was considered the third best PG in the league. Me too. Me too. I mean, he was a game changer for the Wizards, man. I remember back when the Wizards made it to two conference finals in three years, or two conference semifinals, and both times, they were one game away from going to the conference finals. In 2017, they lost in seven to the Celtics, and in 2015, they lost in six to the Hawks. That was the year the Hawks won 60 games. So the Wizards, yeah, I remember very well. Paul Pierce hit a buzzer beater in game six that was waved off. That would have pushed it to OT. And in game five, Paul Pierce hit a shot for the lead. Then Dennis Schroeder came down the court and missed a layup. And Al Horford got the rebound and put it back. So that's two games that could have won back to back, but they didn't. Josh Move says couldn't get past those Celtics. Yeah, they should have beaten the Celtics, but they couldn't. They couldn't. I mean, that Celtics team with Isaiah was solid. I remember he had a 50-point game that series. And, yeah, big, big props to Isaiah, man. I miss him playing at the level he was playing at a lot. Michael says, yo, yo, Doc, I challenge you to do the one hot chip challenge. Michael, I'm not going to forget that. I'm not going to forget that. Maybe I do do that if enough subscribers are supporting it which I do think they will. So Michael, I might do a poll to ask how many people want to see that and maybe I will do that. I'll let the people know that you suggested it and maybe I really will do that because that would be hilarious. Maybe not for me, but for y'all, I think y'all would love that. The one hot chip challenge. I think that would be a good one. Josh moves as I support it. Since we were on the topic of injured PGs, Isaiah Thomas, man. I miss Isaiah playing at that high level, dude. Five foot nine guy averaging almost 30 a game, getting some votes for league MVP. Those were the days, man. Those were the days. Once again, that was back in 20, what, 16, 17? Pretty sure it was 2017. 
Because 2016 is when he won six man. I think. Yes, 2016 was six man, 2017 MVP. What's good, Dark J? You missed the, the big part of the stream, man. This is my final game. We're about to hang things up. I'm super sleepy. It's been almost an entire day since I've slept. So I'm going to brush my teeth. Going to wash my face. And I'm going to take out my contacts. I'm going to lie down in bed. I'm going to sleep. Going to wake up tomorrow. I have a 1v1 to play versus somebody for YouTube. Going to come home, do my homework, and stream at night. So, yeah. It's a grind, dude. But I love doing it, so. Let's just dribble out the clock and end this stream on a high note. Dark J, drop a like for me if you haven't already. We are two likes away from 100. If we don't hit it during this stream, we'll definitely hit it after. It's been a good stream, man. One of my favorites ever. With the games we won, the difficulty of the games we won. One of my all-time favorite live streams. Doc Nation, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. <sighs> a great stream, guys. Fox Burger says, Josh Smoove, you should retire. I mean, I like Boogie. But we'll have to see if somebody picks him up. We're going to hit 100 likes eventually. But 99 still pretty good. I guess I could like the stream on my own account later. But it's not that deep, man. It's really not that deep. It was an amazing stream, Josh. I really enjoyed it. We got some huge wins. Of course, had a lot of fun playing the game. I mean, what's the what's the point of playing the game if you're not going to have fun, man? It was a lot of fun. We got some amazing wins, and I'm going to post an amazing video of those amazing wins. Maybe tomorrow, but probably on Sunday now, since I'm so tired. And I don't know if I'll be able to stay awake to edit. Josh Smoove says congratulations on the sub goal and getting George Mikan. I appreciate it, but we also got to level 20. We also got to level 20, so speak of the devil. We were just talking about Tony Parker. We just picked him up. We got Artist Gilmore this stream. We got Mikan. We got 3.58 thousand subs. We got level 20, and now we got Tony Parker. So let's open him up just to extend the stream a little bit. I'm going to check out his challenges, and then it's time for me to get some rest because I'm so tired, man. I'm tired. Let's check out his challenges, and then we'll head to sleep. GG Codeine. His challenges are easy. Let's check them out. Make three field goals while attempting eight or more. That's literally 37%. Four assists and one steal. Seriously? Six layups and one game. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Cody. Those challenges are too easy, so we'll do that maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. Thank you guys for 100 likes on the stream. Thank you guys for an amazing stream. Josh, Codine, Jay, Michael, Boxberger, everybody still watching. It was great, and I'll be live again tomorrow night, and... I'll see you guys again 